lights are lights are way too loud. What the fuck? There we go. That's much that's a little bit better. Is it? I don't know. I don't know if that's better, to be honest with you. Look how bright that is. Yo, Monge. One nothing. Pretty lit. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. I kind of thought that they were gonna get absolutely fucking annihilated. I thought that they were gonna get shit on, but I. You know. Paul Mary, man. First Islander. First. Yeah, first Islander ever to be from Long Island and score a playoff goal and a game winner. So he scored, because he scored two. So he got the best of both. Became the first to do both. Um, and the first to ever score two goals. And um, so, and he was the first to ever appear in one. So pretty good. Those fucking Islanders. Dude, I, ha I have a, I just got it today, the, um, the stream deck, so I have a whole bunch of shit that I can't wait to use. But yeah, no, I have the um, I have the horn on it. I love it. I love this thing so much. Um, I thought, I mean, I I hate overtime. I mean, it's exciting and it's fun, and you can look back on it in a fun way when you win. But when you lose. It is the worst thing imaginable, and you're like, this is so dumb. But um, the fact that the Islanders did score, they won, yeah, big dub, and they're up one nothing. And I, I personally believe that the Islanders are going to win games 3, 4, and 6 at the National Veterans Memorial Coliseum. I truly believe that. I don't believe we're going to lose at home. We barely lost at home. And really, our only losses at home were to the Pittsburgh Penguins. I, and playoffs are a totally different thing. So I, I personally believe, to me, that this win was crucial. Now, if we come out Tuesday and win on Tuesday, go up two games tonight, going back to the Coliseum, Penguins don't even fucking show up. Don't even come to Long Island. You're going to get fucking a bit. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, don't even show up. Because especially if we win game three, we are not losing a three games to an unserious lead, having to play two games at the Coliseum with the Penguins on the brink. There is no fucking way we lose that game so that today was a tremendous win because of what it means it means that yeah it means that no matter what this series is going to go five games okay so it means no matter what if we can steal another game from pittsburgh on tuesday it would mean that we would at least get Three games at the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum. On paper, that would mean that the New York Islanders are going to walk away with the dub. That's what. That's what I see. That's. That's what I. That's. I don't know. You could say that I'm kind of crazy, but that's what I kind of feel. That's what I'm feeling out of it. Is that? That's what you're gonna. That's what you. You know. That's where we're gonna be at. Where if we can go in two games to none. And it clinches because the worst that it could do if the Islanders get reverse kind of swept, it forces game six. So three games, games four, five, and six are going to be the Nassau Coliseum. There's no shot. There's no way down two games to none going into game three, if that's the case, that the Pittsburgh Penguins are going to win three games at the Coliseum. They might win one. They're not going to win two. I got to dip out soon, but we got to make a league for the show with a bunch of us. Well, you know, I kind of fucked up. I didn't see Jesse's text until, like, 11.50. Okay, you agree. So I'm not crazy. But I didn't I didn't see his text until, like, 5 o'clock. Uh, I mean, like, 11 o'clock, and the draft was at 7. If I had seen it, I would have been back in the league, you know, with you guys for fantasy baseball. So I think we would have been talking a lot more. Um, you know, I talked to Jesse, you know, during, on Snap during the Islander game and stuff. But it wouldn't, it would have been more like last year with like you saying like we're going to win and then 
and then them scoring some goals and me and Jesse getting very, very fucking upset. But that was a great run, you know, last year. So, um, no, I, I don't care. Even if we want to make a group chat like we had last year of the Islander fans, me, you, Vinny, Jesse, um, you know, toss in any Islander fans that you know. I have some Islander fans that I know. Um, I actually have my best friend, one of my best friends, runs Drive for Five. Runs that Drive for Five page, the, one of the more successful, if not the most successful fan pages. He runs it. He owns it. He created it. So, um, I'd get him on chat. My friend Will, who's an Islander fan. So, there's a whole bunch of people. If we want to get a little Islander group chat together, as well as the MLB League, too. If we want to get that going, I'm 100% down. That's why it's all good. Yeah, no, 100%. 100%. Hold on. I'm going to lower the lights a little. I feel like it's a little bright. Hold on. Be right back. That's a bit better. It's it might not seem like a lot, but it is because I could see it like shining off my face, like hundred percent, way better. But uh, I don't know. What should we do? Should we play online? I mean, I fucking hate online. Online is a, is a craziness. But should we play online? Yo, Jeff, what's good? Should we play online? Or, you know, do I get not stressed out? Let's not stress ourselves out. And let's go in. Get nice, you know, nice and easy. Do I have a pack? No. I opened it. Um, Let's get nice and easy. Very calm, quiet setting. And let's continue our second round of the Nation of Baseball. Get a little warm. And then we'll play online and, and, uh, and kind of get it going. Dude, I, I love this this fucking stream deck. Like, the thing, the biggest thing is, like, trying to, like, find, like, situations to use it, right? Like, trying to, trying to hit it at the right time, you know? So, like, remembering what I have and being like, oh, I want to use that, you know, it's... Or do we play online? Let's, let's play an online game. I actually haven't played, as you can see, 10 to 1. I haven't played since that first night. And I should have been 11 and 1. Uh, you know, it ends tomorrow, the season, so. Let's play online. Let's play online. Let's play it, ship it. 11 a.m. of June. <clears throat> Who wants to sh see me get shit on? Oh, Jeff, you're gonna like this. Tommy Boy. Ready? This is going to be what we do when we're loading into games. We're going to play the Meet the Mets from the 70s. I love that. Dude, this is going to make me so happy to do it. I've been waiting to use this shit. 32 and 57. And then, oh shit, I just hit the shit out of the mic. Because I hate, because it needs to bend down. Yeah. I'm going to, I'm going to keep it on. So I'm going to do this until, until we're ready to play like that. And then you turn it off. Isn't that fun? Isn't that nice? I think that's so much fun. Oh ho! Ho ho ho! Green Get giant. out! Get out! Yes! Let's go! Let's go! Oh, did I do it again? Did I do it again? Oh! Let's go! <laughs> oh, no. No way. No way. What is he doing? Oh, why'd you quit, car? 
<laughs> Let's go. I would say that's pretty good, right? Put it in the box. I would say that's pretty good. Tom Glavin gets a win. He didn't even throw a fucking pitch. Look at that. 18 points. He didn't even do anything. Are you kidding me? He couldn't round off the Alfonso Soriano to give me a fucking tier 3. Are you fucking kidding me? They really... You, you couldn't round it off, game? Come on, now. Round it off. Well, I'll say... Listen, can we be honest, though? I know that I just fucking... Utini! the shit out of him. But can we can we keep it a Ben Frank here in the chat? Um, That guy was awful. He had a 20 negative record. And uh, almost double negative. And can we be honest? He was throwing pitches right down to fucking Cocker. Can we Can we be honest, right? Like, yeah, I had good timing on him. And yeah, you know, left field that Kaufman's kind of a band box. But can we be honest that those pitches were kind of right down the middle? But you still got to fucking win, so. Let's go. Uh, let's go again, bro. Let's go again. Yeah, I'm not good, bro. I'm not even good. Good morning, my neighbor! What's good, fucking Drew? How we doing? You know what you gotta say to that? How good? Uh, I have way too much fun with this shit. I really do. I really have way too much fun with this shit. But the fact that I first shit on, I got to use the why'd you quit, car is hysterical. Drew, nothing, nothing much, man. Mets suck, asshole. Um, honestly, because I, I want to use Tom Glavin, I'm going to pick Tom Glavin. We're going we're gonna to do that shit again. What the fuck? Come on, let's go. Let's go. Does, why do you not have your fucking thing ready to go? Are you, like, am I right or wrong? Are you kidding me? Thank you. Shit. Did I go to the game? No, the game was in Pittsburgh. The game was in Pittsburgh. What we got? The Iraqi bombers? Fourteen and seven, not bad. Oh, it's a PlayStation player. Fourteen and seven ain't bad. No, it was in Pittsburgh the game. I'm having way too much fun with this, if you can't tell. If you can't tell, I'm having way too much fun with this shit. Oh, should I? How about in the meantime, we hit him with the fucking med organ? Watch, he's gonna hit go now. Right when it starts. I don't care. I'm having way too much fun with this fucking shit. I'm having way too much fun with this shit. I really am. Drew, I wish I went to the game. They were too fucking good today. Fucking w catching dubs. Ah! Down the fucking middle. Fuck. That thing could have been more down the fucking middle. Was I... I had good timing? Shit. Look at that timing. Fuck me. Damn. I gotta hit that out. I really gotta hit that shit out. Oh, fuck. Hold it. Like, fuck Cuh. it. Fuck! Dude, the check swing. Like, we're fixing all this shit about all oh, this. Fucking problems at Kaufman Stadium. All oh, pro this fucking problems here and there. Why are we not fixing problems at fucking... Um... 
Why are we not fixing problems at fucking check swing? Like, Jesus. Shit's ass at check swing. Why is my right so fucking much? I gotta fix that. I look like a fucking ghost in my shit. I gotta fix the brightness. Because I had to reset my computer, and when you reset the computer, the camera goes fucking ape shit. Like, I have to actually unplug... I have to go behind my computer, unplug the camera, and redo all of its settings, and sometimes it fucks up. And it's completely... It's completely psychotic. So I've got to fix that shit. Look at it. Uh, it's just way too bright. with the fucking non-stop poison. Oh, shit. I got time. This is a home run. Oh! I'd like this curveball to go down, please. Like, see, that's what I don't like. Even though that's where I put that sinker, that's a dangerous fucking sinker. Like, that was scary how good of a, how bad of a sinker that was. Oh, hello, Mike. Get out there. Good shit, Michael. Good shit. Look at him. Look at fucking Mike Piazza getting out there. Never do that in real life. I was ass in real life. Dude, that's a hanger and curve right down the fucking cocker, man. Can we not do that? Please? Thanks. Shit. That was a good curve. Better curve. Please get this circle change up, you dick. Oh, first off, that's pretty ballsy to take it. Second, Christ. Come on, Tom Glavin, dick. Get that. Nice animation, Ernie. Let's go. Oink, oink. Go. Good animation. I guess this Corbin burns the wave because the other guy had him in there. Ooh, wow. Was that very early? Too early on the slider. I kind of feel that eventually I'm going to take that slider and fucking deposit it. I'm just going to wait. That was a curveball. I think he's going to try to dot me up. He's done it twice. That's just a waster. It's it's late, but it's wasting it off. That's all it is. This has got to be in the zone. Yep. He He's going back to that sinker. He's, so I, I kind of feel that this might be a bit of an off speed. I was right. So I, from what I'm feeling, this is going to be a, a, a high sinker. I don't know. I was wrong. It was an inside cutter. But it was of the fast variety, and I had good timing on it. So I kind of did have the right idea. Um, this guy's pitches are kind of predictable. Just early on the inside cutter. Fuck. I 
I don't know what I was watching it. I think I, I think I just kind of fucked up. I don't, I don't know what I was trying to get out of that. But he's okay. So he started me off with a cutter, three times in a row. This guy's getting very, 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 very predictable. So this is probably going to be one of his off-speed pitches. It was change up. So this guy's getting too predictable here. Now, yeah, it's my job as a hitter to put that ball in play or, you know, to take advantage, but we will. I want to know what, what the fuck was wrong with that swing. That's what I want to know. Fucking <clears throat> shit. Stinky. I'm going to do it again. I'm, I'm going to do it until he fucking stops. Too early. Now I'm gonna try to bust him up and in, in his kitchen. That's a dot. Oh my god, that's not a strike. That is not a strike. Dangerous because not a great catcher. Wow, how did he hit that? Well, he just he slammed the PCI down. That's how. Wasn't the greatest of all curveballs that I've thrown in the game. But Drew, how you been? How you been today? How are you on this fine Sunday evening? Ooh, wow, that's a good pitch, though. It's what I wanted to do. I wanted to get that high curveball to nip that corner. Yeah, put that thing right down the fucking middle, you idiot. Jesus Christ, Tom. Oh boy, Tommy's warming up. Truck out the side. They have like 5Ks. Definitely have 4Ks. Don't know about the 5. Alright, starting me off with a sinker there. Damn. Back to back sinkers. Early on both of them. And there's the outside slot. It was just, yeah, it was a bit of a strike. A bit of a strike. Come on, Jackie. What was wrong with that? Good. Fuck. I really gotta start considering dropping fucking bunts with these batters that are 90 something speed and 99 bunt. I really gotta cheese. Especially when they shift and shit. You gotta take it. Here's your slider. See, I was swinging for a slider, and I was super duper late. So we got seven, eight, nine, Kybert Ruiz guard. Is this the yeah? That's what I thought. I gotta update the title. We're not doing a Kellen grind, we're doing fucking. Ranked seasons. You ripping that NHL? I didn't get NHL this year. Didn't get it. Um. Because none of my friends got it. Fuck. Pay attention. Get this fucking guy. Let's go. I'm gonna fix this. 
We were able to fix the uh, title. Fix the title. It was actually good. He paused for me. Ooh, what a daughter with the circle fucking change up. Love to see it. Yo, Jeff, if you're here, my guy, um, how do you like the fucking soundboard saying, um, the Gary Cohen, he struck him out? Bro, this is a pitcher, let's go. Come on, I'm trying to throw a fastball. Like, come on now. Yeah, bro, that's from the no-hitter. That's from Santana's no-hitter. Hold on. Shit. But I hate to leave the stream system, but... Yeah, no, you're good. You're good, my guy. And I know it's Sunday night. I think you work, right? You got work tomorrow. I get it. Completely, 100% understand. Bro, what's wrong with that swing? This is good time. Come on. Like, this is the one thing I hate about directionals. Like, if, you know, you're asking me to get swings. I'm giving you swings. You gotta fucking help me out. Game. My swing. Hands off. Hands off. Hands off. Just kidding. Fucking. <laughs> Fuck. Good time in sinker. Bro! I can't hit that fucking ball. And it's craziness. How come I cannot hit that thing. I'm getting good timing on that up cutter and just not directionals fail me. It doesn't fail me anywhere else but that up corner. Like, what the fuck? Hit that shit. Nah, that's cool. That's in the yard. That's fucking cuh. That's in the yard. Ooh. Big oof. Where the fuck did that miss? It's a beautiful curveball. Dude, that was right down to fucking Cocker, my guy. We're, we're lucky. We're getting too lucky, and I don't like it. Ah, fuck me. Well, that's the first base run of the game for either. Fuck. Where was that cur Dude, look at that. That's, that's nuts. That's crazy. That's crazy. Fuck you, my guy. One, one, one. That's craziness. That's crazy. No way, bro. That's crazy. That is insane. Where was that pitch? Bro, this guy's a fucking Pete Pecker ass. You gotta be kidding me. Two curveballs that are almost on the ground, and he gets a good, both of them good timings, and that drives in a run. Fucking ridiculous. That is so 
craziness stupid. And I can't, I'm getting good timings and I can't even make a contact. Fucking ridiculous. No way on this planet. Come on. You gotta be. And then I get a fucking slider inside to a lefty and I can't do dick with it. I hit it on the ground. Bro, that's a hanger! Bro, that's a fucking hanger with Ortiz. No way! No way! That's gotta be a fucking dinger derby, my guy. No way. Guy's getting longy hanging shit. No way. No way. And then I get that. Fucking absolute huh. shit. You gotta love when the RNG of the game really comes out to get you in the ass, doesn't it? You gotta love it. Guy hangs a curveball to David Ortiz, and somehow I'm early on it, and I ground it to first. And, and then he can hit two curveballs that are on the fucking ground. I can hit two curveballs that are on the ground for good timings with Buxton and fucking Justin Turner, and drives in a run. Like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. The guy's just slamming the PCI down. Yeah, yeah, sit down. It was too early because I fucking gassed him up with those fastballs. Good fifth inning, uh, but again, I'm getting uh, perfect games, so through five, and I shouldn't. There it is. There's a fucking hit. About fucking time. Now watch, I'll get a double play with Jackie. I'm considering bunting. I'm not even lying. I'm strongly considering bunting. Not now. Is that a sinker? No, it's not. No, it's not. He gets the little dunks and doinks. I don't. He gets the little fucking bullshit, fucking excuse me base hit. And I get nothing. He gets a little fucking excuse me. And then I get a double play. You gotta love it, right? You, you, you gotta love it. It's insane. His fucking blooper falls. Mine don't. I'm getting good timings on everything. And he and he's getting bailed out with fucking earlies and shit. Like we sit on the bench. One pitch, one out. Fuck me. It's just comical. It really is. And Glavin's not even pitching a bad game. But then Glavin, when the pitcher comes up, he goes just ass retarded. The guy gets retarded. I throw fastball to the pitcher, and he just gets, like, full-on, like, spastic mode. The one thing that's good, we're going to have the top of the line. We're going to have the top. Yeah. We are going to have the top of the lineup up. To go face, you know, in the seventh. Dude, this guy can't even touch this fucking fastball. Why am I fucking... Why did I throw... Dude, the curveball was working, and the curveball was... They were great curveballs. Like, this guy just slams the PCI down to get to it. Shit's nuts. And then rips the... F guy can't touch the fastball. And he rips that shit? No way. Who do you hand the controller off to on that one? 
Guy's been looking foolish on the fastball all game and then fucking finally taps that one. Yo, great, great slider, my guy. Great slider. Yeah. Dude, Byron Buxton has two of their hits, and they've both been retarded. And my Byron Buxton's a fucking retard. So. You gotta, look at that. Good timing on a pitch out of the strike zone. He's had two of those. And I used the exact same card. The exact same card. Crazy. And mine was that was a fastball. That was a fastball. That was a fastball. Shit. Shit's coming. Gotta be a fastball. Dude, is it good timing? Bro, that's the third time that he has thrown a cut fastball in that zone, and I've missed it because of good timing. And good time. Like, what else am I supposed to do? Crazy. Crazy with this game today. This guy is not good at all. You're getting bailed. Like, hard bailouts. Shit. Get the fuck out of here. My slider does that. We, we fucking dick around with my slider. Get the fuck out. Crazy. Craziness. This guy's still at the fucking menu. Like, what the fuck could he possibly be doing? Yo, good shit putting that slider right down the fucking cocker. Are you kidding me? Like, are we genuinely serious right now with that shit? We're joking, right? 99 speed diamond outfielder. We don't make that play. Crazy. Craziness. Fucking car. Car. Big car. Like, Cheers! you gotta be fucking, like, there's no way. No way. Like, you gotta be kidding me. Sit the fuck down. Thanks. Fuck, man. Cra craziness, Drew. Cra craziness. Craziness. Late! And it was almost early. Like, I mean, and it was almost a fair ball. That's craziness. That's crazy. That that ball was late timing, and it was about two feet away from being a fair ball. Finally got good timing on the fist. Alright, so that fucking bullshit with Buxton didn't hurt me. Dude, I've had one hit. I've had one hit. I haven't been bailed out like he's been. Shit. Y you gotta love it. He's just early, he's fucking land. They go fair. 
mine ground outs. Crazy. Crazy. With this game. And then look. Inside cutter. I'm late. And somehow my... Like, I'll even defend that. How am I late on an inside pitch? And it goes to fucking... How am I pulling that ball? Makes That makes zero sense for him. That makes zero sense for him. It just shows you how much of an RNG thing. Like, that's not based in reality. There's no way I'm late on an inside pitch and I'm pulling the ball into the outfield in the air. There's not a chance on this earth. Dude, he tried to do it again, but fucking finally I was able to hit it. Gun it! Dude, the outfield fucking animations in this game are retarded. Again, we'll pretend like that was exactly it, right? Like, this guy can hit the curveball. Good shit. That was a fucking scam. Literally a scam. Come on, my guy. Like, what are we doing, bro? You're not going to pinch hit Matt Olsen, so your pinch hit is going to be for the 9-hitter, your pitcher. Like, come on now. You're batting 340, you're not going to pinch hit. Fucking idiot. He is going to pinch. What the fuck? Why the fuck would you do that? But with him, that was a strike, remember, in the fifth inning? I'm not going to stop throwing fastball, so he better either fucking swing at it or... See, he was planning for the curveball. Go sit down. Still sitting down. So. Don't bump me. Come on, you're gonna pinch your Corbin Burns. Let's go. Oh shit, you're gonna actually hit for Corbin. You're actually hitting. Could be two out, nobody, uh, two out and a run. Oh, wow, he's bunting. Again, her, that's her incredibly fucking retarded. Alright, last licks, top of the ninth. Tom Kleiman didn't even pitch a bad game. It's just he got fucked over by RNG in the fourth inning. With the guy slamming his PCI to the fucking ground on a curveball. And once again, I get good timings. It's a fucking circus act, it really is. He can get fucking earlies and lates and all this shit. And I'm getting good timing, I'm back to back and I can't even make a fucking contact. Uh, it's a fucking circus. It really is. And then I try to drop a fucking bunt. It don't count. You know what? I don't even give a shit. We'll put Acuna up. Good for him. GG to my opponent, even though he's a fucking pencil dick. And, uh, fuck him. Because it's, it's, it's comical. It's comical. It genuinely is comical. Comical. It's comical how much he got bailed out. It really is. It's, it's genuinely a circus act. It's genuinely a circus, how much he got billed. 
Like that's it's it's comical. I honestly feel bad. I feel bad about how much he got bailed out in that scenario. He really did. I mean, that fourth inning, he fucking couldn't hit to save his life. Slams his PCI down, gets it just early. Are you fucking kidding me? On a curveball in the dirt, and then he does it again with Justin Turner. Are you fucking kidding me? Get the fuck out of here. Craziness, crazy. And then I get five good timings on fastballs in the strike zone, and I don't even touch him. I don't even foul tip it. Are you fucking kidding me? Tell me that that's not RNG. Tell me like that's not, that's not. We're predetermining who wins and who loses in this game. That's incredibly insane. That's insane. Shit is insane. It just it's it just leaves such a bad taste in your mouth. Like, why do I want to play that? Why do I want to play online? You know? Like, why do you want to play? If it's just completely RNG. You don't know what's coming. That guy was putting so many pitches in the strike zone, good timings. And I'm not even fucking coming close. I don't want to hear the whole fucking, oh, use directional. I could, because I had good timings that weren't fucking hits. He was getting just earlies and just lates that were. You fucking kidding me? Insane. Absolutely insane. Crazy. 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 It, it really is. I feel bad. I, I, I gen hold on. I gotta fix this shit before we continue. I feel bad. I really do. Like, the game can just bail you out. Okay, see, that is better. So it is negative six. You know, I just feel bad that the game can, can bail someone out like that so much. And we were pretty even. But, like, that's... It just sucks. It just leaves such a... Such a bad taste in your mouth. I'm gonna play the event. I'm gonna play the event. It really does. It's so stupid. Crazy. Crazy. What are you gonna do? The whole game is ripped off of RNG anyway. So it's just... It's a circus act. It really is. It's just a matter of, oh, when is the RNG going to kick in, and is it going to be on my side? That's what it is. Come on, let's go. Thank you. Like, shit. I'm on the road. Again. Dylan Broderick 3 is on it's on Xbox. <clears throat> Where'd ship it? I like ship it. Just a quality place to be. I'll be nice. Greasy ham GG, I'll be nice. But that kind of that was kind of some bullshit. We played good. It was, I mean, listen, it was one nothing, right? I We both had perfect games going to the fourth. You had a perfect game going to the beginning of the sixth. But the RNG is fucking ridiculous. I mean, be, let's be Ben Frank. I, I don't know what, because remember, on my screen, it looks different on your, it, that happens a lot, let's be honest. But those two curveballs, just earlies, on something that was in the dirt, that was kind of bullshit. And I had mad good timings, and I wasn't even hitting the ball. And it was like, what? You know, it's just the RNG of this game is so fucking crazy sometimes. It really is. No, but you're a good pitcher. Like, we were pitching good. It was a good game. It was a quality game. It's just that I felt like I should have gotten way more hits than I actually was getting. Or, or didn't get. Like, the Ernie Banks was a good hit, but, like, also... I'm not paying attention, really. But, like, um... 
with the Byron Buxton double that you hit, that was bullshit. Like, that was some bull... That was some bullshit on that Buxton. I have 99... I have the 99... Same as you. 99 diamond fielding, diamond, and diamond speed, 99s, and it bounces over his head. Are you kidding? Like, what? Like, shit. You insane? That, that fucking hit was insane. There's a fucking ripper with Franimal. Is that gone? Let's go. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giant. Let's go. <laughs> Big dinger. Big dinger. Pumpkin. I'm a pumpkin. But, uh, yeah, RNG. Insane. Um, sometimes they do everything right. Nothing. Yeah, like, you can pitch the worst game of your life and win. And pitch the best game and lose. Now, yeah, you can say that that's real life, but it's like, that's fucking far and in between. It really is. It, it definitely it definitely happens in real life, but not as much as it happens in this game. I'm trying to hit it against the shift because I didn't I didn't see that he was shifting to late and I wanted to bunt. Fuck. I love bunting against the shift. Fuck the shift. No, but I'm not, like, again, and this was, like, another thing with someone that I played, like, last week, is I'm not mad at you. I'm mad at the game. That's, like, a lot of people take it as, like, getting butt hurt, right? And I'm not saying you, right? What I'm saying is that if you watch a lot of these streamers, the bigger ones, and when people who they beat or beat them come into the stream, some of them act a little retarded with it. But some of them, like, get butt hurt when they... Some of them get butt hurt when they get told, like, you got bailed and, you know, it, you're not a bad player. It's just that the game is horrific and stuff like that. They get, like, butt hurt. And I'm not saying that you are, but what I'm saying is, like, that's what happens a lot of the time. Okay, we're going to keep pressing R. Come on now. You got to be fucking kidding me. Get that. Get that. Give me an animation. You know what I'm saying? Throw it! Like, it just it just makes you fucking want to absolutely castrate yourself. It really does. Because where's that and I was on the ball. What else what else in that scenario was I supposed to do? I'm literally on where the ball said to go. And I'm getting an animation of crashing into the wall and catching the ball, and I don't even have the ball. Like, what what else am I supposed to do in that scenario? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know? It, craziness. And then this guy, how do you stare at that? I don't even understand. That's a strike from most of the way into the zone. I don't even get it. Some of these people that you play, man, crazy. Crazy with the eye. Where it's like, there's no way you're taking that. Yeah, no, that's what it is. And it is that. It's 100% up to the game. And that is not the sign of a good game. And then look at that. Look at that shit. That's insane. That's insane. Because I'm going to break it down for you from a fundamental fucking standpoint here. Not in the PCI. And it's a good timing. Good timing would not allow that in real. Throw the ball! You got it. Just it just makes you lose your mind. Like look at that. That shouldn't. That shouldn't even be considered a hit. It's not even. It's barely even in the whole ass PCI. Fuck me. And then a Taylor made double play doesn't get turned, and then that happens. But there's no RNG. But there's no RNG. People say there's no RNG in the game. Greasy, thank you very much. Thank you very much for the follow, my guy. Thank you. Thank you. And people say that there's no RNG. It's like, are you kidding me? What is that? Yo, Chewy, what's good, my guy? 
just getting a little fucked over with this game online. You know what I'm saying? Shit's nuts. It's insane. But fucking greasy with the fucking follow. And again, like, I'm not saying with, with, with you, right? Is that it wasn't you. You pitched a good game, but, like, I felt that there was a lot of pitches. Also, I will say this. You were extremely predictable. Yeah, no, friend me, 100%. I have to say this, Greasy. You were, your pitching needs to get a lot more varied. Because I was calling out your pitches before you even threw them. If you go back and watch it, it's just that the game wasn't allowing me to hit the fucking thing. But I... I was calling them out as soon as you were throwing... Like, all right, this guy started... Because you started me off in the one inning. I think it was the third inning. You started off every batter with a sinker. And then every subsequent other pitch was a Kurt was a change up or a slider. So you went off speed fast, off speed fast, off speed fast. And then the next inning you started slow. Yeah, that's fucking gone. Ho, ho, ho. Green giant. That's fucking gone. Let's go. Oh yes, Daddy. Yeah. That's what you were doing. You were extremely predictable. And that's not good. You don't want to be that. And that's what I was saying. Like, I was calling it out, but the game, the RNG, like we were talking about, wasn't allowing me to hit that ball. That's what I was talking about. Wasn't allowing me to hit it. But I was calling them out. Sink her up, then slide her, then cut her up. You can't do that to every single batter because eventually by batter number three, I'm going to get wise. And that's exactly what happened. Problem was, like I said, the RNG of the game wasn't allowing me to hit the ball. But I was calling him out. But Chewy, how are you, my guy? How are you doing? Night. Fucking check swing cock. That's another thing. I I'm sure you've kind of ran into it, Greasy. I'm sure you ran into it. Is the whole check swinging thing in this game is an absolute fucking fiasco. The whole check swinging shit is a fucking nightmare. But Chewy, um, Mac told me uh, the good news of how you're proceeding. That's awesome. The fact that you can go back at work maybe September, that you're not going to need extra stuff after you're done. That's absolutely fucking fantastic. Like, that was not late. What? Where was that timing? I'm going to go with Gagne. Uh, and ch I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Gagne now. No, they never do. It, I mean, the whole check swing apparatus is a fucking fiasco. It's an absolute, genuine, 200% circuit sack. Dude, put that thing right more down the middle, you fuckhead. Yeah, but Greasy, you couldn't hit my fastball, could you? What'd you get? The I think you got a one hit off of it. Especially, like, when I got pissed and I kept throwing it up and in, up and in, up and in, up and in. Because that's another thing, right? And that can even go to what I was saying with you, is that I'm going to keep doing the same shit. Beat me on it, right? If you know a fastball's coming, hit me. And you didn't, so I kept going, going, going. Same thing with that curveball. And as you can see, once you started hitting that low curveball, I started never throwing that curveball again. Wow. That's insane. Perfectly placed. Yeah, only with Buxton. No, you gotta hit on one. You hit the curveball once. You, hit, you did hit the curveball. You hit the cur. You hit the curveball when you scored the one run. You hit the curveball. Cause that's why I was so fucking pissed off. Cause it said just early on that curveball, and it was a fucking cocker up the. I think um, it was a base hit. I was pissed. Because I was like, there's no way. How did you hit that ball? Bro, this guy fucking controlling his base runners. He should have been thrown out about 15 times over. Perfect. Really, that's perfect. Throw it to second. 
Christ, a fucking live on a bicycle. Shit. Shit. Fuck. Throw it. Game almost fucked me in the ass there. I'm bunting. I'm bunting first pitch. I'm still gonna bunt. I'm bunting till two strikes. That's a fair ball. That's a fair ball. Check! I barely even touched it. Give me the fucking check. Swing, my guy. Craziness. Crazy. It's like, this is why I stay offline. Because there's no aggravation. There's no aggravation offline. There's none. There's no aggravation offline. I was just early on that. Alright. Alright, fuck face. You wanna use Chapman? I can use Chapman. I, you said the friend request? I'll accept. Remember, I have Xbox, but I do also have PlayStation 5. So I will accept your friend request of that. Like, I will accept it. Oh, we don't like fucking Chapman now, do we, fuckface? When we have to use against him. We don't like it now. We don't like it. Also, the people that fucking pause all the time need to be castrated, too. Oh, too late. So fucking ashamed, bro. Oh. Looking dumb. Yeah, sit down. Remember, this is just an event game. Just an event. I figure let's, let's try to play some of the event. I am not at any circumstance. Throwing. Are you kidding me? I'm not... Listen, it's Chapman. I'm not getting burned on an off-speed pitch. So I'll throw this shit all around. I'm not getting burned from Chapman on off-speed bullcrap. Thanks. Oh, shit. I forgot. And we're just ultra late. He's running. That's gone. That's gone. Ho, ho, ho. Let's go. That shit's gone. That shit is never coming back. Again, what what did he do that I said I wasn't going to do? Get beat with Chapman on secondary pitches. That was what I said. I, I wasn't going to pitch him because I wasn't going to get beat on secondary shit. That if I was going to lose, I was going to lose with Chapman on the mound throwing fastballs. 
I wasn't gonna fuck around with off-speed curves and sliders and shit. So, that's what he did, right? Strike one. Come on, let's go. Yep. Yep. You know, he threw a hanger, and I fucking unloaded on it. Fastball. Good timing on a fastball, and I bounce it. But you know what I'm saying? Where that wasn't the smartest move for him to do. Uh, Chapman is a little tired, but I'm still going to go after it. And again, I am not, I know there's a runner on second, but I am not going to get beaten on one of his secondary pitches. If I'm getting beaten, it is because he hits a fastball out of here. You know what I'm saying? You guys get what I'm saying? Do you get what I'm saying? Where I'm not... I'm not walking him either because he's going to pinch it. No way. There's no way. No way. There's no way. Are you kidding me? That Andrew Nat with two strike, two outs, slips one out of here? He didn't even get good wood. He didn't even get good time. You gotta be fucking kidding me. This game is a fucking circus. He doesn't even get it in the top part of the PCI. Are you fucking kidding me? He didn't even put it in the top part of the PCI. Like, fuck this game. There's no way. He went. Pro. Then on that one, they finally say no, he checked his swing. What the fuck was that? Like, are you fucking kidding me? We're not playing online. No fucking online. No more. This is bullshit, bro. You can't play when it's so fucking randomized. Like, how was that? And then we want to break balls about ch check swing, check swing, check swing, check swing. He gets a check swing, and if oh, he checked it, are you fucking kidding me? Fuck that noise. Fuck that. You gotta be fucking kidding me. He gets a good timing with Andrew Knapp. We're not talking about no fucking Mike Trotter. We're talking about Andrew Knapp. He gets a fucking homer with him with good timing, and it's not even in the PCI. That's laughable.
No, it's not on it. No, it's not. It's a fucking actually. It's a. It's a circus. It's a no. It's not level. It's a fucking joke. It's an absolute fucking joke. It's an absolute joke. We're not. I'm not playing online for the rest of the night. Fuck that noise. Online is an absolute fucking travesty. It really is. It really is. It's an actual fucking joke. The fact that people are alive on this planet who think that playing online is fun, they've got to be on the most serious amounts of drugs of all time. Like, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Like, there's no way. There's no way. There's no way. How is it fun when it's all random? How is it fun? How is it fun when you make a pitch? I think you do. Because how is it fun when you make a pitch and it's up and away? And it's perfect timing on your end. And then he hits with Andrew Nat, a good timing homer, but it's not on the PCI. And it just barely fucking went out. Not off the wall, not caught, not a base hit somewhere else. Caught. You fucking kidding me? Shit's a joke. It's an actual comical joke. I feel bad. Yeah, I guess. I mean, I guess there's worse online games than this, but Jesus Christ. It's like shit. Shit is crazy out here. Crazy. 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 Just the tilt of the game, just bl it just blows my mind. It really, genuinely blows my mind. How this game can just go bah! in it in an instant. You know what? It's why I stick to offline modes. Because there's no stress, there's no worry, there's no nothing. You're able to fucking be calm. You're able to relax. You're able to have fun. And there's no stress. You're able, like I said, you're able to just have some fun. There's no fucking worries. Yeah, we'll have a good time. But it is genuinely insane with this game sometimes. Uh, they really did a number on those guys, didn't they? So if I can just put up a wall. I can attack a lot of their shit. It's exactly what we're gonna do. We are going to absolutely fuck up this whole little area of land. Come on, the four is gonna move in there. The four didn't move in there. Hmm. Well, the seven definitely will. So it's like. Or do I go in and take over Kansas City right away? I think we do that. I think we go in and we fuck them up.
Come on, win it. 1v1. Come on, win it. Good. Oh, the seven tried to move around and... Come on, win it! Shit. Fuck. Oh, shit. Yeah, that shit got... That shit got tossed back, didn't it? Fuck that. Fuck the Rockies. Um... Yeah, no. Fuck that online shit. I know. We're, listen, we're gonna be playing online tomorrow, but we're gonna be playing with Mac and PJ. They're gonna be here in in the room. They're gonna be here tomorrow. They love online. They're on crack, but they love online. They're good at online. But guess what? You want online content? We're gonna be playing it tomorrow. But Dylan is gonna be watching in the back. That's what I'm gonna be doing. I'm gonna be watching in the back, like. But Drew, I do remember Madden being pretty AIDS when we used to play online, like 18, 19. And remember, I remember there used to be such fucking tilt, where it literally did feel like. Uh, like, there was a predetermined outcome in those games. I, I, I genuinely felt that in Madden. I did. I did. I felt like that was kind of a thing. My crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. He caught that? Damn. <laughs> Johnny Unicycle, thank you very much for the follow. Thank you very much, my guy. Woo! See, the problem is I'll get myself confused because that woo is also the sound if somebody gives anywhere from one to four subs. So that, you know, it's just I got to remember, hey, asshole, I'm the one pressing that button. But uh, Johnny Unicycle, thank you very much for following. Thank you very much. That's hot. Yo! Yeah, I know. All you had to say was Johnny Nowak. I got you. I know exact. Listen, you can't say Joey Nowak and then me not remember. We had a lot of good times. Me, you, Matt, Connor, Joey. We had a lot of fun. A lot of fun. Camping. The one time that I did that shit, never again. Uh, we, uh, we had a good time. And then when you guys came down... Every once in a while. That was fun. Yeah, no, I miss you too. And I hope you're doing well. I hope jo I hope the whole family's doing well. I hope Joey's doing good. I hope everybody's doing good. It's uh It's been it's been live down here on Long Island, uh for the last couple of years and uh it's been fun. Uh, like I was saying, I don't know if you heard Johnny, but Mac and PJ I mean, I don't know if you know PJ Weeks, but Mac, you know Mac. He'll be uh, he'll be here in in my house tomorrow. We're gonna be streaming tomorrow night, so uh, pretty good, right? Uh, if you want to watch that, that's gonna be fun because uh, all three of our personalities were already good, but then we're gonna be all in the same room together playing this. They're gonna be playing. I'm gonna be in this. I'm gonna be like sitting like right there, like watching. I'm not gonna be playing that. They're going to be playing. Mac and PJ are going to be handing off controllers playing that shit. I got work, but I'll try to catch it. Well, I hope you do because, you know, it's it's always a fucking comedy routine when me and him get, when we all get together. But, um, no, dude, I appreciate you coming through. I appreciate you, uh, stopping by. Um, no, yeah, it's great. And then we have Chewy in here. Chewy was in here for a little bit. 
Uh, Connor every once in a blue moon stops by. Mac is working tonight. Like I said, he'll be on tomorrow. But it's, uh, it's been good. I love this whole, you know, streaming stuff. You know, now up to 432 followers. Hopefully we can finally crack. And if Drew, Drew, if you're here, um, I think you are. Because usually you announce it when you're going and whatnot. Um, if you're here, I think we're finally going to pass that whole 430 so fucking follower plateau. Because we've been stuck at that plateau for so goddamn long. So long we've been stuck there. And, um, so long. And it's like, we'll go up to 431, go back down to 429. Then we'll be at 430 for two days, and then we go back down. Like, it's crazy. We can't get over the 430. Now we're at 432, so it's like, I, I really, because we've been here before. It's like this whole little area has just been a, a big-ass water loop. And we can't get over it. We can't get over the hump. We just can't. Oh, that's gone. Ho, ho, ho. Green Let's go. Yes, Daddy. Let's go. Gone forever, Aaron Hernandez. Yeah, I hope I stay past the two. Biggest thing is trying to get people in here that have friends that like Twitch and want, and can, you know, and that want to be a part of the community and stuff and, you know, that word of mouth, like I think I was talking about last week or something like that. It was just like the word of mouth getting around. You know, like, hey, I watched this guy on Twitch, you know, to two friends and then those two friends follow and then they, they like what they see and then they spread it around and, you know, that's that's the biggest thing is trying to find people who will want like who will get in and kind of spread that out you know uh, grow our network that's probably the biggest thing I hope I stay above it too my guy I really do 430 like 432 is good but it's like I keep getting these people that follow like two months ago or three months ago unfollowing like 96 days ago or something like that and it's like it just sucks Oh my Christ. Dude, I never allow runs in Conquest games. Like, what is going on tonight? Like, I just don't have the luck tonight. Or something. Even in the offline. doing it again. I accidentally threw it to fucking second for a second. There. Oh shit.
like, with the AI of that scenario. Why did Ronald Acuna go back? Could have stolen that base. Fuck me. Alright, it's two and one. I stole it anyway. Good shit. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giant. Oh, let's go. Please, five, four. Fuck you, Chucky. That's a fair ball. I don't even care that I'm out of second. Run scored. So. Ooh. Yeah, that's with a little, a little base hit. That's a fun one. Oh, Ernie. Fuck. That's a run. I just love it because of how quick his fucking motion is. Shit.
Let's get this going here. Of another territory. It'd be nice if we can crush out the Colorado Rockies. It'd be very, very nice. That's what I'm trying to do here. Good. Good win. That's a huge win right there. I'm not going to win that, but it's okay. Still a tremendous win. So then I can come around here. Good win. That's 2-2. Two, two. I'm not going to really fight that. I'll fight this 1v1. And we won it. So you can see I, I'm going to be able to reinforce a good amount uh, the, next, the next round. Because we just absolutely kicked the shit out of the Rockies on this go around. This might be an L. No, it's not. I just wish that if like you got like like there was like a momentum kind of swing type of deal with the conquest. Like if you're like doing this right, you're kicking the absolute shit out of them. Like it would make a difference of them being able to repel you. So like even like your your three like if you're winning so many. Like, even, like, your three, like, 1v3s and shit like that would, would fall. Because, you know, you, you're just absolutely fucking them up. Like, that's what I wish that they had done. It was something like that where, you know, you've got, you know, you ha you're doing a conquest and the entire, you know, team that you're, you're destroying is up against the ropes. You should get rewarded for that. I'm not, I'm not going to play that Hall of Fame game. You know what I'm saying? I kind of feel like you should you should get the reward. I don't know. If any of you in chat play it, play, you know, play Conquest like I do. I like Conquest. But if any of you play it like I do, I don't know. Tell me what you think about that. Like, there should be some type of, like, momentum kind of thing. Where the, the better that you do, Um, kind of dictates, kind of dictates what's going on. And that's all fucking shit anyway. Wow, that actually matched up perfectly. That actually worked out. I have to figure out what timing that was. Because that worked out perfectly. Mom. 
mean, now Soriano's a tier three, which isn't even bad, right? Like that's that's pretty nice to have the Soriano be tier three. Where the fuck is he going? You see that tag from out? Like, he was just running. And I was running. Like, shit. Dick. Now. We're on the, now we're on the ball. If you can't tell, I love this shit. I love using this stuff. Oink, oink. Cuh. Cuh. I, that's never going to be old. You know what I might be doing? I mean, I'm going to be playing them for, because I like playing them, right? But what if I were to do this? Uh, Drew, because I, I think, I don't know if anyone else was in chat. Let me know what you think about it. Um, I'm going to say a little fucking thing. And uh, what it is is um i do like a donation right and you can donate like a dollar or something or maybe you do it in bits donate 100 bits or something like that and you can you can say like oh i want can i get like three oinks or something like that i don't know kind of put an incentive in there oh you, you know you want you want me to play the the ho 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 green giant four times? Well, you know, give give uh give like two hundred bits or something like that.
Don't shoot Jackie. Dickhead. Thing was a fucking rocket ship. Damn, that's gotta be done. Fucking Are you kidding me? That's great the pitch is getting tired, he ain't coming out. Yes. <laughs> fucking served that one up, didn't you, Chucky, you stupid fucking idiot? Oh, yeah. I really have too much fun with it.
want this game to be over so we can keep keep moving on on the conquest. Oh shit. Ho ho ho. Gone forever, Aaron Hernandez. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Let's go. I'm having way too much fun with this stream deck. I really am. I definitely am having a, li a little bit too much fun. But who cares? Oh, shit, Jackie. Mm. Jackie. The best option against the lefty that I've got. Let's go, Jackie. Big stolen base. Love to see the effort. I mean, I told him to go. But... Damn. Ben Bowden says, what's up? Go one more, uh, one more out, and we're, we're out of this shit, out of this game. Put it in the box. Oh shit, dude! It's because it's, it's so low that I'm when I want to move my hand, I hit the shit out of my mic. So I gotta keep it up high so that I can, yeah, do keep doing this motion, Dylan. That's the fucking way to do it, you fucking idiot. Oh, Acuna's rank one. Oh, shit. Oh, it's right, because I got the base hit with Jackie. That's it. So, Jackie, with that... Allows the Matt Kemp to be done. We have finished his player program. Forgot. I genuinely forgot about that. I'm not even kidding. I actually did forget. I was about to be irate if I had lost that.
whatever game. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, it's a joke. Jesus, can I win? Or no? Is that not allowed? Dude, it's not allowed. You gotta be fucking kidding me. That Cubs thing has put up the greatest fucking, yeah, fight of all time and it lost. And he comes right up and grabs that. And I can't win that back! Are you kidding me? Dude, that has to be the worst round of Conquest I've ever played. Without a shadow of a doubt, that's got to be the worst round I've ever partaken in. Like, without a doubt, that's got to be the worst. I, be I didn't win anything. I just kept losing. Wow. I mean, I kind of kind of salvaged it, but at the end of the day, I didn't really do anything. I mean, Christ on a bike. Crazy. That was legitimately psycho. How, how bad that was. Bro, insane. Like, that's crazy. How, how fucking horrific that round was. That was pretty comical. That was actually pretty comical. My crew is big and it keeps getting bigger. <clears throat> LTFD. Tennis. Thank you very much for the follow. Ow. That hurt. Pain in my finger. I don't know what the fuck that was about. But thank you very much for the follow. Fucking. Woo! No, not the Mets. Thanks, car. Thanks, car. But, uh, no, I appreciate it. So now I gotta fix this. I kind of want to take over that area there. Seen your twitch in the di- I'm going to need a little more help because I'm in a few of them. Um, if you will, please. Uh, which one? Like, I hang out in a bunch and I chat and shit, so it's like... Um, the main one that I'm in is with, uh, is with Ryan, is, is with the general. That's the main my main place of residence in like Twitch community. But how are you tonight? How are we doing? Um just sitting here getting fucked over by a game. Honestly, like there's no there's no other English to say. Fuck! I moved it in the wrong spot. Idiot. Come on. Come on. Thank you. Alright, so that three is gonna move. Come on. I knew that shit was happening. Whatever. Yeah, I'm trying to be affiliated on the grind, my boy. Wait. Good. Um, dude, it's, it's tough. It's a tough road. And it was, I mean, I've, I do consider myself lucky in the sense that it didn't take too long from when I wanted to do Twitch to 
become an affiliate. Um. Uh, so I'm a bit of a fuck. I'm a bit of a lucky one. But the biggest thing that I can say, like off the rip, like I'll give advice. I love giving advice. But the biggest thing that I can say off the rip is don't be so concerned looking at looking at like the statistics of what you have to hit put out oh my god put out good content some dude can we just before i continue this is insane that i can't fucking win these games these 3v1s these 2v1s you fucking kidding me get the fuck out of here with this broken ass game anyway um the big that's the biggest thing is I know that it's like, all right, get the 50, and then it's get, stream for eight days, and the 25 hours, and the fucking three, you know, three views per. It's like, don't get too concerned with that. Put out good content. Be nice to the people that come in. Be engaging. Uh, don't get caught up in it. Uh, because if you get caught up in it, you're not going to be building a community. And make it natural. Make it natural. I've watched so many people that don't do it naturally. They don't do it naturally. And I got, like, I got a bunch of my friends to follow me. People who I knew in real life, right? These weren't just random people. And and they followed, right? And I was able to hit the 50. But that's not what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is, like, oh, you know, come in and, you know, make a couple of accounts and get to 50 and, you know, have a whole bunch of viewers and then become affiliate because you're not growing, you're not you're not creating anything, you're not crafting a community. You're kind of like lying to yourself. You know what I'm saying? Where if you take the lumps, and that's kind of what it's like, right? There are gonna be streams when you're talking to yourself the entire stream. It's gonna happen. It's gonna happen because it's happening to me like. It's happened to me over the past couple of streams that I've had, to, you know, this week, you know, and there's some that there's some nights when it pops off and there's some nights that there aren't. You have to take the good and the bad and it doesn't always come right away. And it's the biggest thing because it's very easy to be even if you have a high amount of self-confidence, it's very easy to be um, turned off by it. It's very easy to give up say that oh i'm not getting the results i'm not i'm not growing you know I, I, i'm out right it's very very easy uh to kind of convince yourself that you're gonna come on and you know i'm not saying that you did but to come on and say i'm gonna grab 100 views day one you know it because you, you want it you want to strive for it. you want that's what you want so you're like yeah i'm i could do it i could do it i could do it so it's like you know when it doesn't come, because not if, it's when, you can get discouraged. You can. You can get 100% discouraged. And that's the biggest thing that you have to fight against. It's the biggest thing. Sometimes the biggest person you have to fight against is yourself. Yes. That's another thing, too, is a lot of people stream because, oh... This is the big popular game, or oh, this will get me views, and they're and they're like plotting a course, right? Don't plot. Have a plan, right? But like, don't don't be like, oh, I I, I gotta play Fortnite because, you know, Fortnite is blowing back up, or I gotta play Minecraft because Minecraft's the hottest game on the internet right now, or don't ever do that because you're not gonna be happy, and people are gonna be able to see right through that, and they're going to, they're gonna see that. This guy's not fake, but it is kind of a fake because you, you're you not being authentic. You're not doing the content that you want to do. You're doing the content because you have to do it or you feel that you have to do it. So that's the biggest thing. Grow naturally. Grow organically. It's not going to come overnight. It's not going to come overnight. You want to know how it's going to come overnight? Have tits and show them off. Like that's, that's honestly it. But... That's the key to success on Twitch. But um, the biggest thing is just keeping your confidence level up. Because there's going to be times 
when you're not when you're not gonna have people, right? Like I I was averaging for the last like two weeks or so, I was averaging about 120 views per stream. 130, 140. You can go back in the VOD and look at it. I'm not lying. I got nothing to hide. Um, but the last two streams have been 30 and 50, right? And it's very hard when you're streaming at night and stuff and, you, and you're waiting for somebody to come in and you're waiting for the followers and you're waiting for people to join back in and stuff and it just never comes. And it's hard. It's, it's hard to keep yourself going. And there'll be times when, you know, I'm quiet because I've gotten nobody to talk to and that's the biggest thing once you find people to, like you like you just came in and we're now we're chatting it invigorates it's like a boom it, it's like a shot of like um uh momentum straight into you it really is where it's like all right i'm awake now like let's get, let's get after it and and that's a big thing too is being able to feed off of people it's a big thing um you know it, it's it's arguably like i said it's the hardest thing to do is to kind of fight yourself you got 168 you don't have 168 no more ltfd you got 169 i threw you a follow because i think that it's important to support i think it's important to support others who go out of your way out of their way to support you so it's like that's the biggest thing to me but I I also just I think that a lot of people they just get caught up in trying also to copy other people instead of trying to become their own streamer. You know, finding their voice, finding their their kind of humor, finding finding their like footing. People try to copy others. And, and the biggest thing that I could be like, that I could say is don't. Don't copy other people. Um, because first off, if people come in who are fans of that person and they see you copy and they're going to be like, you're copying and you're doing a shit job at it. Uh, even if you do a good job at it. But the second thing is like, you just, you're not being genuine. That's the biggest thing. It's better to just it's better to be genuine and and suck than be fake and do good. Cuz nobody likes fake. Nobody. I hope that what I'm saying makes sense. Because I don't want to sound like I'm an expert, but I, you know, I've been affiliated now for um 5 months tomorrow. And I've made a couple hundred dollars already on it and I'm pretty happy about it. Pretty 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 excited about it, not gonna lie, but, you know, it's, it's, um, it's give and take, and you're gonna have good days, you're gonna have bad days, you're gonna have really good days, you're gonna have really bad days, there's gonna be days when, you know, you, um, no problem, my guy, no problem, but you're gonna have days where you will, and you probably already have, right, where you're the only viewer. There's one or zero people in, right? And there's nobody chatting. And you're going to be like, why am I streaming? Why am I doing this? And then there might be the next night, you come on at the exact same time, and there might be five or six people in there. And you get raided. And your view count, you know, is up to 12, 14 at a time and, and for a little bit. And it boosts your numbers up. And, you know, you get like 100-something views. And you're like, oh, shit. You know, I, wow, you know, it'll happen. And then the next day, it won't, you know, it'll go back down to two or three. And maybe somebody from that previous stream will pop in. And, you know, it, it's, it's a long and winding road. And it takes a while, you know. I'm at 433 followers. But to be honest with you, I should be at like 480 because over the last... I would say about a month. I just can't get over this 430 follower plateau. I just can't. I'll go up to 431, go back down to 428. Go up to 429, go down to 426. Then 430, then we go back to 428. Like, you know, I've had, I've had so many people follow and so many people like unfollow. 
and people who haven't tuned in like ever or they tuned in once or um, you know they followed and dipped or something like that and it's been like three months and shit like that um, you're gonna have it there's all types and it's just about taking the good out of it trying to stay positive like I said having the confidence because you know I, I preach it but there are some nights when you know Dylan whatever you fuck you name it. Graham it's Graham but bro Nick's here I heard that horn four times today Are you fucking kidding me Fuck you, Giants. Um, yeah, no, I've been streaming for like two hours 15 now, Nick. I got on early, and I even wanted to get on a little bit earlier than I did, but I wanted to just relax. I, I watched like a period and a half of the late hockey game, so. Of the Florida Florida game. What? You need what? Bro, I hate having my... Let's hear all the strength. Dude, I'll do it. I don't even give a shit. Ready? I'm gonna pause. Alright, so here's all the stream deck sounds that I have. Indulge me, finesse. I mean, there's nothing bad on here. I just wanna... So this is a 70s version of Meet the Mets. We I play that when I go into games. This is the... Then that's the actual, like, Meet the Met instrumental... That's the organ, okay? That's the Islanders goal horn. Woo! Ric Flair woo, which also you hear if you donate one to four subs. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giant. Green Giant. I usually use that with the perfects because it's great for NBA, right? I got that. Some of these I got from Troy Dan, and Troy Dan even makes a couple of appearances on here. <laughs> MLG horn. <laughs> Price is right. Me too, Ka. Me too. Thanks, Ka. I played my first ranked. Well, I, I'm I was 11 and one before the game. I'm tw I'm 11 and two now. But um, I played a ranked game and a guy quit. I, he gave up back to back home runs to start, so I played this. Why'd you quit, Ka? Ka. Yeah, wait. I pressed that perfectly because I want to hear "Go Cubs, Go" every win. Ka. Nice. Ka. Bro. Bro. <laughs> Ooh, that sounded like shit. <laughs> Finesse with the follow. Follow. He already did. Finesse with the subscription at tier one for a, uh, for a month and hopefully beyond that. But, dude, thank you so much. And I, I saw what you said before about uh, inspiring and keeping grinding for it. And, and Nick, who this guy is, he, he's in a Discord that I'm in. And, um, oh, no, there's more. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm like a quarter of the way done, bro. We're, we're not done yet. We're not done. But, you know, I wanted to say nice little spiel. But thank you so much for following uh, and then for subscribing. It means a lot. Uh, we're up to 16 subscribers now. We were up to set. We were up to like 40 with all the gifted, but it's okay. Um, as you heard also, that was the nice for anyone that subscribes. But if you give subs, that's when you hear the woo again. Uh, and then there's a whole bunch of like other sounds in there too. But um, means a lot. I appreciate it tremendously, and we're going to slowly get back up there, right? Like, the goal by the end of the year is to get to 50 congruent uh, subscriptions. Um, congruent, big-ass word, right? Big SAT word. But, um, you know, Nick, uh, Finesse came in here, and we were talking about, about oh, everything. Jesus sake, Christ. Bro. Hold on. <clears throat> oh, yes, Daddy. <laughs> I, 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 thanks, Con. <laughs> um, I, I don't have anything really to say. Um, finesse with the gifted five, five, five. Did you hear that? Five. He gifted five, and you heard Tony Soprano say, Jesus H. Christ. That's for the five to nine range. That's the first time I've heard of that since I put that in last month. But, bro, 
comes in, follows, has a little chat, subscribes. Then, gifts five to Leslie, who's from Mango's chat. Fresh Flame, who's from Hayden. Uh, Lachlan, who comes in. I was actually hanging out with him all day. Tiny Tim, who I actually don't remember. And Panda, who I'm in that, who I'm in a Discord with too. But, bro, yes sir, thanks for being positive. Another thing, and this is what I'm doing right now. Very important. I stress this, tremendously stress this shit. Read the chat. As often and as quickly as you can. Because it makes people want to stick around. You're chatting with someone. You're talking with someone. You're engaging. Right? You're entertaining. You're in the entertainment. When you start doing this, and remember, I came from radio, so this is how I kind of feel. You're in the entertainment business. Everything. Even news talks, politics talk, sports talk, playing sports. Everything is entertainment. So when you're doing this, you have to be entertaining. You have to... You have to chat with people. I hate watching streamers that don't read the chat. Or they only read the first comment and they don't read the other seven that have come before it. Right? I hate it. I hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it, hate it. And I never want to be like that. Ever. Ever. So, no. Don't listen to him. No, 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 no. Fuck. No. I was a little parched. I was a little parched. But also, uh, Finesse, you um, are the GOAT. Uh, plain English. Fuck Nick. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I love Nick. Nick's been around now for 100 days, Nick. You're t 100 days today. Um, 100 days you've been around. Uh, good guy. Always in here. Always chatting. You now have uh, access to the, uh, to the emotes. Good spelling. No, now you got him involved. No, bro. Finesse, what's your real name, my guy? What's your real name? I hate calling people by their shit. I hate it. It's so dumb. Like, I, I, I'm a big name person. Like, with Gretzky98, his name is Drew. I like saying Drew. Bro, look at this shit. Hold on, I gotta fix this stuff. This is so dumb. Bro, why does this not update in a normal fashion? Like, update, for Christ's sake. John? Well, John means a lot. Did it not update again? Because it says 21 because he donated fucking six. Come on. Go. Thank you. Christ. It fucking finally went. But anyway, um, John, thanks for the hydrate. I was a little thirsty. But seriously, I can't thank you so much, but for you personally, you know, Thank you so much for subbing to the channel, John. Um, I hope you enjoy, you know, joining the Santa Squad, that's what we call it, and, uh, you know, for the next 30 days, and I hope that you continue it, and I hope that you hang out here, and we have a good time, and, you know. No, he's, he's just a, he's just a stud, and, you know, he's grinding, he's on the affiliate grind, and, you know, he'll get there, he will get there, and it's just about, like I was saying to, to Nick, got to have the confidence and i really dude i i cannot i can't say it enough you have to have the confidence confidence is gigantic it's key right it's important it's so important like genuinely it's insane and john if you didn't notice with some of the stream deck and we still have more stream deck stuff to go after we still have some shit to go after to get after it but if you didn't notice it, I'm big into sports. You can see there's ask me trivia questions. You don't have to actually redeem that shit. You can just ask me trivia questions. Ask me my opinions of sports. I know all four sports, all the teams. I know everything about it. It might sound like I'm a know-it-all. I'm 100% a know-it-all. So, yeah. The best is Nick goes, oh, God. But ready? He tries to stump me with shit, and it's, it's an absolute circus. So let's continue on. <clears throat> That's the Minecraft. Mm. Mm. The Roblox oof too. Utini. Classic Utini. Oink oink. Oink oink. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. Carrots. Cowits. Because I love saying carrot from that video. Sheesh. Sheesh. Oh yes, Daddy. I played that. I think after you, did you after you donated the five. Did I play that one? I think I did. <laughs> 
No, it's not. And then crouch here. I can end the crouch here at any time. Good morning, my neighbors. Uh, there's that. And then there's, um... If I hit a walk-off home run, I'm using that. That's a different one. Struck him out, put it in the books. No, they're not a better way to spend points. I love that. That's the best. And then on the other page... If somebody's taking their sweet ass time in the pause menu, they're getting the Jeopardy thing hung on them. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. Give me a hell yeah. There's that. And then the only other ones on here that are different. Please, five, four. Fuck, fuck you, Chucky. Chucky. Gone forever, Aaron Hernandez. It's all the fucking. Hepatitis, see you later. Kent Murphy. Fucking served that one up, didn't you, Chucky, you stupid fucking idiot? But, and that's it. That's all the Stream Deck stuff that I have yet. But, no, seriously, I can't say it enough, John. Thank you so much. You have access to the one emote that we have. I'm working with my friend Ryan. We're chatting. Like I said, I don't know um, which Discord you're from that I'm from. If it is, if... Posture check. You're just getting comfortable. Kent Murphy, let's go. Bro, Kent Murphy, the legend. Legend of the game. But, um... I, uh... Um, I'm working on more emotes. We have the, we have the, you know, what we want all ready to go. It's just we have to actually make them. Oh, shit. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giants. Did that, did it not go? No way. No way. Get him screaming, safe. Oh, safe. Oh, that's the best. When he, from the umpire shit? From the umpire video? Listen, I'll do it. I don't even give it shit. Oh, you're from the streamers arena one? All right, all right, all right. Wait, were you the one I was talking to? You gotta remind me of these things. I might seem smart, and I am in many categories, but on other categories, I'm fucking retarded. Am I really gonna lose an offline game? Oh, Christ. But, you know, the biggest thing, too, is to get your friends involved, right? Like, a lot of my friends, they follow, but they never watch. That's the biggest thing for you, John. Oh, so it's not you. Holy shit. Let's get it. No, because I was talking to someone from there, and I was like, yo, bro. Like, he was talking about Warzone and shit. I was like, yo. And I come through, and I just wrote, wrote to him. Yeah, wrote. Best tense. Um, to come through, and I thought that that was you. I thought that was... So, no, even better. Fucking... Even better. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you love that basketball. Who's your team? John, Who who's the team that you rep? Johnny Boy. What team are we, are we rocking with? Reigning champion, Los Angeles Angels. Uh, Los Angeles Angels. Los Angeles Lakers. I'm butthurt because the Knicks should have fucking waxed you on uh, Friday night. Or it's Thursday night. Thursday night. We should have fucking waxed you. But the refs felt bad. The refs felt bad. 
We also couldn't grab a fourth quarter fucking defensive rebound to save our lives. Especially on the... Okay, yeah. <laughs> no. I'm a Knicks fan. I'm a Knicks fan. I mean, not that that should be a curse anymore. We won 41 games in 72 game season. We're going to the playoffs. We have home court advantage for at least one round. And if there's upsets, we'll have fucking shit. We need that win. Yeah. You know. Oh, baseball team? Oh, Met fan. I read that because we were talking about baseball. Yeah, I know you needed the win, but the thing is, I kind of felt watching that game like there's no way that the Lakers could even compete with the Knicks right now. Like, we're absolutely kicking the shit out of you. And we were fucking around, not not getting a defensive rebound, not boxing out, not stopping Andre Drummond, like actually like looking like we were knocking our cock around out there, like it, we looked horrifically bad. Yeah, I didn't read that. Well, yeah, Anthony Davis was like banged up, bruised, like looked like he was through the war after that game. Um, he was hurt. He was, he was, he was definitely feeling the love. LeBron's just a pussy. I mean, that's a fact. The guy, you know, sits out all the time. Like, Christ. Like, Jesus Christ. Get in the fucking game, son. Kuzma's been aight. Caruso's whatever. Um, Colwell Pope's been good. What, what else? THL? TCH, whatever the fuck. I don't know. I don't know his abbreviation. T, whoever. He's been shooting good. Um, you know, it's been lit for you guys. It's a good year. I'm trying to. I don't think that you're gonna title defense. To be honest with you, I I think that that the West is extremely stacked up, and I don't think that it's. I don't think that um. Uh, uh, back-to-back -back championship is going to occur. That's just me. The Knicks surprised me. They surprised you. Surprised me. <laughs> like, they were going off. They were crazy. They were going off. 41 wins in 72 games. They had 39 wins combined the last two seasons. You know, um, you know, with 22 wins and 17 wins and you know, being the laughing stock of the league. Countless memes were made after we didn't get Zion, the first overall pick, and we didn't get KD and Kyrie, and, you know. But now look at us. We don't need them. It's like, it's like when my Islanders chant to John Tavares, we don't need you. Like, we don't fucking need you. Like, we're doing this shit without you. And, uh, we're doing better without you. And, you know, for all of the Nets super team shit, and yeah, you could say that they were hurt, and like, let's see what happens next year. The Knicks were not that many games away from, like, being close to them in, in the standings. Like, they weren't that much higher than the Knicks, right? Like, five games, but... Five games. It's not like 12. Run. Why didn't he run? I mean, it's the one reason why I hate basketball. And I was saying it before uh, to Drew, I think last night or two nights ago when I was streaming. Is that, I mean, I despise salary cap. I think the cap is the dumbest shit of all time. Uh, I think that it, it puts a false equivalency out there that small market teams are the same thing as big market teams we try to make it even the only people you punish is the small market teams because nobody wants to fucking go there but if you drafted well you were and you were able to attract the big names you could 100 percent have a super team in, in the middle of bumfuck new mexico like you know what i'm saying like it doesn't i don't like the salary cap that's why i love baseball there is no salary cap and um, I feel that way for the three sports that have it, which is football, baseball, and hockey. Because um, you still have super teams 
Oh, I was yelling at you about that? Well, I yell about every I yell at everybody about that. Because you still have super teams. You still have them. You know? They're still there. And uh, sometimes they win, sometimes they, sometimes they don't. But even with salary caps, you still have people taking sal salary cuts to make it. So it's like, what's the point? What's the point? Y you know what I'm saying? I've just never been a fan of it. I've never been supportive of it. I don't agree with it. I hate it. Um, I think if an owner and a GM get together and they say that they want to spend some cash, they should want to spend that cash. You know? I think that a cap also keeps the lower teams lower teams. Because if you could say, like, hey, we're going to go compete and I'm going to offer LeBron $200 million a year. I'm just making it up. To go play in Phoenix. You got to take it. And then you got LeBron James in Phoenix. You know you know what I'm saying? Where if you got rid of that cap, you'd be able to do... Not like that. That's a very extreme thing. But you know what I'm saying? Where because you have a cap, oh, we're out of room. We can't, we can't bid on a great free agent market. And then that lower... The market team, that lower division team, never has a chance to grow because of the salary cap. You know? I'm just not a, I'm not a fan of it. But like I was saying, you know, they still have super team, and they suck. They can never stay healthy. They got, first off, they got crybaby Magoo, Kyrie Irving. I mean, honestly, as a Nick fan, I don't. I'm happy we lost out on their shit. Cause who wants all that drama? Who wants all that bullshit? I got a young team. With a couple of little seasoned veterans. I've got a great coach. Yeah, we might not win every game. Yeah, we might blow leads. Yeah, we might even come back in some games. Yeah. You know, you've got to watch it. But you know what? I'd rather watch a team that has heart. And a team that wants to play and compete. And they're they're not prima donnas. And they play for each other. And they're a team. Than watch a fucking Eastern All-Star team. Complain about injuries, bitch and moan, piss and moan, blame mental health, but then go to clubs and shit. Get the fuck out of here. Fucking scumbags. All of them. Fucking James Harden is... Um, fucking, he only competes for a team that is competitive. That's not an all-star. That's not an MVP. That's not a fucking leader or a Hall of Famer. That's a fucking disgusting... But you only want to compete if you if you have a chance to make the playoffs. It, it's a fucking circus. It really is. That ain't it. KD fucking sits around out for fucking two months. I'll take my Julius Randle and my Nerlens Noel and my fucking Taj Gibson, Derek Rose, Manuel Quickly, Obi Toppin. Fucking RJ, I'll take Alec Burks over any of them. I like a team that's got heart. Like I said, you might not win a championship, you might not win everything, you might not win every game imaginable, but you know what? They've got heart. They're out there every day. Julius Randle played every fucking game. Julius Randle fought through injuries. Julius Randle fought to change his image. And Julius Randle became arguably in the MVP conversation, easily most improved player of the year, uh, and brought the Knicks almost single-handedly some nights to the fucking playoffs. Okay, my boy, I'm about to go shower. Be right back. No problem, my guy. Come back. In fact, yeah.
They actually give a damn and they want to compete. Not these fucking prima donnas with these contracts. And fucking jerking off. Oh, I'm going to sit out. Load management. What about Julius Randle playing fucking 41 minutes a game every night? Every day. Load management. It's a bunch of bullshit. And he was out there whether we were winning, losing, tied, overtime, didn't matter. That's a fucking leader. That's a captain. Not the bullshit that the Nets have. But, no, 100%, my guy, go shower up. Go get nice and clean. Very important, get clean. And, um, come back when you come back. Let me read that, Drew. One one minute, Drew. I think that most superstars just don't care. They don't. Yeah. And Because we were talking about the expanded playoffs. That's what we were talking about. They don't. And, yeah, they turn it on. Yeah, no, I know what you're saying. That they, they don't really give a shit about the regular season. Like, turn it on when it matters the most. But, sometimes, and it especially happens... Are you kidding me? It especially happens in hockey all the time. Is these teams that sit people and they rest people. Sometimes they get into the regular se the postseason and they're not ready. And they get fucking annihilated. And it's a sight to see. And baseball does it too. Dude, that's back-to-back -back innings where I scored a run, and then I gave up a home run. An absolute no doubt about it, dinger. Like I said also to you, Drew, is that um, the owners are not going to want to have more expansion and stuff and DH and shit without expanding the playoffs. Because they're not going to want 32, 33, 31, 34 teams in the league and only 12 make it. They ain't going to stand for that shit. So, that's why, and they're going to want that ticket revenue of, of a whole extra ass round. So, it's coming. It's coming. But in baseball, and I just feel this way too, like if you're just going to pack it up for the regular season, you're going to blow a ton of regular games. You might not miss, you might not make the postseason to begin with. You might miss it for a team that has nothing to lose, exceeding expectation, and got hard. They have to do expansion the right way. Like, everyone's saying Nashville, Nashville, Nashville. Nashville's never had a team. They've never been close to having a team. Every fan that's in Nashville is probably a Cardinal fan. So it's going to take generations for people to come and become Nashville fans. Because you're talking about people who have been fans of probably the Cardinals since 1900. Whose families go back three, four, five generations watching the Cardinals. Maybe even taking the drive to St. Louis, not that far away, and going to the game. A team like Montreal, who had a team for almost 40 years, that's where I would expand to first. Okay, yeah. I'm quitting again. How come I cannot beat the Giants? This is fucking ridiculous. Not taking fucking offline losses. Thanks. It's going to happen. And I think Montreal is going to come out. Because they want National League. Uh, I think they want National League in the uh, in Canada. I think that they want 
Uh, Nashville's been rumored. I think they do want El Las Vegas. I think they do because it's the desert and the Diamondbacks blow cock. So I think that they do want uh, they do want that to happen. Uh, so I think Vegas is definitely in the consideration. Uh, that's really it. Like, there's not a lot of other hubs. I wouldn't give a second team to Boston or Philadelphia, even though there already was one. I wouldn't give one to, uh, St. Louis, even though there was one. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I wouldn't do that. I would try to go new. You know, new places. With it. You know, if we're going to do expansion, I don't want, you know, expansion in a place that already exists. I want expansion in a place that doesn't exist. New. That's probably the biggest thing that I can stress about it. Dude, I was looking. I can't believe, Drew, you've almost you've almost been subbed a whole ass month. I didn't even think it was that long. Fuck it. Putting Bob Feller in. No, I'm not. Oh, man. But, bro, how awesome was John? Subbing himself and then donating five. And he's on the list. He's now number four all time all-time top gifters at five standing alone also on the net list nick with three lachlan with two hayden with seven mike with 10 although he has been in the stream for a while and caden with 20. caden's actually just ended he he stopped with the sub caden just ended like yesterday or two days ago so I haven't, I haven't talked to Caden in a while since I started playing this game. His subscription of Senegal 2 and him has ended out. Whatever. What'd you say? Hold on, let me see. I didn't either. It feels like it was super recent. So do I. Like, when I saw it, I was like, no way. He's been around a month. But yeah, April 22nd, you came in. And you subbed that night. So it's been, um... It's been, right, I'm gonna, let me click it. Hey, April 22nd, yeah. So it's been, it's been a nice, uh, decent time, you know, already. But it's been fun. I think we've had a good time. Um, we do have to continue our conversation about Legos, though. I mean, come on now. We haven't been able to really pick that shit back up. We have good conversations to, to be had. Oh, and Nick, how's your baseball game been going? Fuck with that pitch. You ordered the bad, bad shuttle? Holy shit! Fucking go somewhere. Um... It looks like a nice little uh, play set. It looks nice. I saw the review of it, you know, from MNR. Uh, it looks nice. Um, 
It looks like a swell set. I know that they were arguing about what color it is. It does look like a gray color in the show, like a gray blue. I think the blue set is not the right thing, but gray isn't right either. Starting tomorrow, it's starting pitcher. Not bad. Not bad at all. Then after that, playing JV for a bit. Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong. Nothing wrong with that. Yeah, it's a slight blue gray. There is a Lego color for it. They use it a lot in the modular buildings. Um, the color that I'm envisioning. I gotta say, I love the first episode of the Bad Batch. <clears throat> The last two have not been bad, but it's just very slow, very story heavy, very like explaining things and, um, you know, like the, the first one, there was some action, there was explosions, there was shooting, bang, bang, bang. This, the last two episodes have been kind of, you know, explaining the characters and explaining this and story and exposition and shit like that. Again, not bad. It's just like, whatever. Like, kind of, after the second episode, I was like, wow, I was kind of bored. Third episode was like, that wasn't that bad. And then I was like, all right, second episode wasn't that bad on, like, a rewatch. Oh, you haven't finished the new one? Well, I, I got nothing to say. All I'm going to say is this, and it gives nothing away, like legitimately nothing, is Crosshair showed up with a squad. And the squad really looked like, and they were dressed like the Inferno squad from Battlefront 2. Like they looked like it. And I was like, no, that's fucking impossible. But like... They, like, it looked like them, and then one of the characters was drawn slightly, like, little Asian-ish, little, like, Spanish-looking, and it kind of looked like the guy, the woman who played Aiden, Versio. So I was like, oh, shit. Like, right away, as soon as I saw it, I don't, I think I'm, I do not think it was Inferno Squad. I don't think that it's Aiden Versio. Because it would have to be, like, 18 or 20 years or some shit down the road. And I, I don't think, I don't think she was 40-ish, 45, or whatever the hell, at the time of Battlefront 2. No, I don't think so. I just think it was one of those things, you know, when you, when you, you know when you get a, like, an immediate reaction, like a boom. That was, like, when I saw the character on the screen, I was like, oh, shit. They made that fucking cannon, because he was kind of talking like, this is the squad and stuff, and blah, blah, blah. And... It just felt like it. Um, and I don't think it was. I don't think it was. Um, I didn't see any confirmation of who it was or whatnot. Like, we didn't get their names or anything. Um, I'm just saying that, like, maybe that's the beginning of Inferno Squad that we see going on. But not who we play with and as and for in Battlefront 2. Kind of like, um, not wishful thinking, but kind of like, uh, you know, like, um, what do you call it? Um, like putting pieces together and the pieces are just totally fucking wrong. Like, I don't even care that the ending is over.
But I have liked it so far. I have liked it so far. No problem, Drew. No problem, my guy. Take your time. Come back. Whatever. Okay. You know me. We'll be here. We'll be chilling. We're going to be playing the Conquest and I'm chatting. But no, I'm I'm excited. We we're up 21 now. I mean, gaining six today from John has been awesome. We're up to 21 now. It's been a while since we've been in the 20s. Um, I think the high water mark was like 42 or something like that at that one point when all the gifted were in and, and stuff like that. But um, definitely means a lot. Definitely means a lot. We're getting there again. The goal would, is by the end of the summer to have 50. That's what I want. I want to have like 600 followers or something. By the end of the summer. Get to like 600, 650. Trout, what the fuck is that? No Number seven. Second base You gotta be kidding me. Come on, win the 1v1. Win the 1v1.
Oh, he's dead. Very early on that. Oh shit! Knocks it down the throw! Not in time. I had to swing because I thought it was going to be out. But he wasn't. He wasn't. He was alive. Fucking kidding me, game. Well, at least I'm gonna get made up for it. Should be a two run homer, but it's not. It'll be a solo shot. Who gives a shit? Cunha. Where did everybody go? Like, why wouldn't this bull be the second baseman right off the rip? Right down to one fucking dude.
All right, nice little uh, last second, big win. Open Burns is about to be tier three, which is crazy. Nobody's really close. Trout's almost halfway to tier five, but that's it. Nobody else is close to anything. I gotta beat the Rockies back. The Rockies haven't been in play for a long time. I beat them mad rounds ago. Like, there's no way that the Rockies should still be able to compete. I don't care if I only win by one. I just want to win it. I don't care. And I'll take other people's beatdowns of other teams and take it to my advantage. Now I think that they're all done moving. So now I'm really going to take it to my advantage. Am I? Yeah. Okay. I'll win. I'll win that. I'll win it. I'm winning. Even though I'm not, you know, being able to move anywhere else because I'm only winning by one. A win is a win. That's unfortunate. I would have liked to have won that. This is gonna be difficult. Told you. Told you. The 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 one piece of Colorado territory that's left, I can't beat it down. It's insane. It's so stupid. Sometimes. For the conquest. Like I said, like that should be like absolute no matter what you're fighting. It's the last thing. It can't reinforce, it can't move, you haven't touched it. It should be like an automatic gimme. Instead it's not. It's like you gotta pray and fucking hope that you get it done. So dumb. Come on, win it! Damn. Arizona just fucking totally packed it up. I got two chances to win a 1v1. You gotta love it. 
You, you gotta love it. Win it. Good. I mean, it was a great round. We did, we, you know, we ran a ton of territory, but it's just, like, so stupid sometimes with this game. It's like, why? Why couldn't you let me grab the other dubs? program looking am I about to get something 440 I get 10 packs in a silver topper That's the big pack right there. I want to buy the uh, second hit, uh, the left fielder. Uh, Dom, is it Dom? Yeah, it's Dom. 160 for Dom. I'm gonna get a uh, cleats. <clears throat> Two, three. Three cleats. That'll get the job done. Put it into there. And now we're at 430,000 XP earned. Uh, not bad. Not bad. We're getting there. We're, we're closing in our 10-pack box. Not a lot of things to go. Uh, just about 220,000 XP. There's going to be another play program, so that's going to put it down to like 190 and stuff. So, Plenty of time still to get to the end of the second inning. I'm not even close to being concerned about getting to the end. Not even close. So we got 44 reinforcements. It's not even bad. I need to rebuild the wall here. Cool. Immediately, shit's gotta go there. Okay. So. We put a 10 there. In case we want to fight the Cubs, we can. Uh, I'm not really worried about any of that shit um, at all because twos can't fight me. go into there and break that shit up. I want to break that party up. Um, again, twos can't fight, ones can't fight. I'm good with it. That's enough of the Rockies.
You're gonna be fucking me, man. Christ on a fucking bike. Fuck that, I am playing them. been missing my better half dude he's oh mads mads actually isn't subbed anymore <laughs> mads isn't mads isn't sub his sub ran out i trade because i saw it and it was like recent on it was like unsubscribers and he was at the top which hurt my feefies that he un that he was on you know, not on purpose, but I think that it just ran out. And I don't think... I think it was a gifted sub, if I am correct. Hold on, let me see. It's right here. I think it was a gifted sub, so it doesn't... It's like... It doesn't really count, per se. Yeah, it was gifted. And it ended on the 13th of May. So, unfortunate for him. It's, uh... Mads um, is, uh is no longer sub. It was your gifted sub. That's right, you gifted it to him. Yeah. It it counts. No, it does count. It's just like because it was gifted, it's not a reoccurring thing, so he no longer is sub to the channel. He's no longer there. You know, he's no longer in. It sucks. Our captain of the hydration nation is gone. Dude, it's gone. I mean, he's still following. He can come back at any time, resub at any time, but it's not, uh. Hags is in here, that's right. Mads is no longer sub. Hags is never sub, because he, he's, he, he's broke, bitch. <laughs> I, I joke around with him all the time about that, though. It's all good. One man show. Like, pretty sad showing if you ask me about the history of Hydration Nation. Something that was full of such promise uh, fell apart. It's got, it's, it is time to recruit. You gotta recruit. You gotta recruit. People to the Hydration Nation. They don't understand the power of the hydrate. They don't get it. Because it's uh it doesn't exist anymore, really. I mean, you're it right now until Mads resigns or you know Hags comes back into um uh, Hags come back into the fold. You you're it. You smell a comeback. I hope you do. John shows promise for the hydration nation. I like John. John seems chill. I mean, technically, John's above you now, uh, if you want to know the truth, because he he's gifted five. You've gifted uh. You've gifted three, so he he slipped in ahead of you. With that with that display, the first person to ever gift five in the new with all the new sounds, he he slipped on in, kind of, you know, slid underneath. <laughs> Listen, I appreciate your five dollars every fucking month. I appreciate it. it. Means a lot. You know that. We're all good in the hood. I appreciate. But I'm just saying that you've been passed. I'm in high school, bro. You got no money. Yeah, you can. I don't even think you can, because. Are you turning 16? If you're turning 16, you can because you can get working papers. I know in New York, you have to get working papers um, by the state to allow you to work. I mean, you know, ice cream, 
Um, you know, if you have local PAL fields, like, do the fields and shit, it's work, but it's whatever. Um, dogs, asshole, inspect them. No, um, but, like, you know, uh, easy shit. You don't want to work hard. You're young. Like, yeah. Yeah, you gotta have permit. You gotta have permits to do shit. Um, you gotta have work permit. We call them working papers, but, yeah, you gotta have work permit and stuff like that, so. Um, you have to, uh, you have to, I don't know, I mean, you know, like, ice cream place, or, like, a frozen yogurt, or shit like that, you know, you, you know, simple food work. You don't want to work at, like, McDonald's or Burger King, that shit's ass. Like, like, working at your local, like, ice creamery, or shit like that, you know. Be a kid. Plus, you get to eat ice cream all day. Like, who wouldn't want to do that shit? You know, summer, you know, look at a summer camp. See if, you know, you can be hired as a camp counselor in, like, your village or town or whatever, you know. That's what I did. When I was 15 and I could work, I became a camp counselor. Yeah. Become the next Gary V, bro. Important. I'm surprised you haven't said anything about the fucking Cubs, the fact that I'm playing them in this conquest. I'm surprised you haven't said anything. Well, obviously, Jason Hayward eats ass, so you gotta send him home. I hate when the uh, air conditioner kicks on, because my lights are not fully on. So when the air conditioner kicks on, it like shuts off the lights for like a half second. I'm telling you, Nick, tomorrow, is the stream to watch. I'm 100% telling you that. Because we got not just Mac coming in tomorrow in person, on stream. We got PJ as well coming in on stream tomorrow. We got Mac, we got PJ, we're gonna have me. They're gonna be playing BR and ranked. I'm gonna be sitting in the back. We're gonna be talking to chat, having a good shit, having a good time. Oh, yeah, no, Jason Hayward's playing right field because I'm playing the fucking Cubs in this conquest, and I sent him home because um, I sent my runner home because his arm is asshole. Yeah, they're going to be here tomorrow. Tomorrow night, we're going to be streaming. The three, uh, three of us are all going to be on stream together. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun tomorrow. Like, I'm really excited. It's going to be a good time. It's going to be a good time. I will enjoy shit-talking, Mac. Listen, what we shit on him all the time about... And you will see it. Because it's, it's going to happen. What we shit on him all the time is he is a horrifically bad online pitcher. Like, he can hit. He does really good hitting. But, like, pitching, he is abysmal at all on online pitching. He is awful at it. Like, there's been so many, like, 5 nothing, 6 nothing leads that PJ's gotten because of his hitting. And they'll give it up because of the pitching. Um, it's gonna be like starting around that time, cause that's like eight thirty us. Yeah, that's eight thirty for me. So, you know, eight thirty nine, maybe we'll be starting it up. Depends upon when they want to go, when they want to get it going. Oh yo, Don Duck, yo, what's up? Good morning, my neighbors. 
How are you? It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a while, but um, it's all good. Happy you're here right now. We're just chilling, playing the conquest, trying to grab uh, more of the um, gold players for free to get the Jared Kellenic card. So um, that's what we're just trying to do here. Just trying to chat, hang out while we rip this. I'm flipped around like that. Dying. So yeah, like we're gonna be playing for a while tomorrow night. Um, the three of us on stream. First time we're doing it since December, and you know now I'm affiliated, and you know now um. Actually, no, I was affiliated when I did it the last time, I think. But now I got mad people, and I I want a nice good chat. I want to have a good time. Graduating high school soon. Let's get it. So is my sister. My sister is a, a senior in high school. Um, their graduation is on the, uh, turf. Uh, at our local college, outside. In June. So they're gonna be sweating their fucking ass off. So that's gonna be good. Just wait until Matt Duffy takes your yard. No, no, no. No, no. No Matt Duffy. Fuck Matt Duffy. Ooh. Jackie says fuck Trevor Williams. Jackie! Ho, ho, ho. Green Giants! How good! Ooh, Acuna with a little poke. Cooney with the little poke. Oh, oh, oh. Green Giants. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. see you later. Yes, I am talking shit. No, but that's great. Um... Donald Duck, uh, that you graduate in high school. It was a hard year. Uh, believe me, like I said, my sister's a senior in high school, so I know what she was kind of going through with all this shit, and uh, I can't imagine it, so, you know, hats off to you um, for pushing through it and getting through it and, you know, being one of those things. <laughs> Yeah, no, it's definitely, um, it's definitely tough. Distance learning is definitely tough. Yeah, no, that your graduation is actually at a baseball field. Like a little league or a little, you know, like college or minor league stadium, major league stadium. Where's it at? That's why I said that. Because I said, um, after that, that, um, after I read that, that, um, my sister is on the turf field at our local college, like, soccer field, like, soccer lacrosse field, and they're gonna be sweating their dick all off. They really are. First week of June, in the middle of the afternoon, on a turf field. For a couple of hours. They're gonna be absolutely fucking roasting weenies out there. I don't know much about baseball. It's alright. Tell you what, if it's a major league stadium, it's pretty fucking lit. Minor league stadium is still pretty cool, too. No way. No shot. There's no way. I thought you went to pretty good baseball school. Yeah. Is it like the school field? Like, where you where your school plays ball? 
or is it like a local field, like a PAL league field, or is it like a college? Yeah, or is it minor or major league? Because my high school has very nice fields, turf fields and shit. A lot of space, but, but there's no bleach. Like, there's only a little bit of bleachers for the football, like, part of the, you know, thing. Not enough for a 500-kid outdoor graduation, so. Um, that's why we have it at my college that I went to. Uh, it's right next to where I went to high school, where my sister went to high school. And, uh... She, they have it there. Because it just, it's way more space. No way. Dude, I'm getting robbed left and right here in the Cubs. It's a major league field. I think what he means, like, if your school had a really good baseball program, like, I think he was thinking that if it was a school field, that it would be like a really, really, since you're having a graduation there, that he thought it was a school field and that you guys had to have a good team if you have a really good enough field to have a high school graduation. But now that you said Major League Stadium, you know, now you said Major League Stadium, that kind of moves that point. Oh, they just want to have more space because of the virus? I get it. I get you, my guy. Listen, that virus shit's almost over. Almost over. We're going to be over with it soon. I mean, I've been done with it, but almost over. If you get offered the vaccination, take the fucking thing. Don't be a dickhead. Don't be a fucking stunad. Because you're only going to extend the virus past its fucking expiration date. By not taking the thing that's going to end it. I got the vaccine as soon as I possibly could. I got, um, I got... The vaccination in January. First dose, second dose, uh, February 21st. I got it. I got my vaccination. Fully vaccinated. Got my Moderna. I am done for the day. I did my part. And all these fucking pansies that don't want it are fucking out of their mind. Dude, shut up. No chip. There's no chip in it. No nothing. And you know what? Even if there is a chip, so fucking what? They, the government tracks us anyway. They, go, they track us anyway with the phone and the computer and the this and the that. They track us anyway. They track us in the car. They track us. So what's the fuck difference? What does it make? And you know what? If... if it, there is something in it that's going to kill us all and they're going to flip a switch. I don't want to be the only one left alive. So, I'll take it. I'll take it. You know, if it's going to kill everyone, and I don't want to be, I don't want to be the only one that's going to be alive, so. If you get all for this shit, take it, please. Please. Because it's, the only way we're going to get out of this shit, stop the masks, full capacity everywhere, and get back on to normal pre-March 2020 life is if we get the vaccination, we do our parts, and we move the fuck on. That's it. It's the only way. It's the only way. Like, look. Up, you know, in a couple of days, when that shit, that CDC shit comes out, guess what? Dylan doesn't have to wear a mask nowhere no more. It's fantastic. See? I mean, Dylan and his family are able to go back to normal life. We're able to move on with our world. Where with all these other fucking pecker ass that don't want it, it's fucking crazy to me. It's crazy. You piss and moan about masks, you piss and moan about this, you piss and moan about that. We don't have 100% capacity. We have to wear this shit in restaurants. We're not able to do this. Businesses are hurting. Jobs. All this shit. Everyone pisses and moans about this fucking shit. But then, they don't want to take the one thing that's going to end it. It blows my mind. So it's like, don't piss and moan then. Don't moan. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't give a shit. I don't know. It's been like that. It's just something... I think as I go so fast, 
that I, it doesn't it doesn't like count in. Time to build a wall. Wall. Uh, yeah, wall, 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 it's just a, it's just a wall, just a common wall, just your common wall, what's it like when you get the vaccine, um, well, it's different for everybody, it really is. And it's different depending upon which one you get. For me, I got my Moderna, and I was fine shot one, arm hurt, and then second shot, my arm hurt uh, for a little bit, and then at about 2.30 in the morning, my fucking health fell through the fucking floorboards. I had chills. I was, like, shaking like this in my bed for, like, four hours. Cold sweat every, like, every... Like, my hand, every bit of skin was so sensitive where it, like, almost hurt to touch it. Where you moved, there was just so much pain. My arm from the shot hurt. I was, I felt like death for about that whole day after it. Now, I was off, you know, I mean, I was graduated. I, I don't have, I don't work, so I was able to take the whole day to kind of recuperate. Um... But my ass was sufficiently beat. And then I took some Advil, took some Advil, and by dinner time I was I was pretty much back to normal. Um uh, and to me it was it kinda showed me like, hey, it worked. They're not just injecting water into you, like it it was legit. I I basically had like corona light, if you will. Basically. It's kinda how I phrased it. I was tired, lethargic. I had no trouble breathing or anything, but like I had diarrhea. I just was in total like agony for a day, and then I was fine. And then like legitimately, after dinner time, ate, got food in me, you know, drank a lot of water. Um, I was fine. I was fine. And then I moved on. And then I was like, well, I'm good for six months. Peace out, Girl Scout. And that was kind of like my thing. Now I'm good to almost basically the end of August. Um, protection. So uh, I'm, I'm happy with it. Uh, people don't want to get the vaccine. Yeah, because it affects everyone different. Um, you know, that's why they keep you for 15 minutes. Because, you know, they want to see if you have allergic reaction. Which is good, important to do. Uh, good thing that they do it, right? Then if you don't have anything in the 50 minutes, they send you home. Um, because that's when the antibodies wear out. It's like, the shot doesn't last forever. Uh, so August 21st is kind of the day, it's six months of the day after the second shot. That's when my immunity is over. I go back to having 0%. So I'm going to need a booster shot for Moderna that kind of gets me going. And what the booster shot they said is like 50% like old good old Corona and 50% those like extra strands and shit to try to protect us from that stuff too. But the, uh, the new strands, the new variants, are like 85% killed with this shit. Uh, if I can recommend one, Pfizer, because apparently, I mean, they're all the same, they're like 99 to 5%, and they're both two shots, both a month in between, or three weeks, whatever it is. But Pfizer did not whip the shit out of a lot of people, first and second. Moderna did. Moderna fucked up my sister, she was very sick the second time. Again, for the day, right? Um, my mom got knocked down her ass uh, a bit the next day. My dad was kind of fine. Um, 
my aunt's my aunt was beaten by Pfizer this first and second shot. No, not the first. She was beaten the first shot on Pfizer, not the second. My Aunt Donna was kind of killed on the first one. My Uncle Jim was fine. Uncle George was fine. My two cousins, they were fine. Mac got shit on. Yeah. Mac got Moderna. No, yeah, no, Mac got... Mac got Pfizer. I don't know. Mac's mom and dad got Pfizer from the city. Uh, I think Connor got Pfizer, and then I got Moderna. Um, I got Moderna, and I think Mac got Moderna. But he got very sick both times. And the second time, his second shot, he literally had coronavirus. Like, he literally had it. Like, and it was coming in waves where, like, four hours he was fine, six hours he was sick, four hours he was fine. Um, my friend PJ doesn't want it. He doesn't want the vaccine. My, 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 uh, my cousin Connor didn't want it, but I think he's kind of being forced into getting it by his family, which is good. My grandmother got Moderna, and she was fine. She didn't even have a side effect. Um... No, it's not permanent uh, with, with your other thing. Is that I only have until August 21st with the, until the antibodies that my body made are gone. They're, they're gone. So if I get a booster shot in August, that'll take me to like 2022. And by that point, I mean, here's the thing. And especially for like you guys, not so much, not so much duck because, you know, he's going to be going to college. But college is going to do it, too. Um, but for you, Nick, 1,000%, if we have to get vaccinated as kids for measles, mumps, fucking smallpox, you know, the plague and shit, shit that was around, like, in ancient times, 1,000%, if you want to attend school next year in person, you've got to get the shot. It's going to happen. Are you not going to college? It's going to be mandated everywhere. Because with New York, how we're doing it, and I'm sure other states are doing it, they're not accepting cards. It's on my phone. So I have it on my phone. And you can't fake it. Because my mom wrote her full name. And her full name is not on the card. And it was kept declining until she changed it to what was on the card. So you can't fake it. You can't fake it at all. Uh, so that's what's gonna happen. It's gonna be on your phone. If you can't present it, you're not gonna be able to go anywhere or do anything. Mask or no mask, you're not gonna be able to do dick. So it's going to be a forced thing. Um, as close to mandated as possible, and they probably will mandate it, and every school is gonna ask for it too. Because like I said, if we're asking for people to get their shots at two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, etc., etc., years old, for shit that nobody gets, like measles, mumps, smallpox, and shit like that, fucking meningitis and crap, you're gonna need it for the pandemic that we're currently in. You know what I'm saying? Like, hate to break everyone's bubble, but that's what's gonna happen. I went to a technical high school and studied carpentry, so I'm gonna try and get a carpentry. Okay, yeah, so you go right out and you become an apprentice at a, college, at a high school. I get it. My cousin Connor did that. He, he went to um, UTI and uh, became a uh, mechanic. He tried to go to real college twice and just didn't work out. So then he went to UTI, went for a year, graduated, got all of his fucking certifications and, sh and shit and became a mechanic. And uh, he's bounced around from job to job trying to find what he loves and now he found what he loves to do and, he, and he's happy. So that's it. But 100%, without a shadow of a doubt, they're going to mandate it. Like I said, they go to school, and then restaurants are going to be like, hey, can I see your phone? And you're not going to be able to fake it because, it's, you know, they're going to say that it's got to be, like, on a, in the, either in the New York State app, and you've got to see it be pressed, not a screenshot. You know, it's you're not going to be able to fuck around, which is good, right? Like, 
and here's the thing too, because I get people that are like, oh, I could just fake it. Asshole. The only person you're 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 pretending or you're fooling is yourself. Like you're not fooling me. I've got it. You know what I'm saying? Like this is this is my argument with my friend where he was like, people are just gonna lie, and I'm like, okay, they can lie. They don't have it, right? Like, so if we touch a if we touch a doorknob that has Corona on it, I've got the shot. I've got a 90% chance of not even getting it, and then the 5% chance is it like is of me getting Corona, but it being absolutely fucking asymptomatic, weak bullshit. No more than a fucking cold. Even at that, there's some people that don't even feel sick, so it's like. You know what I'm saying? That guy that touches that same doorknob who doesn't have the vaccination is going to get corona. Because he's at 0%. How did I not get that cool? You know what I'm saying? You're only fooling. You're only lying to yourself. You know, oh, I got into this restaurant. I don't have my vaccination. I lied. Hoo, hoo, hoo. You're only fooling yourself. You know what I'm saying? That's kind of like my feeling about it. It's like... Ooh, you know. You're only lying to yourself. You know. And then if you get caught lying about it, you're probably going to get shit on. With, you know, false document. Full, ma you know, making a false document. State or federal document. You know, you're going to get fucking huge fine, maybe even jail time for a couple, you know. Because, I'm not saying that's what they should do. It's probably what's going to happen. Because you're creating a false government document it's like when you get a, f a fake id if a cop wants to break some balls big ass fine he doesn't just take it big ass fine hey come see me in court for some fucking probation and shit so if we're doing that for fucking ids for people to drink tell me that they're not gonna break absolute balls if people if they catch people having fake vaccination cards and and fake registrations on the state websites and shit tell me that they're not gonna fucking Hammer him through the ringer. You know? They're gonna put everything on him. You know? They're gonna smack the shit out of him. You know? Just tapping everything on it. Then I got... That's fine. That's all good. It's all well and good, my guy. It's all well and good. Appreciate all the time that we've hung out. Major just went up. Aiden and General are still ripping. I would like one of them to raid. That'd be nice. If Hayden or Gen or if Hayden or Ryan raided me, be nice. Kind of nice little boost. I really got to talk to Ryan about this fucking shit, man. Because we keep saying we're gonna make emotes, emotes, emotes. But we never make the fucking emotes. We haven't even had a discussion. I keep going into his chat and being like, hey, man, what are we doing it? Oh. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giants. Hepatitis, see you later. Um, thanks, Duck. Um, yeah, we're talking about the COVID, uh, COVID vaccination. Uh, talking about it. Now, Drew, you're near my age. You're in your 20s. Are you getting it? I already got it. I got it in February. And like I said, I've been saying, I've been talking about it. Just saying shit. Oh, oh, oh. Green Giant. That's not gone. No, it's fucked. Yeah, I got it. No, that's good. I'm, like, I'm saying that people who don't want it, you're just fucking insane. And and you're only extending the the you're only extending the pandemic. The thing that you're only extending the thing that they hate longer by not doing it. It's like incredible. It's insane. It's so stupid. I got Moderna. I got my first Moderna shot on NFL Championship Sunday. And then I got my second shot on February 21st. So two weeks before the Super Bowl, 
you know, that Sunday, you know, championship Sunday when the Green Bay Packers played and the Bucks played and you know, Kansas City played, all that shit. My ass was toast. Like, I was just so tired. I was lethargic. That next, like, that night, my ass got beat by Moderna. It really did. My ass got fucking chewed out by Moderna. Second shot. Oh, shit. Fuck. It's a good thing I waited. It's a good thing I waited to press the button. Otherwise, it would look like a dickhead. Me too, car. Me too. About the shot. Me too. Um, but yeah. Fuck the Packers. Uh, yeah, I know. You're a big bear. Big bear guy. Justin Fields. Oh, yeah. Fuck. No way! He caught that! Whatever. Um, it's just so stupid. It really is. And like I was saying, Ray just. Um, it's just so stupid where, uh, with these people, and I was talking about all the people that are like, oh, I'll just make a fake one, or I have a fake vaccination card and stuff. First off, Dick, they're not gonna accept that that's number one they're gonna accept um apps and shit that have scannable barcodes that could be back checked and backlogged that's number one number two is even if you get past that and you're lying you're not hurting me i have it my whole family has it. um like you know what i'm saying you're only lying to yourself you're not uh you're only spiting yourself, hurting yourself. You're lying to yourself. Whatever you want to say, it's what you're doing. You're, you're not protected like I am. You know, I can walk into a crowd of people carefree and know I have a 90 to 95% chance of not getting corona. And even the 5% chance, it's going to be so fucking weak, it's going to be a joke. I have a great chance of not getting it. Where walk around maskless, do whatever I want to do, whenever, wherever I want to do, right? The guy who's lying, he can do that same thing, but he ain't gonna get it. Like, he's gonna, he ain't, he's gonna get actual, real, full-on corona, because he has zero percent. So it's like, that's my feeling. Yeah, it's not FDA appro approved. It's still, you know, early access or whatever the hell it is. Emergency warning, whatever the hell. I don't like that either, but at the same time, uh, like I was saying, is for people in school and shit, we, you know, force vaccinations on kids. And I'm not an anti-vaxxer at all. I actually think those people are fucking lunatics at all. Like, they should be the outcasts of society. Instead of canceling fucking celebrities over a gay-ass tweet or some shit. We should cancel those fucking retards. But we, we make kids have to get, like, measles and mumps and fucking smallpox and meningitis and fucking this and that shit. But we're not going to regulate kids to have to get the vaccination of the pandemic that we're currently in? It's insane. 100%, if you're going to want to go to school in person, your kids, they're going to... And let me tell you something. They're not going to do this whole online bullshit for much, much longer. They're going to say either you're coming to school or you're not. Like, that's the thing. Also, I had it. It wasn't that bad. You know, but we're young, right? Like, not, how many people died our age who were healthy? Not overweight, not anything. Like, purebred, healthy people. Like, seven? It still sucks. But, come on. It was, it's like a, it was like a joke to people our age. The biggest fucking retards are the people who get vaccinated twice, past the two-week waiting period, and they still wear two masks. That is what you call a virtue-signaling retard. Have I been to Florida? No, but every other member of my family has been to Florida. Like, my cousin Matt goes down to Florida all the time. So does his mom. Uh, my... His... His grandmother, it's weird. My family tree, once you get into that portion, is weird. My aunt, my ex-aunt, because 
my mom brother okay so here's how it goes it's fucked up we want to talk about retarded here's retarded my mom's brother had a daughter that's my aunt jody that's max mother so he he had her with his ex-wife and that's who he calls his grandmother he calls her nanny so that's it confuses a lot of people um it's just how it goes and they they've been down in florida for uh, since like november yeah no florida is absolutely insane they don't wear masks vaccination is is high they are getting the vaccinations but mad people don't want it or don't care because they've been walking around with no masks on for fucking since they began so they're like i don't give a shit they're like if i haven't gotten it by now fuck i'm never getting it that's like their mindset it's craziness they're they're crazy down in florida although you could say that it's sign of a good governor look that they did no shutdown they did no lockdown they did no nothing no mask mandates they barely shut down for the 15 days to control the spread and all that shit they did none of that shit at all and they still have like the lowest fucking rates of everything you want to look at out that's gone ho, ho, ho. Fuck you, Chucky. Um, I was outside Tampa and I saw three restaurant workers wearing masks. Yeah. Because, like, they kind of have to, but it's like, other than that, like, and, and that's always been my feeling since the beginning, and it's always kind of been received with people that are like, no, fuck you. If you want to wear a mask, like, wear it. If you don't, that's your person, as much as it is a personal choice to you to wear it, I think it should be as much a personal choice to be able to not wear it. I believe in the ability of a free American people to do what they want. Like, you want to be a dickhead and not wear it at the height when there was no vaccination? All right, don't wear it. If you want to, wear it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I just think that, you know, people, like, have to be able to make their own choices. Right? Like, we're all adults here, right? Uh, we should be able to make our own shit. Make it up. Make up our minds. You know, get after it. I mean, I'm in New York, right? And New York's a fucking shithole. And we had the strictest fucking shit lockdowns. We're still on it. Like, you know, we still have caps on shit and everything. We can't do dick. We can't do anything. For, you know, 14 months we've been going on this shit. And it's crazy. It's crazy. And we still have, like, we still have, like, high rates and shit. And it's like, bro, what? How is that possible? And then Florida has nothing, and they're fine. Because it's about leadership. That's what it's about. I fucking take... I take fucking DeSantis any day over fucking idiot that we have here. Absolute fucking spastic. Although, the one thing that was great about it, to be honest with you, in the past couple of weeks, is every time that someone accused Cuomo of fucking groping him or touching him or raping him or whatever the hell, we'd get free shit. We'd be like, oh, fucking, you want fans at your stand? Like, and I'm not even kidding. I'm not even kidding about this. You can even look up the timeline. I'm sure somebody has it. Where it's like, and I tweeted about it too. Where it was like, oh, you, you want fans in the stands? We're going to put fans in the stands today. And when you looked, it was like, oh, you know, three women come forward to say that Governor Cuomo pushed them up against the wall. And, shit. and then it was like a week, like three days later. Oh, uh, 75% indoor dining for Valentine's Day. It was like, huh? It was legit like shit like that, where it was like, no matter what was going on, like, if you look at it, something was happening. At, he was giving shit up, like, like giving, like, tossing shit out um, whenever that there was an, a, an issue. It was hysterical. Like, me and my family, we were laughing our ass off so much. Presidents, they were only the only one they're eligible for. Well, the elderly have to get it. I think if we're going to mandate it for anybody, it should be the kids, right, to go to school. 
because we mandate every other fucking thing under the goddamn sun for them to get even in the door before a pandemic hit. Um, and uh, the elderly. 100%. Like, anybody like over like 50, like that should be like where your regulation is. We're like, all right, you gotta get it. Like, that's gotta be like your thing. Other people, like the 25s, the 30s, and shit like that. All right, you know, you people want to break bowls and say personal choice and all that. Okay, go ahead. But, like, the young and the old, no. No personal choice. Thank you. Step up to the plate. I don't know. It just sucks. Because, like I said, we all want it to be done. We all want it to be done. We all want it to be over and done with. We all want it to be, you know, uh, back to normal. But, and I keep saying it, we're never going to be back to normal if people don't take the one thing that's going to get us back to normal. It's insane. It's crazy. It's crazy to me. To me, it's insane. But another thing, and this is this is a big thing. And like I said, don't hide who I am. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Um, who, you know, I don't care, like, what you think. I'm always gonna say it. I love my homeboy, number 44, not 44, fuck 44, 45. I love my boy Trump. And so many of my Trump supporting friends don't want it. It's like, bro, what? But they want him to get credit for Operation Warp Speed, and they want him to get credit for putting the vaccine out with three months to go into 2020. They want him to get credit for this. They want him to get credit for that, but then they won't take the thing that they want him to get credit for. And it's like, bro, what? Makes no goddamn sense. Makes no fucking sense, bro. At all. You want them to get credit. And then you're not doing the one thing that gives them credit. You fucking idiots. Pansies. Honestly, the worst part of COVID is stimulus checks and tax. That's true. That is true. The unemployment benefits outweigh working. So nobody wants to go work. Because you can sit at home and make a billion fucking dollars more. That's correct. That's 100% absolute correct statement. That's a fact of life. They need to be one stimulus and a little bit of an unemployment. Now, that, yeah, there's a worker shortage because, and then you had the president, what did he, earlier last week or this week, whatever. Um, you had the president say, oh, I'm not going to cut that. It's like, bro, if you don't cut it, nobody's going to go back to work because you can make hundreds with an S more on the unemployment than actually working. And it's like crazy. You like Trump? I love him. I love him. I think he got such a f bad fucking rap. He got such a bad thing. Bad image. Bad caricature. Bad, just bad luck, right? He was great. I loved him. My whole family does. That's what I was saying. Like, if you didn't get it, like, we hate Cuomo. Fuck him. Like, we all voted for him. Um, my sister would have, but she was uh, five months too short. Her birthday was in March. Yeah, actually, in November, so she couldn't. Um, my 94-year-old grandmother got out and voted for him. Everybody. We all did. I'm shocked. No, there's actually a lot of people in New York who love him. Upstate New York is fucking Hicktown, USA. Are you crazy? Upstate New York is a fucking circus. Holy shit. They burn, like, Fauci and effigy and shit. Upstate New York is actually the South. They, they drive Jeeps, lifted trucks, blast country music. It's as red as if you were to cut your arm open and bleed. Like, it's red, 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 upstate New York. The only things that are blue in New York are New York City, the Bronx, which actually had a real big red shift. The Bronx, Queens, Brooklyn, and Nassau, and and Buffalo, and Buffalo County. That's it. Like, that's it. That's all she wrote. I think he was just, dude. I loved him. I loved his just his persona. His, he was such a ball breaker. He was so funny too. Everyone would cry about his tweets. It was so funny. I love those shits. And everyone was like, no, he's gotta stop tweeting. And I'm like, no, he doesn't. He needs to tweet more. That was the best. His jokes. He would crack jokes. It's it's your favorite president. Like, he... He knew... 
Like, I'm sure he just sat there and was like, how am I going to piss people off today? How am I going to break this, like, absolutely put, like, liberals on suicide watch? And he did. And it was hysterical. I can't tell you how many times I was in class and people were, like, crying over it. Like, legitimately, because I'm a journalist, right? So I'm talking about it all the time in class. And I can't tell you how many times people were legitimately crying over his tweets. And I'm laughing. Like, <laughs> you fuck. You think he's serious? And they're like, he needs to be more... Pre I'm like, no, he doesn't. We've been presidential for years, for decades. We've been stomped all over the ground. Give me a break. I need somebody that talks like me, acts like me, doesn't put up with bull crap. And that's what I loved about him. And then he got robbed. And then he got robbed. And anyone that says he didn't get robbed knows that he got robbed. But they just don't want to say that he got robbed because it hurts their feelings. Like, that guy got 1,000% robbed. Like, it's insane. Hold on. I don't know why. It, at least it caught the whore, but I don't... No, I didn't. Shit. I saw that. Woo! No, I did not. I mean, I could... But here's the thing, right? Like, people would say, like, they didn't like Trump. I'd be like, okay. Okay. Whatever. I disagree, but whatever. But if you, like, said, like, I hated Hillary, which I fucking hated that bitch. I fucking hated her. Oh, my God. I was at the debate, because it was at my college. It was at Hofstra. It was at that first debate. I was like, I fucking hate you. Like, I was staring at her, like, fucking bitch. I fucking hate you. I fu oh, I hated her so much. I don't hate Joe Biden. I just think that he's a puppet. I just think he's a puppet. I think he's a puppet. I think he's a literal puppet. I think that he, he doesn't know where he is. I think they force him out there. Oh, yeah, you can't send... No links. Because it stops those bots. You know those fucking bots are like, you want followers? No, I don't. Thanks. Um, That's why I have no links on, because if you don't, those fucking bots will absolutely infiltrate your asshole. Send it to me in a whisper. Or, um, send it to me on Discord. Um, send it to me on Discord, or, or uh, whisper it on, on here. Whisper it. Whisper it on home. Yeah, he's old. I mean, we, we broke, because my biggest thing, and I kind of said it to my, my liberal friends, because everyone else in the radio station was liberal. What I said to my liberal friends was that, and we would go out to dinner. We still do. We go out to dinner. I think we're trying to go out to dinner this week. Like, I go out to dinner with him all the time. Um, and now I kind of go like, ha, this is your problem. Fuck face. Like, I, I break their balls because they broke my mind, you know, for four years. But, um, you know, I my thing was that they broke Trump's balls that he was 70 when he got elected or 69, whatever the hell he was. I think, you know, he was 70. Hillary was 69. Um, and they broke his balls nonstop, but then we elected someone four years older than him. I was like, bro, I clearly you didn't care about age then because you liked someone who was fucking older. So it was just, just stupidity. I mean, I, I just, I think he got robbed because it just doesn't add up, right? It doesn't add up. I'll, I see your whisper. I'll, I'll watch it like when I'm, when I'm done. But it just didn't add up. He wins by the same amount in Ohio and West Virginia and Kansas and every other state, he wins by the same margins and shit. And then Georgia? Shit. He brings back all that manufacturing. Michigan? Wisconsin? All that place? They go. And now look, all them all those factories are going, fuck that. I'm out. Bye. Like, peace out. And they're like, we're never coming back. Ha <laughs> ha. And they're like, so all those people that were, you know, all those unions, I hope that that changed. If you did change, Hope it was worth it. Hope it was worth it. You got out of a job, you know? Trump worked his ass off, get that job back, and then he got rid of it. I'll tell you what, Joe Biden's got to be given credit. He must be given credit, Joe. Has to be given credit. I can't believe someone fucked up something so fantastic in only four months. 
Fucked up the economy. Fucked up the oil. Fucked up the Middle East. That shit's fucked up. Fucked up NATO. Wears a mask on a press conference by himself. Fucked up everything. Borders totally, completely fucked over. Fucked up manufacturing. Fucked up everything. It's credit. Listen, that takes actual skill to be able to fuck all of that shit up in only less than four months. Like, good shit. And he passed nothing. What he passed? A stimulus bill. He didn't pass anything. They didn't pass that gun control. They didn't pass dick. All talk, no action politicians. That's all they are. All talk, no action. Sounds good, doesn't work. I truly believe we're going to win back the Senate and House in 22. Because I think people are going to have a fucking enough. They're like, fuck that. Yeah, no, I get what you're saying, but like the cars. I'm talking about the cars. I'm not talking about like oil and shit and like coal. I'm not talking about that. That shit sucks too for those guys. But I'm talking about like cars. Like all the, you know, like the air conditioning plants and all that shit. Like, oh, that's gone. Like, that's really gone. I'm talking about, like, all that shit that Trump busted his balls, you know, to get all that shit back. You know, with Obama, with the magic wand, and then he brought it all back, and now he fucking fucked it all up. In only four months, he fucked it up. It's fantastic. Incredible. It's got to be a record for how much he fucked everything up. Isn't it? Yeah, no, I don't I don't have him. No, none of my family actually has a gun. But it is. It, it's, it's years of paperwork and lines and shit to get it. It's incredible how much red tape and shit you have to go through to get them. It actually boggles the mind. Incredible. I mean, like, look. Look at you. You had good governance. You've had... I mean, Kasich turned out to be a real fucking asshole. But who you have now? DeWine? Is that your fucking governor in Ohio? DeWine? Or is, no, DeWine is, um, Indiana, I think. Oh, no. No. DeWine is you, isn't it? Isn't your governor DeWine? I think. Pretty sure. Yeah, well, because, you know, certain unalienable rights, you know, they, they think that they're, in, they think they're alienable. And, um, you know, shall not be infringed. I think they can. And, you know, in New York, you can. In California, you can. Um, in your state and many other states like Florida and et cetera, you can't infringe. And look, all those red states that you can't infringe on the Second Amendment, they all have fucking low-ass crime rates. Why? Because everybody's got a fucking gun. You walk into a house, you're going to be turned into Swiss cheese. Like, Shit. We turn into Swiss cheese. That's the deterrent. If they said, if if we in this country did what like Sweden does, and they said like, all right, free gun from the government, 18 years old, register it. You get it. You get one. You can get all those, but you get one for free from the government. We're gonna train you. They have like one crime a decade. Like you ain't gonna go into any fucking house. You're gonna not rob a house because everybody's got a fucking gun. You getting the fuck out of there. Shit. You gonna go shoot up a school if every teacher's packing heat? No. Fuck that. You gonna go into a school if you, if you got every teacher, cafeteria worker, everything gonna fucking turn you into Swiss absolute cheese? Fuck that. You ain't doing dick. You're sticking your finger up your ass and you're whistling Dixie. You ain't doing shit. That's the thing. That's how I feel about it. Like, it's a deterrent. Like, you know, everyone goes, like, it's scary, like, when you get to the World Series and shit like that or playoffs, and there's so many arm, armed, you know, guards and stuff. I don't know how it is in Ohio, but in New York, you know, there's so many, like, SWAT people and people in, you know, gear and shit. I feel as safe as I could be in that stadium. I feel as safe as I'll ever be because, you know, they're trained professionals. And... They look badass. Who's going to come in here and fuck with them? There's like 15 people standing with ARs at the fucking front door of City Field. Who the fuck's going to fuck with them? 
An absolute spastic is gonna fuck with him, that's who. A guy who's tired of living is gonna go fuck with him. And the horses, too. You're not gonna fuck around with the horses. They'll stomp the shit out of you. So it's like, you know, these people. We'd have, like, nah, see, nah, we don't. In New York, you have two cops at an entrance. Like, cops that patrol the concourses, cops that patrol the outside, the inside, every gate. The cops patrol everything and everywhere in New York. Because we have to. Because we have to. Because we have to. It's sad, but we absolutely, absolutely have to. We have zero choice in the matter. People are psycho. But like I said, when I get to a hockey game, when I get to a baseball game, when I get to whatever, I can't feel more safe if I tried. Like, I, I feel tremendously safe. And um, that's what it's about. That's what it's about. Well, one guy that I went to... He comes in the chat every now and then. Uh, one guy that I go out to dinner with, I was in the radio station with, trained him, shit like that. One guy, he he was a, he did the marching. You know, he was the fucking he was in the marching in the summer. So I always break his balls about that shit. He was fucking yeah. He was in Washington, D.C. He was fucking around over there. Um, half the Cincinnati is like no crime, and the other half is pretty bad. Well, where I live, it's fucking abysmal. It really is. And then if you, if you go the more out east, the more non-crime it becomes on Long Island. But the more you get to the city, the more fucking crime shoots up like a rocket. And it sucks. It's total ass. Total ass. Like, it's a legit boof. Like, it's crazy. I don't know. But like I said... Um, and I'm, and I'm not even, like, close to exaggerating. My entire family voted for Trump twice. I'm not even, like, that's not like a hee-hee-ha-ha -ha funny joke. No, I legitimately mean they all did. We've been behind him since day numero uno. And we still are. Let me tell you something, 2024, 2024 comes around, and someone's name's on that ballot, guess what? He's got my vote. Because he did right by me, he did right by this country. He should, he should still be there. It's fucked up. Totally fucked up. He should be there. You think that the Middle East would be this fucked up if, uh, if he wasn't there right now? Been, he would have called both of them, but you'd been like, you fucking dicks. Cut the shit. And it would have cut the shit, probably. From Boston. Oh, well, see, I don't know if you have that advertisement in Ohio, but, like, for Samuel Adams, like, there's an ad that plays all the time. And it's like, it's your cousin from Boston. And I fucking hate it. It's the worst commercial out. I fucking despise that commercial. Tomorrow, oh, he was awesome. Because he didn't give a shit. He wasn't beholden to anybody. He didn't give a fuck. The only thing he cared about was the United States of America. He didn't give a fuck about any of this cockamamie bullshit. You fuck with America, you fuck with it. Like, like, like you fuck fuck guy, he'll fuck you up. He didn't, he didn't give a shit. He didn't give a shit. His one duty was to defend the United States, and he did that. 
People are like, oh, he sold America out. No, he didn't. And I remember that whole fucking scam that turned out to be a lie? It turned out to be an actual bullface lie? And, and the media was like, <laughs> remember that fucking thing that all oh, the bounties? Fuck. Get the fuck out of here. Bounties on American soul. Yeah, 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 yeah. He, he supported it. He, he funded him, you dickhead. Fuck. Dumbass fucks. And people that believe it, like, oh, shit. Like, no, dickhead. No, we don't have that now. We have a fucking pansy in there now. Remember that shit? It was like June. Oh, no. Remember July? Because every month, every week, it was a fucking other bullshit. Remember in July when uh, that story came out? He called them suckers and losers, the veterans. No, he didn't, you fucking morons. You fucking idiots. And they had, like, 20 people. People weren't even working for the fucking White House coming out and going, no, you fucking idiot. Who be and they were like, who believes this shit? Remember that shit? That was shit was insane. Shit was nuts back then. I remember saying it to myself. I was like, who the fuck would believe this crap? Like, it's literal crap. Like, who, who would be dumb enough to believe that shit. And I was like, oh, well, there's a lot of people that are dumb enough to believe it. No, not all-star, fucking idiot. Not all-star. Like I said, I could talk about easier topics like sports and shit and Lego and stuff like that. But this stuff, I could talk about all day long. All day long. This, easy to me, makes no mission to me. Oh, yeah. They made up shit. They made up shit all day, every day. They just tried to figure out what sounded good, what what could stick. Yeah, it was all agenda pushing. It was all nonsense. And everybody, everyone that I talked to was like, oh, well, didn't you go to journalism school? Yes, I did. What does it mean I can't criticize fucking what was going on? I mean, these, these stories were written like fucking third grader. No sourcing. No one, they would have failed if you handed it in. In my, in my college classes, it would have failed. There's no sourcing. There's no anything. It was, like, horrifically written. First off, in the English, and it, too, was written like a fucking five-year-old would have written it. Like, absolutely brutal state of affairs. Trump should have won this thing. I was expecting... I was expecting, like, a Reagan and Bush 84 type of scenario. I was also banking off of American history, because I'm really good at history. I was banking off American history off the fact that, um, I was banking off American history the fact that, um, only since, you know, one time since 1920 had its party not been in office for more than four years. I was wrong about that. Oh, absolutely. I, I mean, I love, I loved, um, Gina Carano as um, as Cara Dune. I loved her character. I thought it was a great character. Pretty hot too, but Italian too. But like totally ridiculous and you know like Pedro Pascal, and I'm not saying I don't support it either, but Pedro Pascal could you know, write about transgender this, transgender that, fucking anti-Trump shit, whatever. But that and that was good, but her saying like, hey, this is some bullshit going on. That was no good. That had to go. It was craziness. It's crazy what world we live in. And the saddest part is these companies have such tremendous power that if they literally said to these cancel culture mobists, if they literally said, nah, they they have the fucking capacity of a fucking Venus flytrap, their fucking mental capacity. They'd be like, oh, okay. And then you move on to the next thing the bitch I'm on about. They're fucking retarded. Like, they cave to him all the time. They're like, oh, you, you didn't like the sentence that we read in this tweet? We're going to delete the tweet and write an apology. Like, if you just said, no, fucking grow the fuck up. They'd be like, they'd be lost. They'd be dumbfounded. They'd be like, oh my god, we've been stood up to? Holy shit. And they'd be done. They'd be done. Then they'd move on to the next fucking thing. Like, they're like a fucking cat against the wall with a lazy one. They'd be like, oh. New thing to go be angry at. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, people... They give way too much power to these fucking pansies. You know what I'm saying? Like, if they just said, like, fuck it. Like, I don't give a shit. Like, if Disney came out and said, Gina Carano can say whatever we want, you got a problem, you can go fuck off. I guarantee you they'd be like, oh my god, I'm sorry. Like, they would've fucked off. But they didn't. They fucking entertained it and fired her, and it's like... You're only giving that mob more power. Where if you stopped doing that, you wouldn't. They would be done. They would be finished. Now, that's the thing. They don't get that concept. They're like, oh, we gotta stay in the good graces. Where, if, But if you put a sock in it immediately, it would actually end it. Because they wouldn't get their way. You know what I'm saying? They wouldn't get their way. Like, that's what it's all about. Ho, ho, ho. Fucking served that one up, didn't you, Chucky, you stupid fucking idiot? <laughs> they caved, yeah, 100% a loud minority of fucking pecker asses on Twitter that have just the gayest shit out. And, you know, they caved to them. And it's like, if they were to say, like, piss off, no, they would be like, dumbfounded they'd be lost and they wouldn't fucking cave they wouldn't they wouldn't do it anymore like i'm waiting for i'm waiting for the companies to realize that i don't know if it will ever come but i'm waiting for them to realize like wait a minute if we don't do this they're fucking pecker ass Like, I'm waiting for them to, to realize that. Oh, shit. Nah, that's... Oh, no, it's off the wall. Oh, off the top of the wall, it'll be a triple. Absolutely, they gave into a loud minority. And I gotta say, we can continue talking about it tomorrow, too. I'm not even kidding. Because the t two people that are coming into my house tomorrow, my cousin Max, and my friend, my best friend PJ, that are gonna be streaming with me, they're gonna be playing. They're gonna be playing all the online and getting aggravated, because they're also way better than I am. They voted for Trump, too. And also, so did their whole family. I mean, Max, part of my family, just counts. But so did PJ's whole family, too. So, um, we're all on the same boat here. Like, I knew so many people who, who did, like, the, 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 the car shit. You know, like, the car rallies. Driving up and down the highways of Long Island. You know, there was so many people who had signs outside their front lawns and shit. And the best was the people that they would tear them down. They'd come out with two more. It would be like they multiplied. The shit was hysterical. They, and the news would cover it. They'd be like, oh. A Trump, a pro-Trump banner was torn down. But the guy replaced it with... Five more. And I'm like, uh -huh. And he'd go like, listen, he'd be like, I have a ton of money. You you keep tearing them down, I'm gonna keep buying them from Trump's website. Trump's gonna keep getting my money. So you're only gonna be hurting yourself, son. And then guess what? They didn't do it ever again. Then how about the people that would like electrocute it? I knew someone that did it on Long Island. They they hooked up like an actual jumper cable to the bottom of it. They had like tall grass there. It was near the edge too. He tied a actual thing to a huge car battery. And somebody tried to take it and they literally got their ass blasted. They jumped up in the air. They almost died. Fuck that. Coming on my property. There was one person I went to high school with who, who their whole front lawn was covered in like a gigantic Trump sign, um, like Hillary hanging from a tree and shit, like all of the people from Benghazi, like there was just covered in shit.
Trump actually retweeted the House during his election in 2016. They were on it. Dan Scavino posted it. He's like social media guy. Ooh, Trout going the other way. He's running back pretty hard. Oh! Ho, ho, ho. Green Giant. <laughs> Let's see, what do we want? <laughs> see, I just love it because I just press all the random buttons. Please, five, four. Fuck you, Chucky. I love just when I hit it, just pressing every, like, just trying to find buttons that I want to press. I love it. Let's see which one I want to get. Carrots. 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 Oh, off his foot. It'll be a base hit. Oh yeah, no, it's great. But there was a ton of people that, you know, that I knew who, who support, who supported, and support him. Still do and will vote for him in 2024 if he were to run. Then here they kept their heads. Shit. I'm gonna talk about a fucking loser. Want, want to talk about a Becker ass? But, you know, and I traveled all over, like, the East Coast. Um, all over the East Coast with my sister's softball team. We would, you know, go on the weekend and stuff. All throughout the summer. Oh, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giants. Um, there were people, but there were so many Trump signs, American flags, all this shit, everywhere you looked, in all these states, in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, Delaware, Maryland, Virginia, Connecticut, Rhode Island, upstate New York, everywhere you went, Trump, 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 everywhere you went, everywhere you looked, Trump in the window of the business, Trump in the window of the house, front lawn, everywhere, all across the East Coast, everywhere you looked, everywhere you looked, whatever i like to talk about happy things i i do talk about that i know a lot about that stuff but i do like to talk about the more happier things like sports and shit like that but i will say that you know he should have fucking won and he will win in 2024 because people just don't they're not digging this shit they're not down with this sickness i can tell you that much it's crazy one of my friends said that he'd never seen the campaign that's the one thing. If people are honest about themselves, I mean, I I never considered him losing until that night when it just wasn't coming all into focus. But like going into it, going to five rallies a day, hundred thousand people at an airport, and they were showing the crowds, and and you just felt the energy and him dancing the YMCA. Like I never in a billion years come election night thought he was gonna lose. I never thought it, I never thought it was coming because I genuinely thought, like, look at this turnout all across the country, and I was going, like I said, around the country and seeing signs and 
seeing everything. I never thought a day in my life he was going to lose. Because I also thought that we had history on the side, right? That the fact that, you know, you know, since like 1800 or something, like, not 18, like 19, like 1890 or something like that. I forgot what it is, and if I had a moment, I could actually think of what it, what the year is. But, you know, that the last time that there wasn't, you know, at least four years in the White House, at least eight years in the White House, it was Jimmy Carter, 77 to 81. Everything after that's been two, the last, you know, um, and I was kind of looking at it that, you know, yeah, an incumbent hadn't lost since Carter in 81. 40 years ago, and I kind of looked at it and said, well, we're on a path, it seems, that the last four presidents, three presidents have been two-termers, and no matter what was going on, they were two-termers. And Bush was running for a fourth term of Reaganism. So I don't really like to count him, you know? So Bush lost in, 90, in 92. Um, but I don't really like to count him because that was 12 years trying to go for 16. But even before Carter, it was eight years of Republicanism with Ray, Nixon and Ford. It, it was eight years of Democrat with Kennedy and Johnson. It was eight years with Eisenhower. It was uh, it was twenty. It was twenty years with FDR and Harry Truman. Um, it was uh, you know Democrat. Um, it was. Twelve years of Republicanism going into the twenties, and then it was two terms of Wilson. I was a Democrat, and then it was, uh, you know, it was Taft and Roosevelt and McKinley, all Republicans, and that was going into the nineteen hundreds. So then, you know, that's eighteen ninety six, right? So that was the last time it had happened one time since eighteen, um, since eighteen ninety six, where a, a party hadn't had. Four years in office, um, eight year at least, eight years in office, and it was like I was kind of looking at it like history's on the side. I think he's a good president. I think he was better than Carter. I think he was better than Bush, and he was better than the people that were one termers. So I was like, he's better. You know, I didn't account for the whole you know cheating aspect of the game. I didn't account for that. I didn't know I had to account for that, but it's whatever. You know what? Life went on. And that's the one thing. I didn't fucking protest. I didn't cry. I didn't go to... I didn't go to no J6 bullcrap. I watched it on the television. I don't go. Um, but, you know... I... There were people that I knew who went. Um, fucking pan pecker asses, too. If you want to know the truth. Made us, made us all look like fucking retards. But... Whatever. They're right, right? They're right to be gay. They did a damn good job of showing it. But it's whatever. And like I said, life went on. I didn't fucking pout and mo. I mean, I did pout because I thought, like, wow, that was fucking gay. We got <laughs> we got gypped. But I didn't cry. I didn't protest. I didn't fucking. I mean, I do say not my president because it's payback. But but I didn't fucking mope around and piss and moan. Life went on. Life went on. And, uh, life does go on. And it has. Life has gone on. Uh, and, you know what? If he runs, I hope he wins. Because that'd be cool. It'd be the second time in American history that it's happened. That a guy was president, ran, lost, ran again, won. That's why, you know, technically Biden is 46th president. He's not. He's the 45th president. Because, um... Grover Cleveland was our 22nd and 23rd. He won it as the 22nd, ran against Benjamin Harrison, lost to him. Benjamin Harrison became 23, came back, beat him to become 24. And I think he ran 
against McKinley and then got his ass beat, and that was the end of it. As you can see, Drew, I'm really good at American history. Like, really good. If you didn't get it from that little thing, that I know all the presidents in order and the years that they served. I know that shit. Like, the back of my hand. Like, I legitimately have no qualms about it. Like, see, I was just able to fucking do that shit. No problems. At all. But I agree, politics is mad depressing. This is mad depressing. It gets you in a fucking pissed mood. People get pissed off about chatting about it. So it's like, you know, eh, you know, it's like, whatever. You know, shit happens. Shit happens. What are you gonna do? So what do you need him? What do you need him? I'm just trying to see, because there was someone on who he did. He had to. Hold on. Um, but no, I can, so that's why, like, I'm able to, like, kind of go through it, be like, oh, this happened, that happened. Like, I'm, in a couple hours, I'm helping my sister take her fucking history final, like, for college. I mean, for, um, and I'm helping her in her college history class. I took the professor, too, so it's like, it's gonna be a fucking actual joke. Like, it's gonna be an actual, like, ha-has and chat joke. How easy that shit Yo! Hayden was good. Yeah, no, I see. I, I have you pulled up. I see that you're still you're still rocking it. I see that you're still still playing that fort. I got you. Ow. How many live views? 53. That's pretty ass. Compared to where we were, it's pretty ass. Like at a hundred. I see. Why? Hit a bit of a fucking wall here. At least we got past 430. Jesus. Right now we're at 433. We're 17 away from 450, which I wanted by the end of May. Well, I wanted 450 for a while. I don't know if it was the end of May. Definitely looking for the end of May. Safe. Oh, fuck that. Fuck that noise. Shit. Damn, with the fucking infield. The infield cockamamie bullshit. Shit. It's not gone, but it's a nice little two-out double. I checked the swing 
you cock ass. The check swinging is so bad. I don't even know why, like, you consider checking. Like, it's such a circus act to check. That's dumb. That is the third baseman. Put that shit right over the middle, dickhead. That's more like it. You get sharp pains in your body and you think this is the end. Like, that's what's going on right now. Right here, my fucking groin, right there. Holy shit. Like, it's like an actual, like somebody stabbing me with a fucking pin. Like, actual pain. God damn. Asshole. That's it. That's a hit. Oh, that's a tri No, that ain't no triple. This big poppy slow as fucking shit. Oh, run, 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 run. Get to third base. All right, Mike. Got the guy over. Got Poppy over to third base. One out. Good shit. Ernie Banks. It's an interesting card. Because it does have power. Oh, shit. He came home anyway on contact. Let's go. Ernie Banks with the fucking RBI ground out. Yo, but Drew, how fucking clutch up is the fucking gifted subs today? The five gifted plus himself from, um... From John? Your attention, please. Try not hitting with no PCI. Oh, like what I'm doing? Like directional? Directional is the wave, except you do miss pitches. Because, like, it does kind of fuck around. It's so dumb. Let me tell you something, they leave it over the heart of the plate. Oh my god. That thing's getting fucking walloped. That was bull. Again, that's the third time I've tried to check swing in this game. And I've been told to basically go fuck myself. The check swinging in this game is a fucking circus. It really is. It really is a circus. My God! Ho ho ho! Green giant! <laughs> Woo! How good! How good! Hepatitis! <laughs> see you later! Oh, can Buxton beat out? Little squibber, no. Thought it was almost like a swan. Your 
All right, Lee Smith's in the joint. Hall of Famer. The thing is, he has such a quick motion, such a herky jerky motion, and he throws a punch. The Lee Smith card is definitely the wave. still got in there. Fuck them in their pitch out and fuck them in their slide step too. Fucking. Ooh. A little inside out by Trout. He's two for two. He's going to get a ribeye steak. As he makes his push for tier five. I'm playing zone. Oh. Wow. So what, are you just trying to feel it out? Just try to feel where the pitch is going? And not kind of, not kind of go with what the screen is saying, but try to like feel it? Fuck you, dead. Yeah, I saw like I beat the Oakland guy you raided. And he was doing it. Oh, the Oakland. Oh, Donald. Called it force hitting. Interesting. Interesting indeed. I should take a picture and he said that this helps. Interesting. No way. No way. No way at all that I missed that curveball. With Big Poppy, I was early. Oh, my Christ. That thing should have been smashed in the next fucking weekend. All right, it's a sack fly for Piazza. Trout will come home. Chipper goes back to first, and it's five nothing. Yeah, I'm gonna steal with Chipper. Be like my home. I don't even know why. Um, fucking charade. 
by Bobby Darren is in my head, but it is. So whatever. It's a ball, idiot. And that's a fucking try. Cough. Fucking bitch boy, with your curveball. Lee Smith's got to be close to becoming tier one, no? Muxon's getting there. Trout. Do you hear my fucking voice crack? Trout's literally going to be, next game, he's going to be halfway. Halfway to tier 5. Halfway to being fully prestiged out by me. Let's go up here. why you do it. That's why you use that up, because why not? I don't feel like playing the Cubs. It's too bad. You can see I've taken over a lot of the, uh, a lot of the map has been taken over. No, but, um, I don't know if you heard me, Drew, but I, it's pretty lit. We had six, we gained six subs today, which is like, in reality, $30, but for me, it's, no, it's not. Yeah, it is. Six, six times five is 30. Reality is 30 bucks that, uh, John gave to the stream, but... In reality, I only see 15 because that's what they take. They take a little cut, cut, cut. But 15 bucks, gladly take it. Very much appreciate the take. So, Hey, and it gets us up to 21. We're like not even halfway there. But if we continue to get gracious things and things like that, we will be able to get more emote slots eventually. It's just about hoping that maybe some of the, like, that a lot of the gifted continues to happen, that you get people that want to gift, can gift, get them going, right? And then you gift, 
that the people that get gifted, that they want to stay, they want to continue, so they make it reoccurring, and that's the biggest thing. That's the biggest thing is, is you know, hoping that there's some staying power there. Like I said, I want by the end of the summer, which is like August, I'd like to have like 600 or so followers, and I'd like to have 50, 50 congruent, you know, at <clears throat> at the same time subscribers. It'd be nice to have 50, like 50 bucks, you know, like 50 bucks, you know. Can you imagine that? Have 50 congruent? That shit's nuts. Like, what would it be? That'd be $125 a month if we had 50 congruent at the same time. That's not bad. It's not bad. It's not. So, it's definitely something that I am working towards and trying to get after. We have five hours. It doesn't feel like five hours. I think it's because... I don't know. It's because I didn't play... It's because I played a little online before it and everything. I was thinking about that. I was definitely thinking about that. Where it's like, oh, you want, to, you want me to play rank? You know, toss me, you know, because I hate it, so it would be a high price. But, no, yeah. Um, I, I wouldn't be opposed to that. You know, hey, I was thinking about it with bits, where it's like, hey, uh, you want to hear a sound on the stream deck? Like, here's a list of them. Right? Do a list. And, hey, you want to hear, you know, donate... 200 bits or something like that and then once I get my donation link ready to go like hey you want to donate um, you know five bucks to hear um, a sound of your choice and that's what I was thinking about. but also like 10 bucks like you know we'll play we'll do a BR run you know 15 bucks I'll play ranked for a game you know, I'll play a rank, something like that. I think you got to do that once you get kind of higher up. You know, we can't be averaging one or two viewers, right? We got to be kind of getting there at like the 25, 30 views, right? You know, you got to get going. You know, you got to get it popping. Problem is, and it's not you, um, because you're near my age. I think you're what 22, 23. I can't remember. But you're near my age. It's like people like Nick. He's 15, right? Like my cousin Mac. He's my cousin. He ain't gonna pay me. My friend PJ. He watches. He ain't gonna pay. Like same thing with like my friends. So, like they're all out. So now you gotta bank on the actual like other people, like a John to come in, but John to give on the regular. 22, that's what, yeah, I thought you were in that range. Definitely, but in the future, yeah. Oh, yeah, in the future, I'm definitely going to have, like, a, a menu, it, either on screen or off screen, and, like, the, because I think Hayden was talking to me about putting, about him doing my panels and shit, but if he does the panels, that would be one of the panels, like, hey, you want this, you, you pay. You pay, you get. You don't pay, you don't get. Or like fifty bucks, you draft. Um, you tell me who to use on ranked, and I have to play a ranked game, or something like that.
Base is loaded and nobody out. And Ernie Banks hits one high. Ho, ho, ho. Green giant. It was a perfect, perfect. It is gone. Let's go. Fucking serve that one up, didn't you, Chucky, you stupid fucking idiot? Oh, infield hit. Thanks, huh? I'm telling you, I'm having way too much fun with the stream deck. I have way too much fun with it. That's a big ooh. Come on, they're not gonna watch Jackie's Robinson steal. Fuck with the curve bowl. Alright, but we got him stolen. We stole that base. We're in there. We we stole that base. We in that joint. Come on, Buxton. I don't know if you've noticed, but if it's a home run, but not a no doubter. Yeah, yeah, the people run. If they run, and there's less than two outs, that shit's gone. Which is nice. It's nice that the AI does that. I did have it one time where they didn't run. Um, well, no, not where they didn't run. Where they did run, and um, I was fucked over. Royally. Oh, big... <laughs> by twice. I didn't want to hit it at all. But you can say that error was uh, worthy of it. That's a check. Like, let me check that swing. Please. Low. Oh, shit. Ho, ho, ho. Green giants. Oh, let's go. Oh, bro, Tyler, long time no see. It's been a while. Awesome to have you back in here. I've been trying to get back into baseball recently, and I feel like this is helping a lot. That's great. It's been a while. Long time no see. How you been? But, um, no, I, I mean, listen, I, I think that it helps me, and I love baseball. Because I get to learn some absolute reject. Some reject names. Like, no, like honestly, the only reason that last year, like, I knew people like Joe Adele and Adley Rushman and Wander Franco and all that shit, all of those future stars, was t David Peterson before he became a Met. He was a card. He was the Mets gold guy in their team affinity. I didn't know who the fuck he was. But now I do. But I learned it because of playing the game. And I'm sure that there are people like that now, you know, uh, that later on. Um, that's my main problem right now, learning the smaller guy. Well, yeah, it does happen. It takes time. But it is fun, right? It is fun to get involved and, and try to learn it. Because like I said, there's some people that I didn't know because I don't really pay attention to, to the fucking, what do you call it? I don't really pay attention to the... Minor leagues, right? Like the prospects and shit. Don't pay attention. Don't pay attention to that. So it's like, when I see that, that's when it's like, oh, um, you know, I'm, I'm able to kind of hone in. Like, the Met guy is Brett Beatty. I knew Brett Beatty. I watched that draft. So, and it's for my team, so that's a bit different. But like, Jonathan India for the Reds. I don't know who the fuck that was. You know, it's an NL Central opponent. The Mets don't really play the NL Central that much. They only play them one time home, one time road. So, you know, you don't really get to know that. But you know what I'm saying? Where you learn. India is your favorite? Like, in real life? Batting for the Reds or in the game? Because it's cool either way, but it's like... You know what I'm saying? Like, it's cool either way. Not shortstop. Wrong. I gotta turn my air conditioner off because it's getting annoying that it turns my lights off for a second. 
Oh, so with that statement of I saw his first homer live last month, that would make me say that it's real life. Right? But how have you been? It's been a while. Last time I remember you coming in to chat and chatting was the first day that we met. Um, I think it was a general raid, and, and you hung out with Jay, and that's when I met Jay for the first time. And uh, I was playing was playing COD. So how have you been? It's been a while. Damn. Well, yeah, that's right. Drew lives in Cincinnati, Ohio. He's a big Reds guy. Big Reds fan. Um, big Reds guy. I didn't think you lived... I thought you... No, Jay lives in California. I, I forgot that you lived in Ohio. Been good. What about you? I'm being good. I can't complain. The stream's been popping off. I mean, I've had... I got a lot more followers since uh, you've been around. Uh, with the 433... But, dude, don't worry. Give you two days, I'll be back to 430, because this has been what it's been. 432, down to 429, up to 430, down to 427. Craziness. Absolutely insane. That I can't get over 430. 433 is a record, but I literally cannot. Oh, you're from North Carolina. Okay. Bro, I literally can't get over the 430 hump. 500 is coming. Not if we keep going back to 430. It's insane. Like, ask Drew. Drew's seen it. It's insane. It'll be crazy. I'll be like, oh, we lost two. Random. And it'll be people like, like, followed, like, like, three months ago. It'll be like, shit. We're, we're, we lost. We're back down. It's funny. It's funny. What are you going to do? You, you got to laugh. You got to laugh. But no, it's coming. It's coming. Oh, what a fucking pansy. <laughs> Oh, you live 10 minutes from, uh, Great America. Dude, I want to go to Great America. Is it really nice? I want to go to all of them with my cousin, Mac. I do. And we went to, we went to Citizens Bank. Uh, in 2019, we went to Citizens Bank. We went to, uh, 2018, we went to Citizens Bank, Nationals Park, and Fenway. Of course, we always go to Yankee Stadium and City Field, and we were both at Shea and both at Old Yankee. So, um... We had a plan in 2019 to go to Cincinnati, Pittsburgh, and Cleveland. And we were going to see, like, two Angels games, too. It just never materialized. We also had a plan to go to Baltimore um, to, and knock out that. Um, we were going to knock out four stadiums in 2019. But we wound up not doing it in 2020, we all know. In 2020. So we're not going to do it for a while. Get back on the hump. But when we get back on the hump, we've got to get on the hump quickly. That's what I'm hoping. Like, if I blow up as a streamer, I want to be able to finance going around. And shit. We had it all planned out. I think, like, the Mets were playing... the No, the Mets were playing the Pirates. Then they were going to play the Reds. And we were going to kind of, like, follow them. And then the Angels were going to play the Cleveland Indians after they played the Cincinnati Reds. And we were going to see that. But we wound up never materializing and we, and we were gonna go to the Yankees first shit in April of 2019 that was like when they first started to absolutely destroy the Baltimore Orioles um it's beautiful it does look beautiful and and like I said I want to go to all of them so it don't matter if it's beautiful or not I do want to go but it does look like a very nice hello place. MTV welcome to my right. crab and then Hayden with the <laughs> Hayden with the fucking Raid of nine. Uh, I, dude, I want to go to PNC so bad. And, oh, first Yankee game in Florida? Where, Tampa? Or, uh, Tampa? Or, um, is big and it Alyssa? Oh, with the follow, thank you very much for that. Give me a hell yeah! Um, but Hayden, how are you? Good morning, my neighbors! Thank you very much for the Raid of nine after, um, after, uh, what do you call it? A long day of Fortnite after your 24-hour stream. Um, how you been? Yeah, I don't care. Hey, you can do that. I don't give a shit. I don't give a fuck. But, uh, welcome in everybody from Hayden Stream. Um, thanks, Carl. Huh? Oh, I was like, I don't give a shit. Um, 
Oh, yeah. I had to. I was just sitting on it. Oh, yeah, you can? I thought you can. Can I? Can I, like, type in the feed, like... I think I can. I think I can go, like, slash VIP or some shit. I don't know. I'm learning. We all learn. But uh, I appreciate the raid. And uh, welcome in, everybody, from Hayden. We're just ripping some nation of baseball. Just trying to play. Because uh, I got my ass beaten in online, and I don't want to go back. So this is what we're going to do. Uh, we've been doing this. Just trying to play. And uh, have a good time. But Alyssa, thank you very much for the follow. VIP takeaways ads? Takes away ads is proper English. Does it really? Oh, there's a ton of ads. Is it really? I didn't know that. You learn something new every fucking day. I didn't know that. It, that deserves a... Change. Um, no, but we're chilling, Hayden. How is your stream of port? You told me you play online for a sub. I would. If, you, if people drop subs, I will. Wait a minute. Bro, hold on. We are 22. Um... Tyler, did you resub? It did. No. Wait, did you? You did? It never went off. Are you kidding me? Bro, what? That's tough. Well, anyway. Thank you very much. Bro, I would have said something had you. Why didn't it say... Why didn't you say, like, dick? Why didn't you fucking recognize me? You should have said that. You should have wrote, Dick, why didn't you recognize me? I would have said, what are you talking about? Because I saw it. I didn't see the 22. But what I saw was you didn't have the first, and then you got it back. And I was like, mm, maybe you can if with the first. I don't know. Shit. Why don't you say something, bro? You're sitting there all quiet. Why don't you say something? Why don't you fucking... No, but you. I would have said thank you. You're like, you know... Instead, I'm sitting here playing with my cock, like, huh? I could have said thank you. Damn. I feel like an idiot. You know what that is? It's a fucking L. That's what that is. Uh, Dude, I love this shit. I'm not even kidding. If you're a streamer, fucking take the hit of $250 and get the Stream Deck XL. Not the fucking tiny one that Hayden has. You know, the little... little Fucking shrimp dick one. <laughs> uh, or the other medium one. Get the fucking big one. This thing is insane. It's insane. This thing is insane. I love this shit so much. Oink, oink. Dude, I love this shit. Oh, yes, daddy. Thanks, huh? Bro, Tyler, you'll never... Ho, ho, ho. Green giant. It's just the best. I love this shit. Isle's goal... Because we won today. Up one nothing on the fucking Pangs. Fuck the Pens. Fuck Brian Rust. Fuck Sidney Crosby. Fuck the coach. And fuck Ron Hextall too. Yeah, GM Ron Hextall. Fuck him. I'm telling you, you'll never be able to go back to not use... Like, once you have one, you can't go back. It's insane. You you love it. You'll absolutely love it. You'll, you'll laugh your ass off. You'll have so much fun. It's insane. I love it. I love this shit. I love using it. But no, yeah, that's what we'll do. Someone fucking gifts a sub or subs themselves. I'll play online. That's a deal. I will put up with the stress. I'm not saying I'm going to win, but I'll put up with the stress. I have a good team. I will play for pay. I'll be I'll pay for play. I will pay for play.
That's how much I fucking hate it. You have to pay me to play it. I fucking hate online so much. That's why. Because I don't think anyone will do it. Which is why it's safe, right? You have to gift money for me to play online. Nobody's gonna fucking do that shit. So I'm safe. I'm good. I don't need it. Ha <laughs> ha. I just, you want to know why I despise it? Because it's so RNG based and it's like, holy shit, you could play good, perform good, be worthy of a win and not get the win. And that's why I hate it. That's why I fucking hate it. It's disgusting. Online mode. It's tr shit's trash. I don't know. You could say I'm just butthurt because I lose all the time. But I don't lose. I'm 11-2. Like, I don't lose that much. I made a guy rage quit in the first inning two games of that run, including one today. So it's not like I suck that much, yes. It's not like I suck that much. But um, in all seriousness, Tyler, thank you again for coming back in to the stream after a little bit of time. Coming back in and uh, resubbing. Ton of fun. Big appreciate. Uh, means a lot. We're up to 22 now. We're up to 22. Um, that's fair. Sports games are stress. It's not stressful, like where it's like, ah, fuck that. It's just annoying. It's just an annoyance. Because you can make a pitch, it not go where you want it to go. Oh my oh, ho, ho. Christ. Give me a hell yeah. Fucking serve that one up, didn't you, Chucky, you stupid fucking idiot? I'm telling you, I have so much fun with this shit. Oh shit. No way. Oh yeah. Cuh. Like there's no way. That thing's got to be obliterated to center field, right? Like no way. But everybody else is good, you know. Everyone else is good in chat. Hayden's stream was good. So Hayden, how how did the 24-hour stream go? How did it go? You said good, but like, what does that mean? Did you make some coin off of it? Would you do it again? Would you do more sleep streams? Like, is that another thing that you would want to consider to do again? We got to see him sleep. Because, bro, I never got to get in there. Um, because when did you start? You started Friday, right? So Friday was what day? Friday was the 14th of May. I was doing something. Bro, why are you going back? Like, there's no shot on this planet that's been caught. Um... Um, I don't know, what, what did we do Friday? What did I do Friday? Oh, I watched my sister play softball. I watched my sister play softball and stuff, and then my sister had that fucking bullshit bed crap for going to college. Where they decorate the bed and shit. So she had that Friday, and then Saturday was just a busy day. Like, busy night. Cause I didn't, I barely streamed on the Friday, and then Saturday, by the time that I woke up, you were done. So that was, so I never got to watch Hayden snooze. I never got to watch Hayden play a game. I wasn't in there for a second, which sucks. Cause I, I did want to, but I just wound up never doing it, cause I was so busy.
gentlemen, if you got any questions, go ahead, rip them, ask, ask questions. I love to talk. Like, I, I live to talk. Like, shit's nuts. Tyler's been around. He saw me that one stream that he was in a couple months ago, where, um, he would ask, like, one question, I'd go off for, like, 25 fucking 30 minutes. She was nuts. Crazy. I chat all the time. I don't quit. I just chat, 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 chat. Oh, that's right. I have a, pack. dude. I have a six. I have a six box ready to go. That I have to open. I never opened it. I never opened it. That's right. So I have the silver, the silver topper, which is a joke. It's never not a silver. And then you see a simple, I mean, um, you see a legitimate path to the hole for Joey Vano. Um, Yes, I do. Because he has been a very good defensive first baseman. Not as good as like a Keith Hernandez, but he's got way more talent, like hitting talent. Keith Hernandez was a big clutch up guy, but, um, and should be in the Hall of Fame. But he has an MVP, so does Keith. He has gold gloves, so does Keith, but not as many, and not in a row. Um, uh, he's just a great hitter. Um, I I think I think he'll get votes. I don't think he'll be like a one and done, like three votes on the ballot, like piss off, see you around. Maybe in like twenty one eighty eight, you'll be in the whole like no. Um. I, I see him staying on the ballot all 10 years, maybe getting in on ballot number 10 or, or sooner. I do believe that he should be a Hall of Famer. I think that he's done the stuff to be a Hall of Famer. I mean, that weird streak that he had of like 5,700 at-bats without popping up the first base was weird. Like, that's just interesting to me. Like, he won MVPs, won Silver Sluggers. Like, he's done a lot of things. He's bad at 300, like, yeah, he's had some rough years, but you got to look at the overall product, his overall statistics, his overall kind of persona of who Joey Votto is. I think Joey Votto, if he's not in the Hall of Fame, then he's going to be in the Hall of really, 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 really good. You know what I'm saying? But he needs, he's not that old. He's not that young, but he's not that old. He needs, like like um, Drew just said there, two to three more really good seasons, make another run at an MVP, bat in the high two, you know, 290s, 300s. You know, he needs to get that going. He needs to get back on the good ways. 100 RBIs, things of that nature. A couple homers a year, shit like that. He gets that shit going. Gets more offensive with his numbers. Again, and continues to have good defense. He will go to the Hall of Fame. I mean, he's going to go to the Reds Hall of Fame. They're probably going to retire his number. All right? So, these are, these are known quantities. Now, will he be in Cooperstown? I don't know. Like I said, I think so. Maybe. Like, personally, I feel like he has a bit more of a Hall of Fame case than Scott Rowland. And Scott Rowland is trending towards becoming a Hall of Famer. And when I was watching Scott Rowland with the Cardinals and the Phillies, I never thought that he was a Hall of Famer. But he's trending, and he's so early on in his time, he's probably going to become a Hall of Famer. And it's like, okay. Yes, he does have the red, the biggest Reds contract. Yes. You know, I, I, you know, I think that there's a lot more people deserving of being a Hall of Famer than Scott Rowland, um, that are on that ballot and have also been not put in the Hall of Fame. Um, like Gil Hodges. Oh my God. Ho ho ho. Green Giant. <laughs> Oh, yeah. 
Give me a hell yeah. Fucking served that one up, didn't you, Chucky, you stupid fucking idiot? <laughs> uh, what's your thoughts about the Isles and Penguins? Uh, I thought we were going to get swept, and now I have so much tremendous confidence that we're going to beat them. Because Islander playoff is way different than Islander regular season. That's number one, and people kind of forget that shit. Like, we're a legendary hockey club. Like, pe people don't give us respect because in the mid-90s we were fucking abysmal. But the Islanders on this side of the Canadian, like, not even this side, because they were still great when the Canadian were still alive. But the Islanders are arguably the most historic franchise in the last 50 years of the NHL. It's them and the Edmonton. Like, it's them and Edmonton. Like, it's which, whichever one you want. And you can jockey about which one's which. Like, you could say Wayne Gretzky's the greatest ever. I could say Mike Bossy's the greatest ever. Because Mike Bossy's the only one that scored 50 goals in nine straight seasons. And he only retired because of his back. You know, we could talk about back and forth about which one. And the Islanders have always statistically done better in the postseason than they did in the regular season, no matter what it was. Even when we didn't win a playoff series for 23 years, when we went to the playoffs, our goals per game and our production and shit like that was better. Now, under Barry Trotz, that's been exactly the case. Where the Islanders were the best team in hockey in 1820, then had a horrific slump, came out, swept the Isle, um, swept the Penguins, then got swept. And I was at game two. Oh my Christ. Hold on. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giants. Give me a hell yeah. Uh, let's go Gone Forever. Gone Forever, Aaron Hernandez. Um, nah. Gretzky's not. See, to me, personally, I don't think Gretzky's the greatest. I think Mike Bossy is. Mike Bot, see, Gretzky's called the great one because he has all the records, but Mike Bossy's called the greatest pure goal scorer to ever live. Like, and he was doing shit Gretzky couldn't do and never did do. And if he didn't retire at the age of 30 because of his back, he would have fucked. He has 550 something goals in nine and a half years. Shit was insane. He would have had fucking a thousand. That was insane. No. Um, I was in your stream. I was I was giving you a view. I am giving you a view. You're still on. You're floating down to uh, Rebirth Island. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm I'm giving you a nice little view. I got you pulled up. I got you there. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Stay positive. I'm still, I, I'm still, I I'm, I didn't forget about it. Because I was kind of like explaining about like the Trots system, and. You know, Trotz gets the most out of people. Like, Everly had a really bad regular season, 1820. Then turned it on, fucking annihilated the Penguins. Didn't show up for this next year, you know, for the next, but it's whatever. Beauvillier and Brock last year went off, off. And Pajot had some real clutch-up goals against um, Tampa. And, uh, you know, and I think about that Tampa series all the fucking time. Like, I think all the time about Brock Nelson's breakaway in double overtime. If he puts that shit home, the New York Islanders win Game 7. They head to the Stanley Cup. And because the Tampa Bay B Lightning fucked up the Dallas Stars, I 100% believe the New York Islanders would have won the Stanley Cup last year. Not even a doubt in my mind, because we were better than the Lightning. I firmly believe that shit. No, yeah. No, I know I know what you're saying, but if you look at the numbers, it's actually not even close. Like, Mike Bossy was legit. Yeah, you know, Gretzky scored 15-50 and like 38 and shit. Like, he was absurd. But, whatever. Um, but I do like you saying Paul Mary. I mean, he gets two goals today. Became the first Long Islander born player to play for the Islanders in a playoff game. Score a goal and score a game winner in overtime. I like Paul Mary. Listen, I love the trade. I'm not going to sit here and be a hypocrite. I don't even know if I was on stream that day or a couple days after. Oh, my God. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giants. No, no, no. He fouled it off. Fuck. Turn that shit off. Um... I'm not going to sit here and be a hypocrite. When that trade was made for a bunch of minor leaguers and a couple of picks to get two absolute veterans and a current captain um, of the Devils in Zaja. That's gone. There it is. How good. Give me a hell yeah. Um, see, now I have a little Hepatitis, see you later. Right. 
I'm not going to sit here. I thought it was a tremendous trade. I thought it was a great trade. I thought it could rival one of the best, some of the better trades in the history of the New York Islanders. But then we sucked asshole. He had one regulation win in April after the trade. Shit was ass. But then he comes out today. How am I? Um, I I use directional hitting, where all you have to do is just get timing. And I'm playing, you know, I'm playing offline, so it's kind of a joke. But then he does today. And I like it. Listen, if I'm going to get this type of production from Palmieri for the rest of the day, for the rest of this playoffs, oh, yeah, Palmieri. Barzell almost had a breakaway goal. Oh, shit. Green Giant? Green Giants. No way. Nah. Green Giants for when I hit perfect. Um, Barzell, you're not going to keep him off the score sheet. He's too dynamic. He's too... He's too good. Crew is big and it keeps getting Stay positive. Thank you so much for the follow as we're chatting about the Isles. I assume you're an Islander fan, right? Like, you're talking about Palmieri and shit. And you're talking about, you know, trots and all that shit. I would, I would hope, I would hope you're an Island fan. If not, <laughs> Coach Penguin. But, no, seriously. Um, I, I do think Barzell, um, Everly has always done t t statistically well against the Penguins anyway. Um, if we get, listen, JG Pajo, he's a great playoff performer, right? Uh, guy's a legend in the playoffs. Scored four goals in a playoff game against the Rags, right? So, it's like, those kinds of people is what you need. If Bovilli, if we can have, uh, Brock Tober occurring, along with, like, a good Paul Mary. Shit! A good Paul Mary. Oh, you're a blue, dude, I have no problem with the blues. Uh, my friend, Grant, is from St. Louis, and when I had my radio show, we were talking with him throughout the entire Stanley Cup run in 2019. Every week, we would call him up, and he would talk about the games before and the games ahead, and I would be texting him throughout the games. I love the Blues in that run. I swear to Christ, I had it in the cart. I had a custom-made, um, what was the fucking, bit? not Bennington, he was the goalie. But the, the fucking um, 82, the fucking singer, Gloria. I had that shit. I had that shit. I had that shit ready. Brannigan. Laura Brannigan. I had I had the Brannigan 82 Blues jersey. I was going to buy it, but I didn't. I didn't wind up buying it. Um, I loved that run that you guys did. I loved that thing. You guys rallied around a song. You guys were playing it like every day on the radio like that shit is awesome that's why sports is so important and it's so awesome but um you know i love paul mary too and i didn't like hating on the guy but you know when you came to the islanders you score your first goal as an islander against the rangers it kind of makes a big deal right it's kind of a big deal so when you don't then score ever again and you know we think about the picks that we gave up and you start thinking about the minor league prospects and stuff that and Sajak's not really playing you're like fuck was that really a good trade maybe that's one of the worst and and it's like damn you know oh you are a cards fan not bad but it's just like it i didn't like how i was starting to think about the trade but then you know today really made me say all right all right, all right. kind of hushed my mouth you know but uh you know, the thing about Gloria, just for a second, that shit, and I'm saying this, and I don't know if you know it or not, can never happen in New York. Because we have rivalries, cross-town rivalries, and we don't root for each other's teams. Like, the Mets and Yankees, a lot of Mets fans will root for the Yankees in the playoffs. Especially if the Mets are out of it. Same, and vice versa. Jets and Giants, it's a fucking joke. That's barely a relationship. Um... Like, they share a thing together. There's no real rivalry there. Like, the fans don't give a shit. And, listen, you weren't a real Jet fan if you weren't rooting for the Giants against the Patriots both times in the Super Bowl. Um, you know, so it's just... New York just can't. But, like, there's... You know, but the Rangers and Islanders hate each other. Like, it's the only New York... Head back off the... They're the only New York team who I fucking do not root for. I fucking hate them. And they hate us, like, and and it's just like, and you can see when I, when I said the range, I didn't say the Rangers earlier. I said the Rags, because I fucking hate them, and it's a real thing. So like, 
we could never do that on like CBS radio or or one of our other radio stations here. Play that shit. Like, oh, let's roll root for the Islanders. They're in the Stanley Cup Finals or shit. That would never, ever, 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 ever happen. Ever. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. Ever. Oh, the Knicks. Oh, I'm a Knicks fan, so yes, they are going crazy. And it's really, really fun to watch because for the last eight years, they've been fucking horrific. And um, 17 win seasons in that, you know, twice in that shit. A couple of 20 win seasons. Uh, they won 41 games in 72, so they were on pace for about 45 to 47. Um, I mean, if they had won them all out, then yeah, they would have ended up 51. But um, a truly historic year for the New York Knicks was waiting so, so, so long for the Knicks to break out and and to be be something, and now they are, and... And we have home court advantage, and we and we beat the the um, uh, we swept the Hawks 3-0 in the in the regular season, and um, I'm excited. I'm excited for the playoff matchup, seven game series. You know, you never know what's gonna happen. Higher seeds usually do win in play in in um in basketball, but listen, and if that's the case, then we're gonna win. Um, I am so, so, so proud of the New York Knicks. Um, Randall went off. Randall said, ha, huh, my team, and I'm going off. And he did. He did. And um, and Randall just said, I'm going to control. And you know what? He ain't no pecker ass. Like, he was playing 41, 42 minutes a game, playing all the overtimes, um, not dealing with injuries. Like, craziness, craziness, craziness. He wasn't a pecker as, like, a fucking crosstown super team who have played together, like, twice since February 8th. We fucking break. Am I happy with Zach Wilson? 100%. I'm a Jet fan, so, shit. I am over the fucking moon for Zach Wilson. I will do anything for him. Like, I'm not even kidding. I love him. It's fantastic. I love the trade-up for Vera Tucker. I love everything. I love everything about it. Fantastic moves by Joe Douglas. Uh, trading Sam Don uh, Donald. He was fucking abysmal. He was horrific. I hate him. Uh, let him go down with Tyler and his fucking... Oh, no, he likes the Pats, but I was going to say, let him go down there to Carolina and piss off with the Panthers. Like, fuck that. And then we get to play him week one in Carolina. Hell yeah. Get to beat his pecker ass. I can't wait to fuck his day up. Fuck the Panthers. But, oh, I love the pick. I love him. I love Elijah Moore, our wide receiver. We had a great free agency with Corey Davis. And, um, you know, we had a good free agency last year. And... You know what? The Jets, I'm not saying the Jets are going to win the fucking Super Bowl. The New York Jets are going to win more than two games. They might win six, seven, eight games, be in a playoff push. You know, I live in Charlotte, Carolina, and uh, you feel no attachment to that shit organization. It's kind of a piss poor organization, right? They made two Super Bowls. There's really nobody of anybody of note on either of those Super Bowl teams. Like, there's actually... I've been doing research about, like, playoff teams and stuff. Like, teams that go to the championships. Either win or lose the championship. Of all the four major sports. And it is insane. Like, how many teams have at least one Hall of Fame run? Whether it's a coach. Whether it's a player. Like, it's insane to me. But, both Carolina teams do not have an identifiable Hall of Fame run. Is that not going to go? Wow. Like, you could say 2015, oh, Cam Newton. Cam Newton ain't no Hall of Famer. And Steve Smith Sr. ain't no Hall of Famer either. So it's like... Try again. You know, I just realized with um, John's fucking uh, donation that we're almost halfway to the monthly sub goal, halfway through the month. Shit's nuts. That shit's nuts, too. 
but stay positive. Um, was I in relief when Le'Veon left? No. I love Le'Veon Bell. No. I fucking hated it. Um, because I hated our coach. Our coach was a fucking retard. And I'm happy that he got fired. Like, you know, people are like, oh, I don't like to see people lose their No, fuck that guy. That guy was a fucking clown. Jesus Christ. Adam Gase is the worst. Oh, shit. Ho, ho, ho. Adam Gase is the worst, bro. Give me a hell yeah. Gone forever, Aaron Hernandez. But, um, no. I fucking hated it. Hated it. Because... I and I I wanted Le'Veon Bell to win a Super Bowl with um with Tampa Bay with um uh Kansas City so bad. I wanted him so bad to win one. Because I, I wanted to be like, fuck you, Adam Gase, you dumbass fuck. And I would have been in full fucking support of it. I was in full support of it. I feel like I shouldn't say Cam Newton is washed. Nah, he's washed. He's old. You know what? He was never the same after he flipped his car and, like, broke his back. Remember that shit? Everyone forgets that. Um, he was never the same. He was never the same player. Even in Carolina and now down with, now up with, um, New England, he was never the same. Never the same. Never the same. Stay positive. What's your name? I, I hate calling people by their fucking name. Like, um, like, username. I love calling people by their names. It just feels more proper. There's another pecker ass from the New York Mets 2020 edition. Jake Asshole Mariznik. One of Brody's fucking kids. Weenie Bopper. Call me by, no, but like, what's your name? No, no, like, I like your name. I like, I like to call people by their name. Like, I call, like, Gretzky, I call him Drew, because that's his name. Like, I like, I like Tyler, because, you know, I can read. It ain't hard. But, like, Hayden, I know Hayden's name. I know, you know, I know General's name is Ryan, you know, shit like that. I like calling people by the name. Because it's just easier on conversation. But anyway, like I was saying, imagine with Dave, too. He'd be, in, he'd be like Gretzky. Imagine that team. They would never lose a game. But like I was saying before with um, with the Islanders, I never really got to finish the statement about, because you said, like, how do you feel about it? Um... How I feel is, like I said, going into it, I thought we were going to get swept because we were on a really bad, like, losing skid. Eked into the fourth spot. Like, we could have been third, but we weren't. Like, we were first for a while. Like, shit was ass, right? Jamal. I'll call you Jamal. I don't care. Um, shit was ass. But now that we've won game one, right, I firmly believe... Oh, wow, it's lagging pretty bad. I got to fix that shit. Hold on. Add to this game, I'll fix oh, it. Oh, oh. Give me a hell yeah! I love that I rounded it off with the Islander going on. Hepatitis, see you later! Um, is that now that we've won a game in Pittsburgh, Tuesday is gravy. If we win Tuesday, shit. Pittsburgh shouldn't even show up to the Coliseum. Games three and four at the Nassau Veterans Memorial Coliseum. Last run for the barn. Fucking don't even, don't even show up. Don't even come for it. Don't even, don't even embarrass yourself. And even if they win one of those games, even if they win one, it would still be three games to one. What the fuck? It would still be three games to one. 
Um, it would still be three games to one going back to Pittsburgh for game five. Okay. And even if we lost that, it's three games to two. They're on the brink still going back to the college team for game six. And we aren't losing no game six. Like, that's a goddamn fact. So, um... So no, no way am I afraid if we can. Now that we've won the game, it's like important because now it means that there will be at least a game five. And if we can, and because we're, we're not gonna, and it forces basically game six to happen because we're not gonna lose at the Coliseum. So now if we can win game two and take that two nothing lead, um, we're gonna go and have at least three. You know, it opens up the door to all three games at the Coliseum at the minimum being played. And they're not beating us more than once at the Coliseum. And then we're not even talking about Game 5 back in Pittsburgh, of which we've already won two games if we went on Tuesday in Pittsburgh. So that's what I'm saying. They've had enough bullshit. They really have. They've had enough bullshit of being called the underdog and called a fucking lazy team and a boring team and this and that. If they molly -whopped the Pittsburgh Penguins for the second time in three years, and then, you know, we have to face either the Bruins or Capitals. Capitals kind of had our number, but Pittsburgh had our number more. If you look at the thing, I think it was like 5-3 caps. And one of those games, two of those games we really should have won. And 6-2 pens. So it's like, shit. Um, if we win this, I want to face, to be honest with you, I want to face the Bruins. Because I don't want to face Ovechkin in the playoffs. It's true. I don't, I don't want to face Oshie. I don't want to face Chara. I don't want to face any of that shit. I would much rather take my chances against the Bruins, of who the Islanders beat five times, one time seven to two, than play than play Washington DC. Right. And if we beat them and we go to the Eastern Conference Final for the second time, I think the boys are hungry. It depends upon when we're seated. I think we would be seated four. It depends upon like who else is there. Um but, you know, it, you can't see ahead because you don't know. Because it's reseeded, so we can play any of the uh, any of the 12 teams. You know, so it's, it's impossible to kind of gauge where we'd go. But you'd have to think that, you know, the odds would be high maybe to go to the Stanley Cup for the first time since 80, first time since 84. Um, I'm all right, dude. I have work in the morning, but I'll see you tomorrow. Or next stream. Yeah, no. I I'm streaming tomorrow, 100%. Because my cousin and my best friend are coming over. We're going to be ripping some online. And they have baseball knowledge. They have no hockey knowledge. My, my cousin, Mac, is really trying to be an Islander fan. He he got on board in the middle of last season. um, Like, right before the pandemic. Studied up in the pandemic. And then was watching every Islander playoff game with me. So, he's got it. Well, I just told you, we have the Bruins number. Now, Taylor Hall has been pretty big, but playoff, playoff Islanders are very different. And the Islanders played the Bruins twice in that period. Same thing with the Capitals, in where they'd already clinched and they didn't really give a fuck. So, and they definitely had that attitude of, we don't give a shit. So, and they even acknowledged it too. Barry said it, like, yeah, we don't really care. Like the seating is done, we already know where we're going. Like we gotta, we it's hard games no matter who we play. Like we don't give a shit. Basically, was his attitude. So, you know, that's kind of been the Islander fan mindset. Is like wait for the playoffs, let's see what happens. And now we've waited, and now we've seen kind of what happened. So, um, at least through game one. So we'll see, we'll see. But I, I think we're gonna beat the Caps. I'm being honest with you. Uh, not the Caps. I don't want the Caps. Caps are much harder series. Than the Bruins. I have tremendous confidence in the Bruins. In beating them. I really do. I have tremendous confidence in in beating the Boston Bruins. I don't have tremendous confidence in beating... In beating the Capitals. You know 
what you got to see, though, right? You got to see. Listen, I had low expectations coming into today, in today's, into today's game, and now all of a sudden it's like, oh shit. You know, now I'm talking about all oh, fucking series sweeps and win them in five and shit like that. You know, a couple of games here and there and everywhere, all of a sudden, it can change your mood really quickly. And you know what? Like I said, even if they lose game two, I still have tremendous confidence going back to the Coliseum for two games. With 50% capacity in the old barn? Fuck yeah. And like I said, if we're up two games to none, the, the Penguins should just go to the league and forfeit. Because there's no way on this planet that they're going to fucking win those necessary amount they would have to win games on the road and at the coliseum no shot on this planet no shot Ford never lose is legitimate favorite batter to use in the diamond dynasty um trout is a glitch he's always been a glitch trout's very glitchy um i i like using trout um at the same time uh, another guy who has a really glitch swing was... Oh, okay, I'm not playing that in the Hall of Fame. Another guy who had a really glitch swing at the beginning of the game when I used him was Trevor Story and Francisco Lindor. Both of those guys had incredible swings, and I was ripping the shit out of the ball with them both um, at the time that the game came out. But then once I got all the good cards and stuff and was doing the collections, it kind of became a waste of time uh, to continue to use those guys. But that was who I was using. That was who I was rocking with. Alright. Oh, man. Fucking conquest map. Up to 435 followers. 15 away. Uh, from... Hitting our goal of 450 by the end of the month, which is tremendous. We've had a ton of views. Um, we're not done yet. We're not done yet. Um, we're hanging out. We're chilling. We're having a good time. Chatting. Um, we're doing good. But that would probably be my favorite. Uh, maybe we'll do one or two more turns, because we're at six hours. Maybe we'll do one or two more turns, and then we'll be... Then we'll be uh, Audi 5000. Uh, I'm going to put like 20. I'm going to put like 30 there. I'm going to put like 35 there. These are all twos, so it doesn't even matter. Put like 20 there. I put like 15 there. Let me take this three. It won't work out, but come on. Win it. Oh, shit. We did. We did win it. So, wow, Detroit fucked my shit up, didn't it? Is there any chance? Oh, no, he's going to win the heart by a mile. He scored 100 points in a 56-game season. That was absurd. Guy went off. Would I, and I saw your thing. Would I trade Barzell, Lee, and Paul Mary for McDavid? Absolutely not, because youth, that's our captain. Clearly, Anders Lee is very important to the New York Islanders, as you can see from... The fact that after he got injured, we fucking went from first place in the NHL to, like, shit. Um, you know, I don't, I don't, um, I wouldn't get rid of him. And Palmieri, um, I, I think it's going to be important. Like I said, I have high hopes for Palmieri, so, um, I wouldn't really get rid of him either. So, I wouldn't trade anything. I wouldn't trade any of that. I would trade a whole bunch of prospects and picks, things I don't know about for him, but I wouldn't trade Barzell, who's a very explosive guy. I wouldn't trade Lee, our captain, who's very important to the Islanders. His net front presence is very important. And I wouldn't trade Paul Mary because I don't he's old. And also I'd kinda want him as another veteran on the team. I hope that answered the question. And also no, there's no shot. Like I said, hundred points in fifty six games. There's no way on this planet um, that he's losing the heart. And if he does lose the heart, it's fucking rigged. Like, shit. Shit's ass. I 
I think that there would be such an outrage from from hockey fans from all over the country and all over the world if he were to lose the heart uh, doing what he did in the shortened season. And if you projected it out to 82 games, he would have been at like 150, 160 points, um, which is craziness. Uh, it's not all-time levels, but it's pretty fucking nutso. Um, so, I I don't see them ever, uh, I don't see them losing it. I don't. I'm playing your Cardinals right now. Oh, the best was like just, yeah, no, he needs support. I mean, I don't like fucking Stonehand, Magoo, fucking Uncle Leo Komarov on there, on that line. But it does work. For some reason, it works. And it's like, damn, that fucking makes no sense. But it works. Um... I don't like it, but it works. Uh, whatever gets the job done for my team, right? But I I think Everly, you know, is whatever. Like, Barzell's a month uh, younger than me. So, you know, he's about to turn 24, 24 in like three weeks or two weeks. So, um, you know, he, I don't think putting him with a 31-year-old Jordan Everly and an old-ass Leo is what he needs. And I know Leo's there because Lee is hurt. And I know, like, I know that. And when Lee comes back, like, he won't be there. But it's just, it's ass for the right now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, Barzell is absurd. That goal that he scored with Buffalo. If COVID wasn't a real thing and the Coliseum was packed out, I think it would have probably exploded more than it did when we won Cups. Because I know for myself, I was screaming and yelling in my house. So, like, I, I know if that was the case, um, that thing would have been absurd. The, the decibel level in the Coliseum would have been on an all-time high. But, you know, I I have no problem with the other lines, right? Like the Paul Mary, um, you know, Beauvillier, uh, Pajot line, you know, Bailey, and um, Oliver Wallstrom. Like, that's not a bad line either. And then the fourth line is the fourth line. It's a great line. So I have no problem with them uh, at all. My defense, Scott Mayfield blows cock. That's my thoughts. Nick Letty is a cup winner, and everyone gives him shit. Sometimes he fucks up, but he brings that puck to the neutral zone so quick. He's very good on his stick. Andy Green is great. Um, Pelik and Pulak are the best defensive pairing, arguably, in the National Hockey League. And uh, Noah Dobson is really good for his age, and he's getting better and better every game, getting smarter, smarter. Um, personally, I would play... Um, What's his fucking name? Uh, the guy, he won the fucking... Uh, Brandon Coburn. Yeah, Brandon Coburn. The guy who won the cup against us last year. Uh, personally, I'd play him over Scotty Mayfield game two. Because Mayfield fucking sucked. It was Mayfield's fault that he gave up goal number three. We should have won in regulation on Brock Nelson's fucking absolute ripper. Instead, we had to give up a goal 31 seconds later because Scott Mayfield sucks. And he also was involved... Letting up the second Penguin goal. So, Scott Mayfield has always been pretty ass. And, uh... It's not like when Pellick was fucking brutal. And then... Barry Trotz came in and made him, like, the greatest defenseman in hockey. You know? It's not like that at all. He's just fucking brutal. He's gone the wrong way. That, th that's my... De those are my defensemen. Those are my six primary defensemen. That I just, you know, that I just listed out there for you. And like I said, we have Coburn. And that's really it. Nobody else has really played defense for us. Made anything of note. Did I like getting rid of Devon Taves to Colorado? No. 
but when we sign, when we re-sign Danny Green, you're not gonna not sit him. I mean, you're not gonna play him. Uh, they had high hopes in Mayfield. We know about the other two. Dobson's the future. He was the odd man, and Letty ain't going nowhere. So he was kind of like the odd man out. Now at that time, we didn't know that. Um, at that time, we didn't know that um, Boychuk's injury was going to be that bad that he was going to have to retire. It would have been nice to have known that because I think then we would have kept him. And we would not have played Scotty Mayfield then. Devontae's would have been still an Islander. But it's all right. It happens. Like, I thought that everyone else played a great game, even though, um, even though Pellick and Green took dumb penalties. I still thought they did great when they had to. They know how to cycle the puck around. They're smart players. They're good players. Like I said, Dobson's been getting better and better and better. I think that what helped him was his real first soiree in the NHL was, was, uh, filling in for Boychuk and shit and being in the bubble and playing and dressing and being in high, crucial situations, game sevens and Game fives and sixes and things like that. Early on in his career when he was 19, 20 years old. That helps. That helps. I think that was the biggest thing. I hope that answered the question. Yes. Yes, I would. Um, number seven has not been reissued since Carmelo left. Um, I do believe that they are planning to either give it back to him or retire that thing. Um, he is going to go to the Hall of Fame. He's top ten in scoring. Everyone above him and below him is in the Hall of Fame. Um, I think that he will. I think he'll get there. Let's go. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giant. Huh. You did it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo. Give me a hell yeah. Hope good. Hepatitis, see you later. Um, no, I do, I do believe that he will retire as a New York Nick. Um, I hope he does retire as a New York Nick. Um, and... You know, if the Knicks become on a rebound again, I wouldn't mind him being a bench player like he is now with Portland and maybe getting on a on a championship run with the New York Knicks the way it should have been a decade ago. Dude, nobody's catching that. Like, why did he go? I mean, he's gonna score because he has 96 speed. But like, why? Uh, do I like R.J. Barrett? Yes. Um, obviously, I wanted the first over pick. I thought we were gonna get it rigged, and I thought we were gonna get that first overall pick in 2019 to get Zion. We didn't. We didn't have the second. I didn't want Ja either. I would have probably gone R.J. Barrett if we had two either. Um, I didn't like Ja. I still don't like Ja. I think Ja is extremely overrated. And he gets proven. He's been proven with that this year. But R.J. Barrett continues to take great strides forward, shooting 40%. Number three. I just wish he would just get a little bit more clutch up. Like, he's not that clutch up. Like, he's kind of clutch. But, like, that ant, like that shot against Minnesota. Uh, he hits that. 
you know, those, you know, that whole, oh, we want him to take the last shot. All that fucking shit that Anthony Edwards says never gets said. I wish Alfred Payton kept his hair. Well, he had his hair like that because he made a bet in, like, high school or some shit that he wouldn't cut it till he won a championship, and he never won a high school championship, college, or the NBA, so that's why his hair was like that. Um, and he never cut it, and it's just that his hair grew out like that's how his hair grew. And eventually he cut it without winning a championship. But Alfred Payton is fucking abysmal. I fucking hate him. And you'll be hard-pressed to find a Knicks fan who's watched every game that says that they'd like Alfred Payton. Alfred Payton's fucking awful. I hate him. Shit. I, I, I wish Derrick Rose would, would play and not be coming off the bench. And even if we say, you know, we wanted to keep doing that, then I want Alec Burks to fucking start. As our point guard. Even though he's not a point guard. Fuck, he's better than him. He's fucking awful. He really is. And now we have that... We signed that fucking Luca something. That point guard out of Argentina or some shit. Euro League or whatever. So, we've got him coming in. As a point guard. So. Oh, I love D-Rose. I don't want to trade him away. I love that. I, I, I want to keep him. He's been so important. He is... Other, other than, you know, RJ Barrett taking a great leap forward... Surprises like quickly and and Toppin, and um, you know the emergence of Julius Randle. One of the big reasons that the Knicks are where they are right now is Derrick Rose. Without Derrick Rose, the Knicks are not where they are. Well, what I th I said to my friend who's a Knicks fan, and and he we both agree, is that now with the Knicks being the four seed and going to the playoffs with a fucking team of nobodies. It's going to make New York such a hot destination to want to come and play. And now the Knicks are back on the map. Where before they didn't have it, they were dysfunctional. Coaches were turning over every every year or every two years. You know, interim coaches and, you know, just a terrible GM and president and stuff like that. So, like, now that shit's gone. All that shit's over with. So, now it's like, here, here we go. This is the Knicks are back, Ro Garden's rocking, playoffs. You know, let's let's bring in some weapons. Let's bring in some people. We have a solid coach. We have a solid base. We have emerging stars. Like now, the New York Knicks are a destination for free agents, where they haven't been in recent years, where they were just trying to rely on, oh, we're the Knicks. We play the Garden. Like we're the Knicks. Like no. We're the most valuable sports franchise. Like, nobody gave a shit. Like, now, it's, we're the Knicks. We're the playoff Knicks with a team that everyone said we were going to go way under 500, had a 2% chance of making the playoffs, and we did it. We made the playoffs, and, like, we're here now. And, and it's a really, really big deal, the fact that they are now a playoff team. That they, that they did it. And they said they were going to do it. They said that they had the quality of players to do it. Nobody believed them. But they said that they could do it, and they've done it. They've gone out and done it. Now, if we, like, can you imagine, and it only gets, it only goes up from here. This was still kind of like a rebuilding year. Can you imagine if the New York Knicks go out and win a playoff series? Home, with home court advantage. They go out and win a playoff series in four, five, six, seven games. Shit. It, it, if they do that, and let's say they go to the second round. And they're the four seed, right? So it's like, you don't have to worry about anybody above you. Worry about your fucking below is for upsets or shit like that. You can maybe have set home court for the second round. And if it's an upset and you're there, right? And you're able to kind of play a different type of seed than you would have normally played. If you're able to do that, you can maybe argue that they're going to win that series and go to the Eastern Conference Final. And if that happens, oh yeah, we're signing some names. We are signing some names. Only the Yankees had defense. Only the Yankees didn't have a puppet as a manager. I mean, the Mets have one too. And basically, almost every manager in baseball is a puppet. Um, but he, Aaron Boone's a fucking circus. The only reason Aaron Boone is the is the manager of the New York Yankees is because he hit one home run in 2003. Like, and and that's it.
And the thing is, every Yankee fan that you talk to knows that. They know that. Not a lot of Yankee fans that I know like this manager. They wanted him gone when he was 8-8 eight eight in 2018, and he was like a game away from the World Series again. considering stealing, but this guy can't throw a fucking strike, so I don't really care. How about that? Put him in motion. And he scores, and Trout goes to second. The Nets just love getting hurt. Dude, the Nets are a joke. Snapchat gang? Yo, DJ, what's good? What's good, my guy? Snapchat gang. Um, I think that he had a lot of high hopes going into the Devils, you know, being the number one overall pick, and he really hasn't done it yet. And I know that the Devils have been fucking abysmal since he's been there, but he really hasn't given the oomph. Like, he hasn't dropped 30 goals. Like, you know, hockey's the kind of sport that even on a shit team, you can you can drop 30, 35, 40 goals. You can, you can really kind of take over. He hasn't done that at all actually so you know for me if i was a devil fan i'd be kind of a little concerned yeah hopefully we do get some upgrades but the problem is with the upgrades is um oh my god how is that not gone is that really not gone yeah i was gonna say oh ho, ho. green giant <laughs> huh. Have a time to see you later. Hopefully we do, but we kind of are pressed up against the cap, so I don't know. Um, it would be nice to get some upgrades for the Isles. Uh, you know, whether we want to get rid of Leo and shit like that. Like, I don't care about that. Um, keep the fourth line together, but uh, we've made good trades. We do need, you know what we need? We just need, like, a, a goal score. Like, someone who comes in and just pours him in. Capo Caco sucks yet. I mean, the Rangers suck. But we need people that are going to come in and, and score that goal, you know. Score on a power play. Like, that's why I wanted Taylor Hall. I wanted to trade for him. Because that's a scorer. And, unfortunately, we just didn't do it. Nash needs to coach and not let his super team. Yeah, no, he needs to be a coach. That's the problem is he doesn't coach. He just kind of sits there and is like, all right, I'm, I'm here. I'm, I'm the, you know. Like, the thing about Steve Kerr is he actually coached. Like, he actually coached the Warriors to all those championships. Like, he was up in the practices. He was coaching. This guy just sits there. Plays with himself. Knicks are playing the Atlanta Hawks. Knicks are playing the Atlanta Hawks. 
Home court advantage, best of seven series. So it means games one and two, games five, and game seven are at the world's most famous arena. Yeah, but DJ, I don't know what the hell you mean by Snapchat, gang, but God bless. Like, I don't even care that I struck out. It's five nothing. Dan Jones sucks. That was the worst pick of the Giants, like, draft the past couple of years. They could have picked up a nice defenseman in Josh Allen. They could have picked up, uh, they could have picked up, oh, shit. Um, there was something else. I mean, Dwayne Haskins sucks, but, you know, they, they could have picked something, like, legit. And said they picked him. I don't think he's. I don't think he'll ever be the promised land quarterback of the of the Giants. I think that he's like the worst quarterback in the league, right there next to Sam Darnold, and they both share the stadium. I thought the guy was abysmal. I really did. I really do. I, I still think he's not that great. And if he's not that great this year, I think they've got to kind of move on. And say, all right, the Daniel Jones, you know, Duke experiment is fucking over. You know, say enough's enough. Oh, he's you on the show, so fucking late. That's a fucking. Oh. It's a trade, Corey Davis for picks. We just got him. We just got him. I gotta see what happens. I mean, we've done enough trading for picks. I think that now it's time that, you know, we, we started to actually compete for something. We have a new head coach, new defensive coach, new offensive coach. You know, our GM just had his, like, second draft. I think it's time that we start saying, let's get after it. You know, let's try to win some football games, make people want to come watch the Jets. And start not being a fucking embarrassment. Aaron Judge is killing it. He is. He's definitely. He's definitely turned it on. He's definitely being more like Aaron Judge. I'm just trying to end the game. Like he's definitely more like Aaron Judge. I'll tell you that much. That's a fact. It's a fat fact. We're actually nearing. Uh, 450 hours streamed, which is crazy. That'll come in the next couple of days or so. Yeah, he gets he loves getting on base so much he's become allergic to it. The guy sucks. Fucking awful. Although the trade. The two people we traded for him are horrific, and the other two prospects I've never fucking heard of, so. And we were getting, you know, like, Cookie, he's hurt, but he'll be fine, and then... It's like, whatever. Lindor will be fine. Listen, I got ten more years with him, so. Guys, all this year and then ten more, so. We'll be fine. He'll find his way... Yeah. Yeah. Tim Tebow, the ex-Met, ex-Jet. Not a lot of people could say that. I think he's the only person that can say that on the planet of Earth, that he's the former Jet and Met. But fucking throwing touchdowns to Tebow. That guy's going to... Listen, that team's going to be run like a fucking shithole. Everyone that thinks that that team's going to be something successful, you're actually on crack. You've got a college coach... College coordinators, college quarterback, college tight end, college wide like college wide receivers, college plays. They're gonna try to run the literal a college ass game in the NFL, and they're gonna get fucking annihilated. Urban Meyer ain't gonna last a fucking week in the bowl. Give me a fucking break. Like, they're gonna try to run a literal like Florida State. 
I mean, um, not Florida State. Uh, Florida, fucking Ohio State kind of mindset. And and they're going to get fucking annihilated. Jaguars are going to be interesting. Yeah, they're going to be interesting because they're going to have all these picks and all this talent. They're going to go fucking way negative. They're going to have like four wins, five wins. They're going to be terrible. Jets are going to kick the piss out of him in Week 16, I can tell you that. I think Lawrence's career is not going to be served in the NFL because they have, they're have they going to literally run a college fucking system. They're going to run college plays, Wildcat and all that shit. Like, the NFL has seen that shit for 15 years. And the Wildcat wasn't even that great when it came out. Like, you know, this whole... Tim Tebow being a tight end is going to be a joke. They don't really have any wide receivers. Whatever's left of Saxonville is going to be whatever. You know, That'll be in spite of the offense. But the defense, like, the offense is going to be a fucking absolute fiasco. That's just my opinion on it. You know? I've seen some fucking bad coordinating. I've seen some bad coaching. I've seen some bad teams. And they're one of them. I'm gonna use up this shit. You know. I'm gonna use it up. And then, uh. I think we're gonna call it almost 4 a.m. for me here. Been on stream for six and a half hours. Sunday. Um, I'm gonna have to help my sister with the schoolwork tomorrow, so. If I can play Detroit, we'll do it. I'll play Detroit. We'll play Detroit and then we'll be done. No, no, wait, hold on. I gotta turn turn this back over because this thing is lagging horrifically and um, I'm kind of embarrassed by it. So let me pull up Task Manager because this is how you have to do it. You have to open. You have to close it through Task Manager, otherwise it will um, like have a stroke and not reopen. It's weird. It's so gay. See, like, it just did it, right? Like, it's fine now. Like, watch. Like, you're going to watch the game and you'll be like, oh, shit. Look how nice it looks. And then... You're going to see, like, oh, wow. You can probably already see it right there with the menu. See that shit? It's nuts. Miguel Cabrera, Hall of Famer. Big... <laughs> A big Woo! for him, big Hall of Famer. I'll even give him. I'll even give him a pumpkin because um, he uh, I never had any problems with him. Even when he was in the National League East against the Mets with with the Florida Marlins, he was he was nothing. And he's been a Hall of Famer his whole career, and just, he's been quality guy, quality guy. It's a shame that the Detroit Tigers suck major ball sack, didn't win in twelve. And now they fucking blow. But he has a ring from 03, you know, with Florida. So not really that bad when he was a rookie. It could be worse, but, you know. Now what's going to be interesting is, does he go to the Hall of Fame as a Florida Marlin? Or does he go to the Hall of Fame as a Detroit Tiger? And I think he's going to go as a Detroit Tiger. Because he's been there longer, and he's just done all of his shit there, and people know him as that. Let's go. Ho, ho, ho. Fucking served that one up, didn't you, Chucky, you stupid fucking idiot? Thoughts on the Albert Pujols to the Dodgers? I mean, I don't know where the fuck he's going to Where's he going to have to play? First base, there's no DH. Um, and you'll move Muncy over to second with the injury to Seager. Fucking served that one up, didn't you, Chucky, you stupid fucking idiot? Gone forever, Aaron Hernandez. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giants. Green, green. Um, but, the, uh, you know, he's got to play first, because there's no DH, so, 
I, I didn't think that he really could play first, but it's whatever. Listen, they have such versatile people. Muncy's going to play second, but the injury to Seager, it's going to be Lux now. Turner over third, and they've still got a great outfield. And it just, you know, and if he struggles and sucks, which I don't think he will because he's going to be on a team that can compete, and when he's on teams that do compete, he just becomes fucking insane. Please, bye, foe. Fuck you, Chucky. That wasn't gone. That's a perfect, perfect fly ball, 105 miles an hour with David Ortiz. Come on now. That's gotta be Danny Derby. That's gotta be a fucking homer. Show high is insane. He should. The guy's in nuts. Guy's literally insane. How about his home run today? Two strikes. Two out. I mean, um, two out, nobody on. Trout gets a bloop base hit. Definition of bloop and a blast. First pitch swinging with two out. Down a run against Boston. On the road. In Fenway. Cranks a fucking no doubter down the, down the fucking right field line. Insane. Absolutely Captain Insano. He could play for any team of any sport and be a fucking dominant. The guy is legit. He really is. He is a spectacle and a half to watch. Speaking of Miggy, here he is. Oh, they will. I mean, Shohei had a 99 last year uh, in the event near the end of the year. Not a lot of people had it because they didn't like the events to begin with. It was also an event near the end. But he, he did have a card. He had a 99. It was his rookie of the year. Um, but that and that card was absolute Captain Insano. So... I mean, he's probably going to get a... If he keeps it up, he's going to 100% get a 99 Finest card this year. And that card's going to be fucking Captain Insane. Please, bye, foe. Fuck you, Chucky. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giant. Dude, I like this little move that I do. I do a whole little fucking little routine on this shit. I love it. But I forget. Pumpkin! How did I forget that one? Ooh, Jackie little blooper in there. Knocker. Ooh. Look at him stealing that second base. Ah, you fucking late, late, late. Oh shit. That's in. That's in the park. I'll tell you what, oh wow, it was a bad throw. I was considering a double tag. Oh yeah, I mean it was, it probably was awkward to begin with back in the day, but I agree, I agree. Oh shit. He was running, so that's gonna tell me that thing's fucking gone. Go. Gone forever, Aaron Hernandez. Ho, ho, ho. I 
I love this shit. I always forget the oh, good. Oh, good. And then that hit was a fucking... Nice play, Chipper. But see how much more smooth that the, the gameplay is? If you've been paying attention to it. Now that I did that little reset. I hate that I have to do that, but I do. Whatever, it took, what, 30 seconds of our day? We fixed it. And now it looks very nice. I should have done it two games ago, but whatever. We gained seven subs. It's incredible tonight. Awesome. I actually have to reflect that in the monthly subs because it didn't count Tyler's resub as one. And it also it didn't count his sub or that one. So, um, it should actually be nine. So we're very close to the um, sub -point. Sorokin could have played better. He could have. But I was very happy with him filling in on the fly, getting it done, and uh, giving us a win, right? Like a win is a win is a win is a win. Could he have played better? Sure. I think that the th first and third goals really should have been saved. Um, bad defense, but they should have been saved. But you know what? I take it. He played tough. After that goal, he gave up, made it 3-3. He pitched a shutout, right? Like, he was the last one not to crack. So, I'm, I'm okay with it. I'm okay with it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I could deal with it. A win is a win. You think Brady will win another? Nah. I think that they've seen enough. I think that there's there's just too many good teams. Like, they got lucky. I really believe that, that they got lucky. Remember, half the fucking Kansas City Chiefs were hurt. Half the Chiefs were hurt. Rodgers was fighting with his fucking offensive coordinator and shit. Head coach. I think they got away with one. They might win the NFC uh, South. And I think the possible they might go back to the playoffs. But I think that I don't think they're going to win again. I don't think they're going to win again. That's that's too much. Just a bit to it. Uh, I think they have. I think Cold War has been the most fun that I had when I was playing it every day. It was definitely the most fun I've had in a while. Uh, Black Ops 3 was my favorite. This, si this side of Black Ops 2, because Black Ops 2 was like the last great one. Because after that, you had Ghost. Advanced Warfare wasn't that bad. Um, then Black Ops 3, which I thought was the best out of this whole, like, shit. Infinite Warfare sucked. Uh, World War 2 sucked. Black Ops 4 sucked. Modern Warfare 2019 sucked. And Black Ops Cold War was ice.
Um, it's up there. It's def my top three. This side of Black Ops Two is Black Ops is Black Ops Three, Advanced Warfare, and um, the one that we have now, Cold War. I mean, back then, I mean, they were just knocking out hits after hits. I wasn't around for them. I I played them with my friends and stuff when I would go home with from them, you know, with them from school and shit. Because I wasn't allowed to have those games at that time. They were, but Modern Warfare, you know. World at War. I remember playing Zombies at the Firehouse with um, some other kids. World at War. Uh, and then I, you know, Modern Warfare 2, I remember playing all the time with my friend Will when I would go to his house. And then I f finally had Black Ops, Modern Warfare 3, and then Black Ops 2, and that was the best. Yeah, Infinite Warfare best. Co yeah, okay. What crack you smoking? Oh man, pretty good. We we did a lot of work on the uh, on this shit. We did a lot of work on the conquest map. We took over a lot of territory. Uh, cause we started, we were still over here, and now we have all this shit. So it's been a really really good stream in terms of that. So let's open our packs. But those are the big ones. Obviously, this don't matter, dick. We just can't pull. Don't pull Colwyn. So we got Dalton Jeffries. I'll pull uh, Nobili Marte. What the hell fucking name is that? I'll be honest. Ryan Valade. Uh, Ryan Weather. We open up that because it's fucking useless. And now we go into this. Ten packs. Now we get into the fucking useless. Oh, I already have. Care anyway, but I'll keep it because it's new. I'll keep that because it's new. Six halfway here. Fuck me. Fuck, bro. Can I get some? I mean, I just didn't have a silver. Well, Jamal, that means, um, it definitely means a lot, uh, to it, to me, um, you know, to have people say it, it's nice, um, you know, I know it's not just words, it's just, um, it's, uh, it's important, right, because, you know, it's it's fun to, i love it i love talking to people like i'm doing right now with you i've been doing for like the last like hour or so i love when people raid and people you know even when they don't follow and stuff and shit like that i love you know i love that stuff too but it's like it, it's just fun to interact and i love the stream deck i'm having so much fun with that and it's just if i could just make somebody like laugh and stuff it's fun it's definitely fun and uh, it means a lot um, when people like you write like that, you know. And uh, it definitely does mean a lot. And, um, you know, it does. I get what you're saying because you do feel that sometimes, too, when you're like, um, as Rob, as Michael Fulmer looks at me, um, where you're like, ah, this stream's weak, or, oh, you know, ah, I'm kind of one step off my game, or something like that, you know, somebody might watch and say, like, no, like, you're, you're not, you know, and it's, it's about having the self-confidence, but also not being too hard on yourself, 
you know, it's it's a fine line. It's a hard line sometimes to walk um, because you, you have a certain standard, especially for me, someone who went to college to be like communication and radio and shit like that. You know, you have such high standards. Made my own talk show, did it for four years and shit like that. So you have high standards. So, like, when you maybe don't hit them, you feel like, ah, that was kind of shit. But everyone else thought it was great, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, it it means a lot when people say, like, no, it was, it was good, you know? Um... And that's the one thing I do pride myself on is that I'm always myself. I'm, I don't try to copy anybody. Um, I mean, yeah, my stream deck, a lot of it is copied from Troy Dan because I, he uses a lot of sounds where I'd be like, oh, I want to use that. You know, so it's, but it's not copy, um, you know, copying him. You know, I'm still myself. And that's the biggest thing I tell other people, too. Like, when, when they say, like, how do I start off? Be yourself. Don't be other people. Don't copy, you know, whoever you like watching. Be yourself. Uh, don't be fake. Um, I was saying that to John when he came in here and I was talking to him about streaming. Um, before he gifted the five and shit like that. And I told him, like, you know, be yourself. Don't, don't try to copy others. Be yourself. Because people could see right through if you're fake. You're faking it. And you're like, don't. And I'm not gonna give up. I love it. I love doing this, you know. I, I really do. And I'm putting in the hard work. I'm putting in time. I'm putting in the money. Because, you know, it's expensive to get all this shit going. Uh, I did that, and um, I love it, and it's fun, definitely fun, and like I said, I'm never going to give it up, I love doing this shit, it's, it's so much fun to play and stuff, um, like I said, I love it, I really do, I genuinely do, and, um, and if you appreciate, if you appreciate it, I I thank you very much, and I hope, I hope that you you stay, keep coming, and you know, and that it's it's um it's a place that you wanna come back to every every time, you know. It's uh, it's definitely like it's definitely uh, what do you call it? Um. I don't know. I don't know the word. It, it's important to me because, like, I've watched so many people um, do it, right? And it's like, um, I watched so many people do it, and and they just suck. They don't have any life. They don't talk to chat. Like, I make it a mission to look every five seconds to chat. Can't wait for your new gaming PC. I mean, I'm not getting a new one for a while. Unless someone gives it to me, uh -huh. I ain't getting a new one in a while. I'm very happy with what I with what I do have. It's a thousand dollars. It was expensive. Um, I'm I'm proud of what I have. Um, you know, did I say that I was getting one? Did I say? If I did, then my apologies. I don't. I remember saying that. Um, I I did enter into it like a contest. I was like, fuck it, why not? I entered into a contest. I was like, fuck. It was like a twenty-five hundred dollar one and a five thousand dollar one. I was like, why not? Like, right? Like, fuck it. Like, I'm. I, I don't know if I might have mentioned that. Maybe I did. Um, but no, yeah. I was like, fuck it. Why not? It's free for me. I'll do it. Uh, and if I want it, shit. Great. You know what I'm saying? Like, awesome. And if I don't, it was fucking free. So. You know, you know what I'm saying. So, uh, if I, if, if I don't think, I don't know if I mentioned that, but if I did, um, yeah, that's what, that's what that is. Then, you know, it'd be nice. But if it doesn't happen, whatever, we keep it rocking. Like, you know, we we rip on the Xbox Series X, we rip on the PlayStation Five, and I just use the PC, you know, for, uh, you know, for cap, you know, streaming and the OBS and. And stuff like that. I do have PC. I do have Black Ops 3 on PC, which is fun. But it always crashes. It sucks. My PC's good, but it ain't, like, that good. You know, like, it ain't... It ain't able to hold uh, that shit going. But, 
no, I do appreciate all the, the kind words. I really do. Um, because it, it does, it does help you, right? When you know that there are people that you're helping with your content. Um, and that's, like I said, that's the biggest thing that I see is that so many people who do it, they just suck. They really do. And it's like, now that I'm in the arena and I do it, I'm like, wow, these people are fucking lazy. Like, they could easily reach out. Like, they could easily talk. They could easily be funny. Like, just be yourself. Like, they just choose to just be weenie boppers. Like, some people just suck who, who do this shit. And it's like, that's what I want to do is I want to, I want to make it and show people this is how you, this is how you rock. You make a fan base or whatever you want to call it, a following, whatever, cult. <laughs> you, and you, you treat them with respect, you treat them with dignity. You don't ask for money. You don't ask for subs. You don't grub for money. I mean, having like a little fun thing like, oh, you know, give me a sub and I'll play online because I fucking hate it. That's just the fun, but you know, there are so many people that like, you can watch content people that like break, like, criticize things, like analyze things, and you can watch so many people like talk about like, um, uh, talk about uh, people who like actually like grub for the, like, no, no, you can't be in here until you follow and sub and shit. Like, you're being a, you're being a cunt, like, honestly, like, you're being a cunt. Um, you know? Fuck that. I'll never do that shit. Ever. Ever. <clears throat> Ever. Um, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. I love doing it. Now, yeah, it, is it fun when, you know, when the money comes in? Sure. It's great. But, you know, it's not It's not the end of the world. It's not, it's not the most important thing. Yo, what's good, my guy? Ten of your fans. Yeah. You know what I'm saying, Jamal? Like, did did I what I say make sense? Did I say what did what I say make sense? That, you know, um, the biggest thing, and this is how it is with everything. You're only who you are because of your your fan base and and who you are like inside. And it's like, if nobody watches you, you. If you're an asshole, right? Like, nobody's going to watch you. Like, you built that. But if you're nice and kind and you make people laugh and stuff, you'll you'll stick around for a long time. And people will come out. And, and that's what I want to do. I don't want to be... Uh, I don't want to... I don't want to be a weenie bopper on here. I want to be someone that people can come to and be like, ah, I can watch Dylan for a couple hours laugh, joke around, break balls, talk sports, talk whatever, laugh, uh, watch him get angry, you know, <laughs> I'm gonna, did, did Billy sub, Billy, did you resub, because the resub thing isn't working, and it's completely fucking retarded, did you resub, me why is it not working no way Billy did you just resub but like put it in because the first message didn't have the first because if you did fuck man this shit didn't work it didn't work for Tyler and I got pissed off all right it did well no what um well Billy what he wrote was uh very nice, and what it was talking about was that, you know, you never know the difference that you make in people's lives when you stream, and it's a, that's a real thing, and, um, I know that I think you kind of said that too about me, and it means a lot, it means a lot when it's said, because you... You don't realize the impact. It's like the Jackie Robinson quote that's in the rotunda at City Field. A life is not important except on the impact it has on other lives. You don't realize the impact that you have 
until people like highlight and be like, here, here's what you do for me. Here's what this is. Blah blah blah. And that's like when it, that's when it hits you as real, and that's when it hits you like, oh shit, like that's what life is. And um, um, it's definitely. meaningful you know what I'm saying like it's definitely like uh, um, it's definitely something I mean I'm happy I gained I'm I mean to be what Six months into the journey today. Six months. So, we're six months in. Started on November 17th. Um, to be six months in and have, like, 6,100 views. 22 subscribers. The highest we were up was 41 when we had a lot of gifted. 435 followers right now. I mean, I've had, like, 500-something people actually follow me, but people quit and shit. Weirdos. Um... To be able to do that, to have the confidence to have the sub sub goal and stuff, and it's been rated a couple times, and uh, not a couple, a bunch of times, and, and stuff, and it's just, it's um, it's definitely, it's just um, it's definitely a lot of fun. It's a lot of fun. I love it. And uh, it's definitely meaningful. It's definitely meaningful. I didn't, you know, I didn't know it would go that big, that quick. I want to see. Here's the thing, and it's like a can't wait for the merch. I know. Probably did resub. Yeah, I gotta keep the pocket smart. Take, got taken out my Google Play money. Whatever works. A win is a win is a win is a win. No, I'm just kidding. Um, but uh, what was I saying? I want to be fam- like that's the thing is like a lot of people like I don't I don't know if I want to do it and, like because I want I want to be famous I want my anonymity and all that shit fuck that I want to be famous like I want to be recognized and famous I want to be someone who people want their want an autograph from or a picture and stuff and meet me in person and stuff that is what I want I want that like I'm not afraid of it, and I wanna, I want to blow up so bad. I can't tell you, like, I want to be that guy, who, you know, is famous for the right reasons, does the right things, do the right things, uh, stream the right way, and take care of fans and stuff like that. That's what I want to do. And hopefully I get to do it. Hopefully I do. Hopefully I do. Um, and that's where support comes in, right? That's where the support comes in and, you know, people to come in and say, hey, yeah, I'm going to support you. I'm going to, you know, ride or die, bitch. Like that's, like, that's it. And that's what I want. That's what I want to do. And, you know, if... If it works out, then hell yeah. And if it don't, that's okay. But I hope it does. I really hope it does. Because I do feel that I have some type of, not a gift, but I have some type of some where I, I, I can do it. Does that make sense? Where it's like, I believe I can. I know I can. I love doing it. I want to do it. And, you know, like, that's, that's really, like, kind of it. You know? I'm kind of done playing. Like, I've played for fucking seven hours. I'm kind of out. I'll sit here and chat. I don't care. I mean, there'll be nothing on. But I don't even, I don't care. I'll sit here and chat for a little bit. I don't. Don't bother me. It is 420. I'm kind of a little tired, but, um, you know, just kind of just saying it, you know, that that's what I want to do. And I know that I've spoken to Hayden about it, about, like, being famous and all that stuff. 
And it's like, I, it's just what I want to aspire to be. And, uh, I don't know. I feel like I have the right amount of stupidity, but people go, this guy's in it. Yeah, but see, that type of, that type of personality does exist. It, it does, it's real. It is there. Where people are like, this guy's a fucking idiot. But I can't look away. It's kind of like a car crash. Um, where it's like, people, people can't look away. Um, but, uh, my outlook on life is amazing. Thanks, car. <laughs> um, well, you know, Taz has been here a while. He's been here since December. Uh, he was the second subscriber. He's been around. And, and we had a lot of great conversations, um, very early on when there wasn't a lot of people, you know. We had some great conversations, and, um, you know, I do think that my outlook on life is really good. I've had an amazing, very lucky, very happy life, and, you know, I want to share that love with people, you know, in, in 100% a gay way. Um, you know, I... That's what I want to do. And, like I said, I feel like I have the ability to do it. I feel like I can do it. And I want to. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not like, uh... I, I don't know. And there are days where I'm, like, lazy. Where I'm like, fuck, I don't, I don't want to do it. But it's like... I do it because... Like I said, it's not about me. It's about the guy who had a bad day. Comes home. So, oh, shit. See, you know, I'm on. Maybe I can help him through the day. Maybe I can make give him a laugh or two. You know, that's what I want to do. And that's what I have done. And I want to continue to do it, but do it for more and more and more and more, more, more people, you know? And, like I said, I've had a very, very good life. Lucky. Lucky life. Lucky family. Lucky education. Not lucky where, you know, we scrape by. I'm talking about, like, lucky in the terms of great life. You know, great education, great family, the best family, bar none, best family out. And, you know, just, we really, God bless and thank God, we've never really had an issue, right? We've never had problems. So, and I, and my heart breaks for people who do, it really does, so. Um, it's, it's about trying to make people feel like I feel for a little bit and if I can do that then that's great and that's what I want to do I want to come on make people feel that kind of anxious excitement and that fun and that energy and <clears throat> the love and the support and shit like that I don't know if I have any... yeah I know that Robin Williams quote. It's a great quote. It's a smart quote. And when you think about him, he made so many people laugh, and unfortunately, he had demons that he couldn't shake, and it's a shame. But he's one of those people that death can't conquer. He really is. It's a good part about being... Yeah, and that's what I, I want to help people. And not so much help as, like, oh, build them a fucking house. Like, okay... Whatever, go ahead, Mr. Beast. But, like, I'm talking about, like, helping people, you know, come in and, and try to be personable and and make people laugh. Even if I can't talk to every single person, because, you know, there are some people whose chats are like, brrr, you know, you can't read it. You can't. You can barely read it if you're looking at it. So it's like, you can't, right? So, um, you know... For that, it's hard to become a person. That's when you say, all right, I'm just going to be this type of person. I'm going to be myself, be this personality, and people are going to enjoy. And that's what I try to do. That's what I try to do all the time. Dark balls of evil. Yeah. Just like Barzell, young and inspiring. Yeah, I mean, you know. I wish I could skate like him, too. Shit. I wouldn't be here. I'd be in the NHL. <laughs> um... 
but you know, I just I'm so I really am thankful for where we've come from, where we are right now. And like I said, I wanna I wanna continue up 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 up, you know, and and hit goals and stuff. And it and what's so important is for people to go out and spread out and talk about me and and bring in people, you know, bring in two people and then them bring in people. And that's what it's about is that kind of exponential growth. That's what it's that's what it's all about, you know. That's what it's all that's what we have to get after. So if that can happen, that's what helps you out. You know, if you can say like, hey, I'm watching this guy, this guy's great. Um you should too, you know, and you're able to kind of drag people in, you know. I think that that's the that's the key. That's the major key, you know, to quote DJ Khaled. That's the big key is to be able to do that. And also eat some carrots. Carrots. And pumpkin. pumpkin. That's important. But um yeah, good arm strength. You know what that's from? It ain't throwing a fucking football around. I guarantee god damn to you that. Uh. Um Yeah. Give me a hell yeah. Lord have mercy, I'm about to bust. <laughs> um but no, I just uh I love it. I love doing it. It's so much fun. I think that my radio training helped me a lot from it. And uh it's just exciting. It's an exciting thing. Young and have good arm strength. Except I'm not a Mormon, so I ain't no Mormon. Uh but it's uh it's fun. It definitely is fun. I, I can't complain, I really can't. I have no complaints so far. Um Stone Cold sound fucking dope. Yeah. Well we got we got woo Woo Good in the paint industry and knowledge of life. Yeah. I'm like everybody that you've ever met. No. Um yo Homie, you haven't heard the stream deck. You gotta hear what we've got going on. That's my favorite. Lord have that mercy, one. I'm about to bust. A classic. Give me a hell yeah. That one's a classic too. The Island of Gullhorn. Woo! That one's a good one. Ho ho ho. Green giant. That one's a great one. I actually got to use that today. When I hit two homers back to back to start the game, the guy quit, and I was able to use that shit. Utini! Oink, oink. Oh, yes, Daddy. I mean, the Utini, see, the woo is if you donate one to five sub, one to four subs, woo! you'll hear the woo. And the Utini, you will hear, if you donate 10,000 bits, you'll hear Lord the Lord have mercy. I'm about to bust. And if you donate any amount of bits, Utini! you hear that. Pumpkin! Yeah, pumpkin, right? Carrots. Cowits. Oh, yes, Daddy. That's my favorite one. Ooh. I can end that one. It's just a crowd here. Good morning, my neighbors! <laughs> Pengu. This is. Then these four are Kent Murphy. Three, five, four. Oh. Fuck, Fuck you, Chucky. Chucky. Gone forever, Aaron Hernandez. <laughs> Hepatitis, see you later. Fucking serve that one up, didn't you, Chucky? You stupid fucking idiot. Oh yeah. That's my. And then we got this one. I'm gonna do that whenever I, whenever that plays. I'm just gonna stare like this into the camera, menacingly. And then the only other things that are on this other panel. Is my Mets songs? That's a great one. This is the classic. Wait, do you want me to do the? Do you want me to try to find the to uh, do the like the closing of or, or the entrance? To um to the Mets games with that song, here's the organ version. And then, he whips it to deep 
I have some like actual like met coals on here. You wanna know what? I actually fucking hate the Rising Drag. I'm not even gonna kid. My favorite one? Gorod. I love Gorod Grogan. Uh, what else do I like? On that game? I mean, all the remaster maps are pretty fun. The Rising Drag's just, it's so much fucking work to do the bows and shit. Shit. So much work. But I, oh, dude, I love this shit. And we got fucking swept this week and we suck lindor eats ass holy shit everyone's fucking hurt like a bitch fuck everybody's hurt let's go through them the grom fucking conforto and fucking mcneil fuck me side ways holy shit the bullpen sucks goddamn pete alonzo eats my ass holy shit we suck, asshole. Holy God Almighty, we suck fucking bullsack in the day. Holy shit. We fucking suck. Our best hitter is fucking Kevin Pillar, and then there's Villar, too. He sucks, asshole, too. And then we got fucking Lindor being a you know, dickhead. And then James McCann, the fucking moron who grabs his bullsack before every pitch. He fucking eats this, too. Then the bullpen sucks. And the manager sucks. Holy shit, we fucking suck some more. Holy shit. How are we in first place? The National League sucks. Fucking shit, we eat total ass. Fucking holy shit, I'd rather have Helen Keller at the home plate because we just totally fucking suck. Dom Smith still crying over in the corner. Fuck, holy shit it's what i say at every single game they really motherfucking suck big black horse talk holy shit we suck balls that's the updated uh, meet the meds that's the updated meet the meds version that's the version i sang to sleep at night because we fucking eat ass did you like that that was fun That was fun. That was a fun one. But, dude, there's so much shit. Wait, what'd you say? I feel like... Bum... 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 But, um... What? Which one? Would have been used every five seconds on Among Us. Which one? Bum, bum... But, um... Ba... Oh. I was like, what? And then when I heard it, I was like, oh, the price is right? Me too, Ka. Me too, Ka. Me too. I could literally talk through the stream deck. <laughs> that one would be used in Among Us all the time, too. Fucking <laughs> shitty. Ka. Oink, oink. oink. I love the oink oink. Oh, that one's a great. <laughs> some of them I can repeat, some of them I can't. Like this one I can turn on and off. Pengu I could turn on and off. Oh yeah. That one I can double up. The oh yeah I could turn off. I love it. Dude, I love this shit. I really do. If you can't tell, first off I love the stream deck, and second, I absolutely fucking love the whole, the whole shit. I love this too. Fucking serve that one up, didn't you, Chucky? Like you stupid, stupid fucking, fucking idiot. idiot. Oh, dude, that shit would have been used all the time on Among Us too. Are you kidding? That shit would have been used all the time. Please, five four. Fuck you, Chucky. Do you remember when I said that on Among Us, Billy? Do you remember when I said that? Fee five four. Fuck you, Chucky. That's where that's from. That's it, right there. That's it. Hepatitis, see you later! Uh, dude, the best is when I say Gone Forever Aaron Hernandez in someone's chat. I don't know. Clearly they never saw it, and they'd be like, what the fuck? That's so wrong. I'm like, chill. It's from Kent Murphy, you dickhead. And they're like, what's that? 
Like, you're a fucking idiot. Gone forever, Aaron Hernandez. Like, who... If you're a baseball fan, who doesn't fucking watch Kent Murphy? Like, shit. That shit was the fucking best back in, like, 2012, 2013. That shit was the best. Heard that. It's fun. And then there's this shit. Dude, we could've used this on Among Us 2. Great shit. Great shit. Ooh. Carrots. Pumpkin! I love it. I really do. I love this shit. And there's gonna be a lot more added, believe me. This is just the beginning. This was just the day of doing this shit. 100%, there's gonna be more shit that's added on. You can get the stream... Shit. No, I can put in random profile. Like, next profile. Like, I'm hitting next profile, and I'm able to switch him back and forth. I can add as many profiles as I want, so I have, like, unlimited space on the stream deck, so I could do whatever I want. So, um, you know, I could do whatever I wanted at all. So, uh, we could, if, if I could cut them up, 100%, we could have the, the Sanders quotes. But then I give the Sanders quotes anyway, so it's like, you're gonna be using a soundboard for myself? Of myself? <laughs> like, what? Uh, I'm tired of shit. It's four forty. It's almost four forty-five in the morning. We've been on for almost seven and a half hours. You, f you fairy. Well, you fairy is not mine. You fairy is taken from Glen Gary Glen Ross. Oh shit! I gotta. I'm gonna write that shit down. I gotta write that down. There's a lot of fucking good. I'm writing that shit down. There's a lot of good. A lot of good quotes are in that movie that can go in the fucking stream deck. Yeah, no, I didn't come up with that. Yo, Hayden, what's good? I beat you to it, bitch. Huh? <laughs> um. Been Lorca, but here now. Yeah, no, I've just we've just been chatting. I've been done playing for like an, a half hour. We've just been a little chatting about everything, and uh, uh, st uh stay positive. Had. Very nice words, and that's what made me kind of like stop chat for a bit, because uh, I don't really want to play anymore. Uh -huh. I've been playing for seven hours; it's enough. Um, wait, is there is there a daily moment? If there's a daily moment out, we'll we'll do that. Is is the daily moment out yet? Nope. The next daily moment, I get a pack. Woo -hoo -hoo. Well, big 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 thank yous from McSpanky's. It would be on there if it wasn't already. If you gift a sub to someone, if you gift a sub to someone, that's the sound. So, because of that, it, um, because of that, it don't count. Even though there's other shit on here that I already have counted, I don't really, I don't really want that, because I have a lot of other shit. Like instead of that, I have thanks, ka, thanks, ka. Like I have that shit. But, yeah, no. That's what we've just been hanging out, Hayden. We've just been hanging out, having some fun. Um, just chatting. Uh, but other than that, that's really it, right? Like that's all. I don't know. I don't really have much to say. Um, I've kind of done everything I wanted to do, which was grab a lot of work on the. Then oh shit, bro, keep it coming, shit. Very nice Borat. Yeah, cause you a you a bitch. You's a bitch. No, um. Do you want to see me get aggravated online for the road? Let's get aggravated. Let's get lit. Let's get aggravated. Oh, yo, Hayden. Dude, I am. I know. Finally, we haven't had anybody fucking stop following. We've actually been at 435, and, like, it's... We've actually gone up, like, normal fucking... Normal shit. Shit. Alright, I lost once this stream. Let's lose again. Um, no, but it means a lot. Thank you very much. I wanna ship it. 
I'm ready to get my ass beat. Who wants to watch me get aggravated? Say I. Say I. <clears throat> Fuck, Hayden. You weren't supposed to say I. Thanks, Ka. Thanks, Ka. Ka. <laughs> Who am I gonna pitch? I don't fucking know. Luis Castillo. That rhymed. Shit. Let's just fucking go with it. Alright, come on, let's go. Take it all day. Set your line up when you do it. Like. Bro, what are we doing? Shit, thank God. Oh, yo, let's fucking flip this shit on. Playing someone from Japan? I'm on the road. Pleasant good afternoon, everybody. Welcome inside a shipping stadium for the game between the New York Islanders and the Japanese team. We're starting pitchers today Luis Castillo for the Islanders. Batting first, leading off. Number. I don't even know. Some fucking idiot. Oh shit. Oh, it's Charlie Blackman. Dude, I want to hit. I want it. I would love to hit 800, 900 by the end of the year. I would love to hit 1,000 by the end of the year. That shit would be nutty. I'm hoping to get 50 congruent actual subscribers by the end of the year. I want it by the end of the summer, but I want it by the end of the year. That's what I want. That's what... Dylan Sanders wants. Yeah. Well, that'd be very nice. You better not. My name is Borat. I like you. I like sex. It's nice. I love that movie so much. I love that. I love that film. Movie. That movie's fantastic. Fuck me. That pitch is right down goddamn Broadway. Fuck. Fucking. Shitty. Shitty. Yeah, I know. And I'm always telling you you're a fucking idiot. And that's why I know. Yes. Oh, no. Fuckhead. Hit that shit. Good. Go for it, bro. Go for it. Oh, yes, Daddy. Go for it. I'll give you a fucking... Woo! And then, uh... Give me a hell yeah! Oh, yeah. That's... That's nice. That's the nice. I'm gonna bun. I'm fixing a fucking bun. Stay fair. Stay fair. Let's go. Fuck him. That's nice. Hold on. Don't do it yet. Hold on. Wait. Ready? I'm gonna do it without sound. That's nice. Now you can put that shit. I mean, it's basically Borat when he says, I like sex. Nah. It's basically what it is. It's not like I'm fucking... Fucking pitch me. You bitch. Oh, yeah. 
you. Me too, car. Me too. Fucking big fucking F. Bro, that was exactly where I wanted that bitch. Shit bag. Dickhead. What are you doing? I mean, it probably would have fucked me up, too, because, you know. Oh, shit. Get that, get that, get that. Haha. <laughs> Who do you fucking hit that home run with? Look at that cocksucker Alberto Montesi. Bro, didn't you say you were doing them? Didn't you say that? I thought you did. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Oh, fuck you! Cock boy. Oh, get the fuck out of here with that bull crap. Bro, what the fuck is that? Yeah. I'll do that shit. Fuck that. Yeah, yeah, go sit on you, fuckhead. Shit. Like, that fucking home run, man. Like, god damn it. I fucking hate playing home run. I really do. Like, I genuinely hug. Yeah. No, I will. We'll, we'll get into a conversation. We'll get into a call about it. I don't give a shit. Fuck. Bro, what are we doing here? Fuck! I genuinely believe I'd rather want to castrate myself than play online. Yeah. Because Eugenio Suarez is making that play. Uh huh. Fuck face. Fuck! I have to hit the shit out of that ball. Fuck! Can I get a blue? Can I get a blue? No! Fuck! Why would I get one? Shit! What are we doing? Come on now! Like, let's go! Thank you.
this guy and fuck Japan. Like, fuck them both. Ox. I fucking hate online. I really genuinely, like, I despise it more than anything. He wasn't gonna catch that. Holy shit. Bro. Oh, Andrew Knapp. Oh, good. The fucking last time I faced him, he gave, I gave up a home run to him with fucking Chapman on two strikes, two out, and the PCI wasn't even on a fucking baseball. I want to hear it from this cock munch. Please throw it. Well, Castillo didn't even pitch that fucking bad. Once again, I gave up one run. Once again, I gave up one run. Like I did. Oh, good. Fucking good. Chapman. Great. Fantastic. What a fucking douche. Sit on this, you fuckhead. No way! No way! No way! No. Come on, now. Don't fuck me. This game's been fucking me all day. All on the online shit. Fuck this game, bro. So done. Please do. Die with the early. Who gives a shit? Oh, wow. Oh, <laughs> Who gives a Let's play ranked. Fuck him. Fuck it. We'll play a game of ranked. Shit. I'd rather fucking shoot myself in the fucking dick eight times over than play online. It's fucking abysmal. It really just is. It just is. Like, the last game I played was... I lost one nothing. Yeah, Tom Glam is out. Alright, DeGrom's in. Oh, come on, dickhead. Actually, I'm going to replay it.
Holy shit, he's ready. Oh, great. Fuck. I'm home. This isn't... Thank God. Dude, I played a minute and 20 of that song. I was keeping track. What the fuck was that? What? Dude. Oh, no. Because he doesn't have the outer on. Well, then. Okay, that pitch was fucking abysmal. I buried it on purpose, and he actually tried to go down and get that. Okay. Okay. That almost hit him. Whatever works, cuff. Thanks, Cuff. Like, thanks. Problem is, I can't hit. I can pitch okay. Not pitch amazing. I can pitch okay online. I cannot. I cannot. Hit. I can't. So it's just, it's brutal. Oh, fuck. I was getting ready. I was getting ready to ring him up. I thought I thought he had seen enough at the plate. Yeah, I'm I'm poo poo. I'm total poo poo water. Dude, this guy needs to know how to press press A, press A to skip menu. Press A, A like A, A. Fuck. Me, that was a great pitch. Are you kidding? It's gonna be one of those jokes. I think I gotta sit up. Fuck this noise. I gotta sit up. I gotta get ready. Fouled off. Late. But okay. We're alive, aren't we? That was a shitty pitch. Base hit. He's at second base because he has 99 speed. And in the meantime, we will fix our title to say something. Ranked. 11 and 2. Fuck, I hit the wrong thing. It's alright. I'm super duper ultra late. But that's a that's a stolen base and a half, McNugget. Oh shit. Bro! Why didn't it let that count? 
Oh my Christ. You gotta be fucking kidding me. No way. No, I checked it. Come on, I hit the check. Come on, now. Game's fucking me over. Should have had a run home. Fair ball. That's it. The game knew. The game knew what was right and what was wrong with that. Fucking. Excuse me? Oh, get back. Get back, get back, get back, get back, get back, get back. Safe. Dude, I hate this sometimes. It just fuck. They just run. They just fucking Forrest Gump that shit. And I was running. Like, they just fucking run. Thanks, huh? Alright, this guy likes to clearly try to dot the inside edge. Guy's a pecker ass. Fuck. Me. Look at that shit. I was too early. Fuck me. I almost had a home run with him. In reality, if I was a good player, this guy wouldn't even be on the fucking field with me. An all gold lineup except this fucking Ken Griffey card. guy wouldn't even be on the same ball field as me. I'm gonna give him to it again. Kinda change it up. Can't go I can't keep going fast a little bit. I got time. This guy's slow as shit. I love the soundboard. It's amazing. It's the best thing I did. Ooh. He caught that? That's nice. It's nice he caught up with that ball. I don't like this changeup. I don't like this changeup. Chat, no, I didn't like it. Oh my god. I got away with that one. Because I definitely threw it like shit. Can't avoid that rise fast for me. Third bull. Smell you. Come on, let me get a run. Come on, Mike. Come on, fuckhead. Let's go. That shit's never coming back. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giant. Boink, boink. I'm good. Woo! Give me a hell yeah. Fucking served that one up, didn't you, Chucky, you stupid fucking idiot? No way. No, Ernie. Fuck me. Good timing. Do I think the Knicks will take down the Hawks? Yes. Because we beat them 3 0 in, in the regular season, and Trey Young sucks, asshole. I believe it's coming. Oh, give me that hanger. No. It comes up quick. Fuck. Right, two out. Alright, Jake. He's one for one in online play. And he scored a run, too. Oh my god. What a fucking laser beam from the pitcher. He's two for two online. God damn. Jacob DeGrom fucking posed that ball. He pissed on that shit. Are you? Wait, they called that a strike? Fuck. And then I swing at that one. You gotta love baseball. Even real baseball is like that. No, no, no. Fucking. Wait, this fucking circus act. Dude, it's an actual, genuine circus.
this fucking bullcrap. It really is. It's a genuine fucking fiasco. This fucking shit. Ortiz. He gone. Now it's Eddie Rosario. Suck my ass. I gotta put some South Park shit on here too. Like, no way I get him to do that shit again, right? PCI's age. As the pitcher. Smell ya. What a beautiful fucking curveball that is that the ground has. Perfect through one rotation of the order. Come on, Suriano. Fucking abysmal average. Fuck. Oh shit. Oh shit. That's a hit. That's a hit. Let's go. Get hype in the chat. Get hype. I'm stealing. Fuck him. Oh, it's a good thing I put him in motion. Oh. Okay, no, this guy don't have a fucking clue about the slide step technique. Well, I got out of the dub play, didn't I? Pretty smart move to put him in motion. Because he was dead as a doornail, I think. I gotta remember, this guy's a fucking pecker ass. He ain't gonna throw me out. I really shouldn't have swung at that crap. It's a curveball, too. I'm safe. It was a great curveball that I really could have smacked around the yard, but I had to take the stolen base. Oh shit. That's gone. That's fucking gone. Ho ho ho. Let's go. That was a big dinger, not gonna lie. He again, he hung that curveball one too many times. Yeah, I, I, um, I didn't swing on it. Damn, did they call that a swing? That was good. You know, he hung that curveball to me. I got a good look at it when Alfonso sold the base. So when he threw it a fucking again, I had that shit ready to go. Yeah, good morning. God bless. 5, 12 in the morning for me. This is definitely the final game that I'm playing. Oh, shit. Good shit, Piazza. Let's go. Fucking... Make no mistake, too. This guy's kind of a pecker. <laughs> like, he's kind of oink, oink. he's kind of shitty, you know. So I'm not I'm not really taking this as a fucking victory. To be completely honest. Oh shit! Shit on a shingle and call me Susan. Ho ho ho! Good. Woo! Yeah. Three, five, four, 
Fuck you, Chucky. Let's go. Game's not over yet, though. I mean, he's not hitting well, but fuck. I gotta, you know. Oh, shit. Nah, that's in. Jackie making a little fucking bid. Horny. Horny little Jackie. Jackass. Oh, that's gotta be on there. Jackass from... So let me write down Sal Bar. Right? Let me just throw a little fastball to this cockboy. And then, um... Yeah, jackass. I knew that was coming. I left the fastball up to their best hitter. What am I gonna do? Look at that. Perfect. He hit that shit perfect. I guess a blind squirrel is right twice a day. But did you see that wasn't even close to being a strike? Like, did you see that that thing was, like, nowhere fucking close? Like, that thing was, like, way above the strike zone, and he hit that shit out. That was also a really, really bad change. I mean, curveball. That thing was right down the middle. There's a change up. I guess the broken clock's right twice a day, but Jesus Christ. How the fuck did he hit that thing at all and then make it a perfect? Like, Christ on the bike. No way. All right, still 6-1. Oh, my Christ. What are you fucking... Fucking serve that one up, didn't you, Chucky, you stupid fucking idiot? Struck him out, but then I had a wild pitch. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Like, that curveball bounced a fuck ton miles to get out. Alright. Get down there. Get down there. Bad curveball. Oh my god. Who do you hand the controller to? Because it ain't him. Putting shit in play. I mean, he still struck out. But who the fuck did he hand the controller to? For that home run, that's what I want. Bro, what? He was swinging at that all day. Who the fuck did he hand the controller over to? Is what I want to know. Yeah, someone who can't catch up to a fastball right down the car. Going right back to it. Fuck you. Fucking serve that one up, didn't you, Chucky, you stupid fucking idiot? All right, so we got to run home in the fourth, but we're still up. And now it's the Grom. We're fucking laser beam this double into... Oh, no, no. No it's a V5, fuck you, Chucky. Strike. Oh, my Christ. Wait, that wasn't a cold strike anyway? Wow. They didn't give him that. His first out. His first out online. He finally, he finally served it up. Now right Byron. All right, Byron, dickhead. He had a double. When? Oh my Christ! No, I got under it. I got under it. He's, oh wait, he's up against the wall. Oh, let's go! Ho, ho, ho. Green Giants! Oh, Green Giants! Give me a hell yeah! Gone forever! Aaron Hernandez! Let's go. Oh, oh. Oh, Edwin is in. Uh oh. I'm so scared of Edwin Diaz. Motherfucker. Piece of shit. Suck ass. Thanks, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. Catfish Hunter did not have it for him today. He got shit from his bikini on. <clears throat> got smacked around the yard. Oh my god. Ho, ho, ho. Green 
Fucking let him have it. Fucking serve that one up, didn't you, Chucky, you stupid fucking idiot? <laughs> Dude, that thing was a laser beam out of sight. Is he gonna give me another slider? I knew it. I knew he. Once you gave me two sliders in a row, I knew that this slider was coming, and I did put it in play. That's fucking incredible. Oh. Super Jones is two for two with a double and a homer. Late again, cocksucker. Watch the slider. That's four. That's three fastballs in a row. I gotta watch. I gotta watch the slider. It's four. Mm. The more he throws the fastball, the more it makes me think his slider's coming. Slider to set me up. It's like I knew it was coming. I ain't stopping. Fuck him. Ah. All right. He's three for three with two doubles and a homer. But I did say a slider was coming. All right. So I hit two homers in the inning. And I lead a eight to one. Suck my ass, Javi. You want to talk about a Becker ass. Here's a Becker ass right here. Dude, throw it. Fuck it. Damn. That was close. I won't have to worry about a steal, so I can focus up on the batter. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do not have to worry about a steal. And now the pitcher spots up. Is he going to pinch hit for Edwin? Take him out of the game, or are we gonna we're gonna get Edwin Diaz? Oh, we're back to the fucking fucking around, gang. Oh, it's Peter, Peter, pumpkin eater. One met pinch hitting for another. But here's the thing. Other than the Ken Griffey, he has an entire gold team. Because Catfish and Edwin are gold. And, these, and he's a gold. Well, maybe he should spend a little money on the game and fucking not have golds. Even if he's doing it for a challenge, who gives a fuck? Fuck him. And I just looked and fucking uh, Jamal has uh, 69 messages sent tonight. Then nah. Shit. Dude, I wasn't even looking and I fucking <laughs> hit a big hit. My 12 hit. Guy's a pecker. God damn. Let that play go through. Like, I should have had the run. I mean, I got the run home anyway on Chipper. Ow. Ouch, huh? Cuh. Why are you hitting me, Cuh? If Ernie Banks hits a home run, the game is over. Because we'll hit the mercy rule. If Ernie Banks hits a dinger.
If Ernie Banks hits a dinger, the game's over. Fucking. Cuh. Oink, oink. <laughs> no, no. Oh, fuck me. They said I went. Cocksuckers. All right, it's up to Jackie. Yeah, no, I'm having a good time because we're, we're we're grabbing we're grabbing a dub, we're grabbing a bit. Of a oh, TD! Shit on. And if Jackie, oh shit, infield fly. And if Jackie could have hit a home run there, I actually would have won the game because it would have been a ten run mercy rule. Now it's up to Jacob Degrom, who got a fucking searing base hit the last time. A two get on the field. Imagine if DeGrom cranks one to end it all. I'll fucking flip out. If DeGrom cranks one, you gotta, someone's got to donate five. How about that? If DeGrom cranks this thing to fucking win this game, 11 to 1. Oh, the wallet is secure. The wallet is, secu is secure. <laughs> No, 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 not today. You fuck. Very late. I'm telling you, that perfect was fucking weird. I swear to Christ, he, he handed the controller to someone. Um, someone who had two fucking working brain cells over there? I don't know. Kind of still a pecker ass. I don't even know how many Ks that is for DeGrom, but I don't even give a shit, because a dub is a dub, and we're on our way to a dub. On our way to a dub, then we're on our way to fucking go to bed. Look at that. Sounds like a big, a big, big... <laughs> big she... Oh my god. This guy looks absolutely ridiculous. Dude, it did it again on the curveball. Fuck. Well, still get to play that, because I did. But that's the second fucking strikeout wild pitch of the game. Fuck me, Mike Piazza. How the fuck did he hit that one? Oh, it's foul, but still. Christ. There you can go. First slider of the day. Pissed on him. Fuck. Pretty good eye. Struck out Ken, right? Yeah. Alright, so we're trying for the old four strikeout inning right now. It's kind of a lit thing to have happen. Except not when you're the offense. And sit down, fuck face. Four strikeout inning. Four strikeout inning. Not bad. That'll help out the cause. You're not gonna fucking fool me. I'm not you, dickhead. You're not gonna fool me three times in a row with the same goddamn pitch, you fucking idiot. I ain't no pecker ass like you. Funny. I was very late on that, too. Dude, come on. That was a checker. Come on now. Trying to check the swing. Let's go. Stop being gay. All right. Is it? Is this guy only gonna throw the high fastball? Like Christ. What? I butt hurt him so bad <laughs> with the low curve. He's just gonna come back with the high fastball. Like, dude, you're down eight to one. Like, 
I don't care. I'm taking this bitch. If I take it, he's gonna have to do something else. So like, what was that? Good. Yeah, yeah. Good, my bullsack. It was good. You fucking give me the hit, cock boy. Late. Oh, oh my god, he moved the fucking thing. Shit. Fuck. No! <laughs> Fuck me. Whatever. I need to get nine outs, bro. The Grom just came off fucking four Ks in a row. In that inning. Hanging curveball. We don't even give a shit. One pitch, one out to Chipper. As long as I don't blow a seven-run lead with eight outs to go. As long as I don't pull, like, 2007 Mets bull crap, we'll be fucking lit as a tit. We'll be lit as a tit on the 4th of fucking July. That pitch was awful. That was horrific. That pitch deserved it. Cuh. Cuh. Like, goddamn. What, he gave the fucking controller over to somebody else now? He definitely did. Bro, he's not swinging at that shit. He was swinging at that shit all the time. Made him look fucking foolish on that shit, Fox. Really? He worked on a walk? Wait, is his strategy to try to take walks now? I'll serve that shit right down the goddamn Piper, man. I don't even give a fuck. I got an 8-1 lead. Yeah, yeah, sit down. Seven outs to go. Yeah, that was good. He totally dipped that shit. Yeah, thanks, Cocker. That was a beautiful pitch. Sit down, bitch. Oh, shit. All right, eight to three. What was that, perfect? Did he finally hit the low curveball? All right, Tana Rainey is out of the game now. I mean, I'm still at five fucking runs. Like, Christ. I ain't taking the ground out. Eh, I might. He's at 81. Can I get through this inning? Cam Gallagher. If I can't fucking get... Oh, he did. It was... I mean, it was right in the strike zone, too. Oh. What, do you hand the controller back to someone else now? Is that... That wasn't in the fucking game plan as before. Dude, both of his home runs have been perfect. But he looks like a fucking retard. Every time else. At the plate. Alright, we're through the seventh. We gave up the two-run homer to Rosario, but that's okay. We're through the seventh. Fucking... I'll give myself a little conquer. To get us through the seventh inning stretch. Hayden, what'd you clip? Because I saw that it came up, the top clip of the stream. What'd you clip? Oh, did you clip me saying that shit? Saying that thing that, that that's not. Nah. Oh, okay. Oh, Pedro. Wait, like the silver Pedro? I mean, if he ain't gonna throw a strike, fuck him, then. I don't know. Like... No hands, Dan. No hands. Yeah, fucking... <laughs> Fuck that. Alright, that's four in a row, but that's like real life. This is a fucking video game. Real life, I wouldn't be swinging. This one, I might. I'm stealing.
Holy shit. He threw a strike and he threw me out. Damn. Like, this guy, like, has flashes of brilliance and then, like, 85% retarded. <laughs> like... He has, like, flashes of, like, being a, a somewhat cognizant player. And then flashes of just being a fucking fecker. <laughs> Maybe I shouldn't have stolen. Maybe that was a bit much. It was Yadier Molina behind the plate, too. Fuck. Full four, but that's way too close. I can't take that. Let me switch it back to Verda. Cole. Finally gives me a circle, and I'm early, and I knew it was coming. Oh, good night, Moon. Good night, Moon. Ho, ho, ho. Green Giant. Fucking serve that one up, didn't you, Chucky, you stupid fucking idiot? All right, we got one of those runs right back. We're up six runs now. With six outs to six up, six runs with six outs to get. Nice dot. Oh! Ooh. 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 Okay, Ernie. Remember, Ernie was in a position, if he hit a home run, that we could have ended this fucking game. In like the fifth or sixth inning. I don't know, it was not the sixth. I think it was the fifth. We could have ended that shit quick. I ain't you. I like to swing at things in the strike zone. I don't like to fucking swing like I'm a pecker ass Helen Keller. Like, fuck. He's gonna go out of the zone soon. See? That was late. That was late. But somehow we somehow we, we got a hold of it. Oh, is that too late? Is that too late? That was good! Pass, Fuck you, back. directional cock. Jackie. Trying to make sure the defense is awake here. Dude, I hate when you get the good timing and you get told by the game to go fuck yourself. That was early. That was early. And I got treated with more respect than the good. And that was late. That was probably good, too. All right, we're through seven. We gained another run back. We're up six. I have 13 fucking hits. I swear to Christ, if I lose this game, I will uh, shoot myself in the head. Um, DeGrom still in there. I don't know how I should feel about that. I should feel really fucking bad. Lucky he was trying to guess for an up fast ball. And he didn't expect the curveball right down fucking Broadway. And then he was late on that shit. I'll take the out. Five outs to go. Let's go. Let's go, DeGrom. Good shit. It's a good game. Uh, bullpen. Let's get the bullpen going. Let's get Lee Smith. Uh, and sit his pecker ass down and warm up Chapman. Yeah, no. Yeah, vertical, straight up and down. Interesting. Why do you want to go back, Hayden? Why do you want to go back to that? See, DeGrom's leaving his pitches over now. He 
Somebody just yelling in the crowd. You can do it. <laughs> you can do it. I'm writing down a whole bunch of shit that we're gonna go get for the soundboard. I'd like to uh get through this inning with the Grom. Fuck you, Anthony Rizzo. A little two out against the shift, a little poker. Look at that. Ooh, get him. That thing was right down the fucking middle. Lucky these are fucking idiots. Give me a hell yeah. All right, we're through eight. I'm done with DeGrom. DeGrom, very nice. Good effort. Through eight. Gonna bring in Ronald Acuna. And uh, then we're gonna go to probably... I gotta look at the splits, but we're gonna maybe look at Chapman. Maybe bring in Lee Smith. Who knows? It's just this pecker. We just won't throw a fucking strike. Like, I don't have time for this, man. It's, it is almost six in the morning. I am beating you by six. Give up. Just quit, for Christ's sake. Like, why are we playing this? Like, my ass would have been gone. And like, eight to one in the fourth inning, my shit would have been absolutely fucking gone. It was actually eight nothing. My shit would have been gone, though. I would have been out. No, that, no, it was eight to one. My ass would have been so far out the goddamn door. Like, Christ, I don't care. I mean, I'm up six runs. I'm bringing in my closers. Like, I don't even give a fuck, to be honest with you. I, I really just want the game to be over. Like, I've pounded this guy's asshole into submission. Like, I my ass would have been left. I would have been gonzo almost. If this was me. Like, I would have been so fucking gone. You know what I'm saying? Like, Jesus. You have no... You have no chance. Unless this guy literally breaks out of Zen or hands the control off to someone who doesn't have four brain cells, he's going to lose to me. And I feel bad. Like... Uh, righty, I'm looking at the power. Righty, righty, righty. Yep, all right, Lee Smith. Lee Smith's the wave, because all these peckers can kind of hit the lefty, but they have, like, no power against the righties. Watch, I'm going to give a finger to the righties. Yeah, sit down. Please. Fuck you. You needed the sign to hit. He couldn't cheat on that one. Oh, that's two out. Fuck, can we get to it, please? Thank you. Two out in the night. Oink, oink. Oink, oink. Oh, it's kind of bored, you know? Oh, and then there's Yanni. Strike. Who else but to get the final out than the fucking Queen Pecker? Sit down. Yep. Put it in the box! Let's go. Let's 
go. Ooh, the ground got up. Not bad. Pleasant stream. Good time. Oh. So that's going to be all for tonight. Uh, I hope you all enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun for the last eight and a half hours. We had a good time, good long stream. Um, gained um, five followers, seven subscriptions. Uh, we had a ton of views. We went, back to, we went back to 110 views, which was good to see. Got raided by, you know, Hayden by the boy. Um, 6,100 views now on the channel, which is insane. We're at uh, 15 away from 450. It's exciting. It's exciting times. Our average viewership is like 4.6 now, so it's just been, it's been good. Um, so I thank you. Uh, let's see. I want to see how many people we have on the raid. If it's like a pretty pecker ass number, I'm not doing it. I don't raid with fucking low low class. I don't fucking go for that. Let me see. How many do we have? Three. Oh, four? We're raiding an eight. Let's raid an eight. All right. I'm done. Thank you very much. Peace out. Woo! Girl Scat. Oink, oink. Pumpkin. Pumpkin. I'll see you all tomorrow with Mac and PG. It's going to be a really big stream. Please don't miss it. It's going to be a really, really fun time. We're going to... A lot of laughs. It's going to be a good time. All right? I thank everyone for tuning in. Like I said, I thank everyone for chatting and subbing and everything. Following. And just being, being awesome. <laughs> Let's go fucking raid. Peace out.